is smoking. We back, baby, with a special episode today. And again, I don't even feel right introducing myself because we have a legend on the couch. What's up? What's up? Shaggy, Shaggy Brown, Shaggy's Papers, OHB Farms. Um, I got a lot of more other things coming on, but you know that's. And you know I'm 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 a celebrity weed man to the stars for like 23 years. So that's 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 me. In the building, yeah. and then I also got my co-host. Bold kid, you already know. Is it smoking? We got Shaggy on the show. Thank you for coming, bro. You already know we trying to try out every flavor. We got some OG and some. What was that other one? We got well, my my my. Um, this is my super exotic strain. Uh, that one's crazy. 102017. So it's a story behind that. It's a it's a it's a number. So um, I'm really deep into like. Um, extraterrestrials and um, like ancient, ancient, ancient like conversations of like you know known about ancient history, and so um, there's a there's a there's a um, a planet called Nibiru, mm-hmm. um, the, the, called the Planet X, and it it, it, it enters our solar system every 3,600 years. Oh, sure. And the last time it entered our solar solar system was here. Now it's about to leave probably soon in the next maybe couple years. Um, but it's the, that that date was 10 2017. When you came up with that, or no, no when, they, when it came in, oh. when it came into the solar system. So I named my strain this new strain after that because it's really, really, really gas. It's really That's crazy. like the strain looks like a fucking um, extraterrestrial nug and yeah. stuff like that. Nah, it does. Nah, so I didn't even see that honestly. Let me see how that's the living. Bro, soil this one. one blew me away. Honestly, mm-hmm. when I seen this one. I, did, what did I do? I looked, y'all gonna I get looked, my looked, y'all gonna you, get my reaction right now. I looked at you dead in your eye and I said. You, bro. <laughs> I was like, because w- if you're not a regular person walking around with that, trust me, man. I've been, nah, I've been smoking never a, about a, me. a while, man. And if somebody walks into the room with something like that, you got to automatically give respect. And everything you brought kind of has that, bro. I'm not even That OG is crazy, though. For the yeah. people that don't know, Ooh. this is the person that is leading, taking control of Chris Brown's Ooh. weed. So if you're smoking on them flavors, called Bussin', which he's going to talk a lot more about right now. Yeah. It's coming from my man right here, man. So you get in the backstory of the, in my opinion, one of the biggest brands well, on the well, rise. Well, the way I look at it, I'm, I'm not going for the biggest brand. I'm going for the most popular. Mm. So I'm really, I'm really, I'm really using, using my relationships and using the elements of building the brand to be the most popular brand in the world. But the biggest brand will be our growers, which is Originals. Mm. Um, Originals grows all of our weed. Um, and they're, you know, they're a family. They're a family brand. They've been around for uh, almost twenty some years, and they've been doing. They've been. They've been they, they, they figured out their regimen, stick to it, the formula, and everything. And, and, and everything I've been getting from them since I met them has been nothing but fire, nothing but clean, nothing but like uh, a good sweet smoke. If it was gelato, the gases. They, they really pride themselves in doing OGs. And yeah. how, how long have you known them for? When did that relationship start? So that's another good story. Mm. Excuse me, I'm eating my mushrooms, by the way. Hey, no, it's all good, yo. And you taking those down with carrot juice? Well, no, uh, well, this is a, a smoothie from, you know, just uh, ma- mangoes and and these are crazy. Uh, yeah, they call Enigma. These are Enigma. These are Enigma strain. Enigma strain. So the thing with Enigmas, they're hard to grow. They take a long time to grow. Yeah. Um, and they and they have a lot of a lot of psilocybin in them. So the the what's the, that? Psilocybin is the actual ingredient that really gets you high for mushrooms. So this one will hit. So these these hit these hit. They don't take a lot to hit. Like we we had our launch party. Um, <laughs> I, I be telling everybody about the story. But my bro was with us. And we had the launch party. And he said, "Bro, I'm about to go eat these niggas and, and just zone out." <laughs> like he hit me on. He called me on the Facetime. And said, "Bro, I don't know where I'm at." And I said, "What you mean?" Like this place ain't that big, <laughs> then, so so he I, I, I'm walking around. And you know I'm high. It's a it's, it's our launch party. It was lit crazy. We we are, we, we launched it on Halloween, um, yeah. uh, the Friday before Halloween. Um, and so we had a big launch party. Um, over two thousand people came out. Um, we had you know Chris Bloods essays. Uh, you know, Asian there games. We had everybody, everybody in the building, no problems. Some of the baddest bitches in the city, no problems. The only so, problem was your boy was lost. <laughs> my boy was lost. I was gonna say it was a good loss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Those are the best. Yo, and that was all just to promote the brand and launch the launch the brand. Just to promote it, and launch, let everybody know about it. Um, 
We, we it's like we gave about free weed, we gave about free food, we gave about free liquor all night. Um, Chris invited like over three hundred bitches. Like I know, I know how Chris do. Yeah, he brought like over, uh, but he invited like he said, okay, we are gonna do. It. He gotta invite like he, so he called. He called my boy Ed Mills. Everybody know Ed Mills. That's my that's my that's my little homie. I, I've been dealing with Ed since he first came to L.A. before he even casted any girl. Um, <laughs> um, so when he first came out here, you know, I kicked him, but he casted the party. And it was lit. So, like, I mean, we was in the hood. We was in South Central. So we was in South Central and had a crazy party. But he, but go back to that. My boy was eating enigmas and said, I'm, I'm, I'm lost somewhere, Shaq. I don't know where I'm at. I said, so, uh, well, show me. Tell me where you at. Show me. Now, he told me on the camera. I, I, got, I don't know where I'm at. So I just. He's like, I have to this first real quick. That's how it be when you take those. Yeah, they're just, they're just, they're just gooey. So yeah, like, I already know. So, but um, I had to um, find this guy. But once I found him, this dude was just sitting in the corner, had pizza boxes around him. <laughs> he said, yo, I'm tripping, bro. And I was like, dude, what, what, how, many, how much you take? He said, not a lot. Not a lot. I just took enough. But but they really strong. Yeah, they. Hit. So I said, give me some of them motherfuckers. <laughs> so they so, want to take some. Yeah, yeah, I said, give me some of them motherfuckers. So I took some, and I was just walking around zoning for the rest of the night. But I was good. I didn't have no. I didn't have no bad trip like he did. Well, he didn't even have a bad trip. He was just stuck in the zone. Yeah. Like like I, like like when you got a high high frequency mind and a high mm. vibrational mind, mm. um, you don't you don't really have bad trips. You actually just. You know, you go into a frequency or you go into a realm that you've never been before, mm. and so it can, it can get confusing. But it's it's all in your head. It is. It's, it's not physical realm. Yeah. So it's like you know when people say, "Oh man, I had a bad trip," but you were just thinking about some bad shit before you went on that mushroom trip. Yeah. Yes, so sir. it carried with you. Yes, sir. It went with you. So you gotta have good energy doing that shit. You have to have intentions. You have to have your intention set. Good energy. All you know, that. be around good people exactly. or be by yourself. That's all I was gonna 100%. say. The people always felt if somebody in the like not really vibing or like they gonna throw you off when you trip and you be like, fuck. Yeah, you gotta have people that you really fuck with around you. But not just that, like I like to bring this up every time. When I did ayahuasca, they said the shaman said he said, Look, bro, when you do this, ask the plant for for, for, for the knowledge you're looking for. And it transferred over because when you smoke weed, when you do ayahuasca, it's called Santa Maria, which is weed. Yeah. So now every time I roll my little joints or anytime I take in some weed, I always ask the weed for like the next vision the, uh, or help me with my law of attraction. Like I'm I, like no smoke goes unappreciated yeah. no more. And I like to kind of so, just say on what you said, like you could never have a bad trip. You feel me? It's really about where you want to take it and what you are about. See the the yeah. weed the weed is a sacrament too. People don't realize it's like mm -hmm. you know smoking weed is like really like um, ceremonial. Yes, like, sir. Well, I'm so you go into like some of these places like uh, uh, Africa, Africa, South America. You get with the indigenous people. They're smoking weed because they, they're actually doing their ceremonies before they go on their warrior mission. The warriors do it when they're actually going to going to go in battle. Mm -hmm. They smoke weed before they go in battle because you get your Mind it to a higher frequency and a higher vibration mm -hmm. where you're not scared or you're not running around here thinking about somebody's coming to get you. Mm -hmm. You actually just like, yo, I see him, I'm getting him. Tap like, in. You, know, you, 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 you tap in, exactly. You tap into your frequency because your frequency can see more shit than everybody can understand it once you, once you understand your frequency. Mm -hmm. And so that's something like, like that's why I, I got into psychedelics to understand who I really was and understand my purpose in life. Mm. And that's why, I, and, and, and I started doing psychedelics at 41. Word? Your whole 40, life? You just started never, recently? Yeah, I'm 46. So I've never done psychedelics until I turned 41. That right there is a beautiful testimony in itself. That's yeah. fire. Well, I, I feel I'm mad at myself because I feel like I should have done you it know, earlier. But back in the day, there was a lot of evil propaganda around it, though. It, it, it was like... Oh, what's this? This is the Skittles? Yeah, it's the one that Okay, okay. Now, I know we're going to try different flavors. I like to, you know, yeah, you, make sure my brain is going to Yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's get them all twisted. What's what's your, what's what's while, we talk, while we talk, while we talk. What should we twist? What do you guys want to try? I, I really want to try that. Whatever you guys want to try. I want to try that OG. I, I want to try that busting, baby. Oh, okay. Chris Brazy, <laughs> baby. Busting. That's what I Is this one it? So, so this is the this is the, this is the happy, the very happy. And this is the uh, OG, the, 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 the Moonwalker. Okay, we'll try this well, one. The Moonwalker. Forget you was, you was telling us the story about how, how you met 
the people that grow your weed. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm gonna need you guys to do. No, we got you. I, I can go no, all you, you over took the, the mushroom, so we gonna be your guide. We gonna yeah, be I your go all over the place. You know when you go bowling and they put the barrels up. We gonna yeah. keep you rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know how I me, mean, I don't write nothing down. So everything I everything I've done in my life that I had to remember how to do, I, I always remember it all. I had to had to remember because I don't I don't believe in writing shit down because back in the days I used to write everything down and I lose papers, write it down and have shit and have people read my shit and shit. So you can't read my mind. Yeah. You can't you can't read my thoughts. So I had to actually put it out of my head for me to actually you actually understand it. So I figured out ways from the mushrooms to actually store information um, in my head. So when I need it, when I, like, I, like I said, that's why I said if we're gonna do this co- interview. I need to do the mushroom to bring up whatever conversations you want to bring up. And if I want to take it far, I can take it far. If I want to just give you a little bit of information, I can. Let, but I know how to. To deal with my memory that's with the mushrooms, yeah, and that's something you've learned in the last six I, years. I've learned in the last six years, man. That's crazy. Me, I don't, I don't really dive into the mushrooms like that. Like little gummies here, little chocolate here, but never like how you just took them. Like right now, the way you took that shit, you took that shit like. <laughs> hey, these are crazy. Big bro in the building. You feel so, me? So I started off doing the mushrooms, I mean, in the, in the chocolates, um, and, and, and doing it that way. But to me, I felt it was like it was like a, a mixed drink. You know what I mean? It's like right. You wasn't like, getting it. I'm I'm a I'm an alpha drinker. If I'm a drink, we gonna drink. drink. We gonna drink 1942. Hey, and drink get it to straight. It. Yeah, drink straight, straight. Straight. I don't need. What I need to change it for? Yeah, nobody chases shit. I'm trying man. to get to it. I if get I'm gonna do it, but I don't drink. See, I, I had to drink it like over That's over funny. like 12 years. That's how this I do it. Crazy. You know what I mean? So I I, I found out about, about psychedelics. I found out about my, my MDMA was my first like thing. I really I got me off of alcohol was the MDMA. Um, and I was like, man, you can get the same feeling from MDMA. Mm-hmm. Like, why, why do you need the alcohol? The alcohol kills your liver. The alcohol kills your fucking third eye. Alcohol kills mm-hmm. it, It's poisoning to your brain, poisoning to your system. But uh, MDMA actually makes you feel good about life. Mm-hmm. Makes you feel good about, you know, doing things. And a little molly happy. water. Ain't hey, nothing wrong with a little molly water. little molly water. I, I, I definitely. I, 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 I know I'm, some celebrities in the club, bro, and they, they, they act like they're drinking the bottles just for the show, but they in their pocket got that little water bottle, and, they, and you know what that is. I used to, like, like, bro, I'm like, DJ, no, I'm like 23 years running straight in Hollywood, so that's like. I, I, that's I, a lot. I, that, that in itself is a movie, because as a videographer, I've been running around here like, no, 15, 18 years, and I already got a movie to tell, but yeah, you, no, from your perspective, I know this is crazy. I mean, I'll take you even further. I mean, Remind me to give you the story about how I met the originals, but oh, I'll take you. It, it's on your hat, so I'm not gonna forget. Hey, Nestor, let me get that grinder real quick. I, 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 I give you, I give you the um, a story of how I got my name Shaggy. Yes, sir. Oh, so let's do that. Um, 23 years ago, I worked for Dev Jam, Dev Jam Street Team, and I was, you know, I still was the weed guy, but I was actually just working for the Street Team because I love Dev Jam. I love, you know, Dev Jam hip. I'm, I'm, I'm born in 1977, so. I'm really much born in hip hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, um, the way the way the way I I feel, I feel my life is. So I got an opportunity to work for Def Jam, um, doing on the street team. My guy James Love. I seen him at the party and I was like a trip seeing him. But I, I, it, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for James Love giving me that job at Def Jam. Um, and then um, we had we had a concert. For, for, it was the survival of the illest concert. Um, it was DMX, all the Mutt, Red Man, Met the Man, it was all those guys performing at the Survival of the Illest, right? Damn. Um, this is back when hip hop was hip hop. Right, right. Yeah, it was, it, it, and, and even deeper, it was at the, hall, it was, it was at the uh, House of Blues. Damn, that's not even there no more on Sunset, right? Right, right. Damn. It's crazy. This was at the House of Blues when I first met X. So I was, I was doing the street team, putting all the shit up on the streets and shit. And then I actually came over and said, um, uh, my, my guys were saying X is about to come to the, sh- the, the, the people who work for Def Jam said X is about to come and we want to make sure some guys is up, um, put some signs like when he's walking up. So I said, all right, cool, I'm, I'm going to go over here. I, I, I love X. X is my favorite at that time. It was right. it was just his first, matter of fact, his first album wasn't, it was about to drop, it wasn't even out. He was just doing the, his first single, Get At Me Dog. The album wasn't even out yet. Damn. So it, it was, he was coming to go do the, do, do, do the, um, the show. The survival of the other show, and I seen him walking through, and I had a joint in my pocket, and I said, you know what? I gotta get this joint to X. Fuck a picture, nigga. I need to, I need to give out fucking some weed. That's fire. You know what I mean? So, cause I'm, I'm like a stoner. I don't give a fuck I'm the about same all that. That's all I'm like, that's fire. Happy go lucky pictures. So uh, that was a bar right there. <laughs> and if you watching at home and you not pick, that's you didn't pick fire. that up, go ahead and pick it up, my nigga. Let me pause you real quick. Fuck a picture. 
I'm gonna give that man a joint because you believe in yourself. Because I'm, I'm, I happen to be in this shit. You're not about to just give somebody something you bought from a dispensary or something. Nah, if you give somebody something, there's a lot in that transaction. It's a, it's a, it's a transaction of hope. It's a transaction of, let's see. So shooting, you shooting your shot. You know how people go play the, 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 the lottery? Mm -hmm. That, that would be equivalent. So that was my shot, and that shot actually changed my life. Wow. So, you know, he, he liked the joint. After the concert, he came out. He said, got any more of that? What was it, though? What flavor? OG. OG. I've been doing OG for 23 years. I, like I, this like, one that's... Uh, like this one right here. But maybe maybe sometimes he was stronger. I'm saying we got to smoke that OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For Damn, sure. But, bro. This is gangster as fuck. This is what this podcast is about, bro. These stories. Th these moments. I mean, the funny thing is when DJ asked me to do it, I was like, yeah, because I've been waiting on doing podcasts and doing all these interviews and shit until I really got this brand out. Yeah. Because I wanted to really have something to talk about. I wanted to really to have something to be like really tell you my my story to go behind this. The reason why I do have a, a brand with Chris Brown. The reason why I do have my own rolling papers out. Mm -hmm. The reason why I do have some of the best weeds you can understand sitting at the table in front of us is because of my legacy, because of my history. It's mm -hmm. not because of anything else. Like, you know, a lot of people have a hot like, like a lot of people have a hard time even finding good weed just for their personal smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I, I find I, I've never, never shot. I, I, I could say I haven't shopped in a dispensary in maybe over five, maybe maybe five years or something. Maybe a little oh, longer. Man. And 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 I'm, I'm tell you this, like, because I get it the weed before I get to the dispensary. Yeah. And if it's in a dispensary, it's my my weed or somebody else's weed. My friends, I'm supporting their brand. I'm not going to get it just to get the weed. Right, yeah. right, right. Because right. I, cause, cause, you cause, already tapped in. You already you already get it at such a high level. And I, I'm 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 30 years old. You you older than me, so I'm a younger version of what you've been doing. So I'm just getting into chasing these genetics. Like, bro, I really get not pissed off, but. I feel like low, with like low quality weed is gonna bring your frequency up. High, good quality weed gonna bring your frequency up. And, and and honestly, I like it up here. And I I need to be up here. So if you don't understand it, you I, I look at it like I'm an alien then, cause I get this language. So listen, we are aliens. We all are aliens. We all are extraterrestrials. But it's based on consciousness. It's not based on I'm looking like a, a weird person like that. It's in your brain. Your extraterrestrial knowledge. The extraterrestrial energy is all stored into your, your penile gland. Mm. And if a lot of people understand what the penile gland, the deep, the depths of a penile gland, the penile mm. gland is, is your acacia rec records. It stores all your 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 DNA knowledge from your, from Ancestor. your old ancestors' your old ancestry. Pattern. Yes, it's in you. It's I also you. taps into that. Yes, it does. I've done ayahuasca, I've done combo, I've done DMT, uh, I, I've done nine grams of no, 10.5 grams of mushrooms, my max so far. I'm, I'm what they call a psychonaut. That's crazy. Yo, bro, uh, uh, you were telling me this earlier, and I, I really wanted to touch up on it, but mm -hmm. that show you was telling me about, you're going to go travel the world. Oh, yeah. With, yeah, like, yeah. Dope. Okay, before I jump in, let me just go back to the DMX situation. DMX and how you got your name Shaggy. The DMX situation, okay, so I met DMX coming out of the thing. I gave him his joint, he's coming back out, he's like, yo, you got another one of those? I said, yeah. He said, man, come to my hotel room, let's smoke it. So I'm like, damn, X yeah. telling me to come to the hotel room and smoke. It's not. The niggas on the street team was hating because they was like, oh, why you fucking get to go? Like, well, I got the weed. Mm -hmm. Like, period. I got yeah. the weed. Like, like serious. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, there's no other reason why he said, I got yeah. the weed. Like, period. Like, like serious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because awesome. at a young age, that's what I was, bro. Come on, I was like, I was like, man. I was like yeah. 21, 22, or something like that. Pushing, the time. So, yeah. yeah, so by right that time, um, I, I went back to the hotel room. Pulled out my weed, rolled up. He's like, yo, this shit fire. We get this weed. I had the, the SFV before it was the SFV. Wow. So uh, it was just OG. This was just the eight one eight OG. Yeah, it's the eight one eight OG. Mm -hmm. um, um, it, it, it's a story behind that one too. But um, X X X actually liked the weed so much. He was like, yo, come back tomorrow. <laughs> like, come hang out. I was like, damn, okay, X. Like, cool. Alright, All right, I'll be back. So I went back to help my <laughs> boys that, that night. I was like, yo, bro, I was just fucking with X, X fucking with it. We need to, give me some more weed so I can go fuck with it tomorrow. Keep because I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you my my even the reason why I start selling weed is the is, is the truth of, truth of me is that I wanted to smoke the best weed for free because I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. Back then when I was 20, 21, I was I, I 
little, 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 little guy running around trying to make it happen. Yes. I couldn't afford that expensive weed, twenty five dollars a gram. But you always uh, had that taste, that quality taste. I always had that quality. I always had the qu- quality taste. I always knew who had it mm-hmm. and who had it to, you know. You know, to, smoke it. I knew what it was, but I couldn't afford it. So that's why I start selling weed to rappers. Mm. I start I start selling weed to athletes. Start selling weed to executives, people own companies, but that understood the quality of weed. Because if you're a creative person, you you, you need know. something to hatch that you actually help you. You know, Take uh, you deal there. with the deal with the deal with the stress of being creative. Wow. So from a, from a music producer, from a from a uh, rapper, from a singer. From you know athletes, from all these different people, that it, you need something to help with those creative juices to actually go out there and nice. perform at your best. Yes, sir. And, so, um, yeah. and, and for that for that decompose moment, you know, because we're putting we're, our, our brain is firing at such a high level that when you get to just hit that weed and really calm it down, you balance it out. You there's balance, nothing you really it else that could really do that, like besides the sauna or like a cold plunge. You feel me? Like I I I look at the weed as my cheat code. Well. All of it is a cheat code because that's why they, that's why they make it illegal. That's why they hide it from us. That's why they tell us it's not what we should supposed to be doing. Because these the white guys they go and do all these shits and go create multi million dollar companies. They go to, you know they go create fucking they, they see the vision of how to go and create um, big movies and shit. Um, you know like you know people don't really understand um, um, the the the, the uh, George Lucas guy. Um, Star Wars, he made everybody who did Star Wars, I was on the writing team, do psychedelics to actually have, like, like do mushrooms or do LSD to actually help yeah. with their creative process and to create a movie. Some shit. Wow. And think about, think about Star Wars. That's yeah, the movie think of about, the but think about how it started. It started in episode five. Yeah, it started back. It started back. Episode five and come, it came to the, because you know why? Because they didn't have the technology to kept up with it. They knew of what they needed to do. But they didn't have the technology to get there yet. So let's go to the let's go to a, a later episode to show the past to while we until we get to the future. Yeah. Wow! So I, that, that, that's I've how always I, loved Star Wars for that. I know what you're saying because I always tripped out like how they died. Like when people be like, "You watched the first Star Wars?" You're like, "No." Be like, "How? It's the first one. It's old." I'm like, "That's a trip, though. That's the only way you get the story." It's the way they connected it all. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. Because the way it connected. Not about yeah. that. Nah, bro, they, watch they, that their shit. Their ideas were so big at the time. They like, nigga, we not how we. I can't do so that. So make right it. Now. It would be discrediting the idea. Right. So let's go to the future because we know how we. The future actually was going to the past. My bad. Exactly. The future was going to the past. Exactly. And it just shows you the views of the past. So it, you know, like, the like, like, like the story about Anakin Skywalker is 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 fucking Darth Vader, right? right. Yeah, like, the way like, they did like, that. Like, like, but you don't even know that until yeah. you get later into you don't, the, exactly. To the, that's to why the, it's so sick. So, it's crazy. And only so, people that that's really want, yeah, because you're always thinking like, why he say he's his father, like you know, and then like, oh, you see the. Oh, that's him! Like, Bro, that's just funny. No cap, this is already the best podcast. We're talking about Star Wars and DMX, my nigga. Let's go back to that room, though. What happened? Okay, okay so back to DMX. Uh, 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 so we in the room just kicking smoke. We had a good time hanging out. He's like, come back tomorrow. So he came back tomorrow. He's like, yo, damn, you cool dude. I fuck with you. Um, you know, uh, 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 so I was like, yeah, I... I I'll see you again. So he, he, had, he was back on the tour, so he was leaving. Oh, right. So I, I, like, I'll see him again. So... Um, Fast forward, um, fast forward. He came back in town to do BET. It's a BET show, mm. and my boy was working on the show. He was like, "Yo, you know X is in town." I was back up in the Bay at this time. He's like, "You know X is in the town," so um, uh, he's like, "Come back, come back down." He just, well, I, rewind. I'm from. I'm born in LA, raised in Oakland. So I was okay. raised all my life in the Bay, and so my father was in, lived in, lived in um, LA. So I was just be back and forth, back and forth. So I, I oh, okay. So it was nothing to take that trip because you had friends up there, you had friends down here. You was the weed man, yeah. and you you was cheating. You was bringing the fire ship from up up in the bay, taking fire ship from down here. You was just yeah. man. I, I was turning what people, a time I was, to be turn, alive. I was turning people out actually because when I because I would come down to L.A. And get the OG and take it back. That's why I first well, you, you said the San Fernando OG, so I, I'm yeah. adding shit up. You took it to the bay. You had them going crazy up there. I, well, I first started smoking. I was smoking um, 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 Granddaddy Perk. That's, that's what From the Bay. I, the I, I first started smoking in the 10th grade, and the first thing I smoked was Granddaddy Perk from East Oakland. And I didn't even know what it was at the time. So my boys was like, yo, this is Granddaddy Perk. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me hit it. And, and that, that changed my life, honestly. That changed my life. And the GDP. Changed, changed my whole trajectory of what I need to do in life. Um, and, you know, it pulled me a lot forward. But, I, you know, like I said, my... My life is a lot. There's a lot, a lot of fucking layers, a lot of levels, a lot of fucking shit that went on in my life. 
So that's why I say I jump around, but you know, hey, help, I, help hey, me stay. I'm right here, like we watching Star Wars. Don't trip. You, mm-hmm. you just go to the end. You could go to the middle. I'm too the fuck in, bro. So, so then the, the, that's. So let me go back to to. So I just gave you that point of how I got here. Okay. Right. Just to help us with was to come up the story. So now my guy said, "Come down to L.A. You need to come to the fucking BT." DMX is back in town. Yeah. Pull up, nigga. Pull, pull up. I know you know him. Right. So he said. So so my vision at that time, because I'm all, I'm always a visionary with everything I've done. Um, my vision at the time was to get DMX linked up with, with, with a company that I was working with called Fox Racing. It was a motorcycle clothing company. They made racing oh, yeah. gloves, jerseys. Motocross? Like motocross? Yeah, the Fox. The, yeah. It was Fox. Oh, Fox. Yeah. yeah Fox, the brand. They're, they're huge. Yeah. That's a huge That's brand. funny because the way oh, he said it. Like, that's the bussing. It's that's the bussing and, yo, what's up with this tip right here? What is, that's all him right here. These are the shaggy these papers. Are tip, these are my tips. They're, 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 they're coconut and, um, and, and coconut and charcoal filter tips were so like it stops anything that's coming through the tip. Yeah. But from, from the They're fire. Did I roll it right? Or did you have to leave it out? This looks, no, you, you good? This, looks, this looks legit, bro. This yeah, this, 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 this from a company I deal with in Germany. Uh, so these are not even available in the U.S. If you get, unless you get them through my company, um, uh, Blake, my partner's company, Blazy Susan. And I'm going to have my, my own coming. So if you buy my papers, you got you got tips to go with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smoking good weed. That, that, that tip that. is fire, though. I like it. So, um, really, back to um, this saying. Is gas. <laughs> this is gas. <laughs> Everything I have is going to be gas, I promise you. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, right now, I'm rolling up the OG, so. Bro, what did you say earlier? You said, because you hear it a lot, legacy farmers. You said, I'm a legacy, what was that? Operator. Oh, I'm, I'm a, you said, I'm a legacy I've been, operator. I've been just doing this shit for, for before it was cool. Now, when I say legacy operator, I, like before, I'm probably for the real. first person I've known with a, with a brand. That's bad. Because every, I know everybody who has brands, but I actually actually took it from putting it into a plastic bag and saying, hey, let me go get this shit tested. Mm. Let me go get a fucking logo. And put it. I was putting I put the logo on the on the sandwich bag at first. You have I, the bags that I, I got my Lars. You have the bags I that I Lars. made, Ernesto. I want to show them. I, I don't have them on there, but he literally did what you just said. That, that's what he. Because I can't like how you said we've been doing this shit before it was cool, bro. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. instead of making the actual like mylar, I did like a Ziploc bag. Oh, you made a Ziploc bag? Yeah. yeah well, and I, it was a, a Instead a, of it saying a, Ziploc on it, it uh, said my, like, the brand. The brand. Of it. Yeah. Which was nice. cool. But it looked nice. like a Ziploc bag. Nice. So, yeah, I, I used to go to this place called SC Labs and get all my weed tested. Yeah. And nobody was doing that. They were selling weed. Nobody was going to the SC Labs because it was like you have to have. You nobody. Gotta, you got to have a brand to actually go even think about that. But, or dispensary or like, and, something like that. And so, love the culture, bro. Even from these tips that you created, bro. The, 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 like, you know, there. sometimes in every. Anybody that smokes, they have their little goodie box with the little tray with the little grinder. Guys, this is of the culture, and there's no way a Chad made this. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, like right. you, you really yeah, come from this, bro. Yeah. Real fucking shit, bro. And it's I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm just so high to be in this session right now, bro. I'm tripping out on these tips. Right? It, it's smooth, right? Yeah. Now they are both ways too, because like you said, it won't catch you from here, and nothing will come bro, out. Bro, and it has like six little holes inside of it. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Man, it's a clean smoke out. I've been trying. I've been trying to introduce these to people because, like, I feel like um, we, 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 if you smoke a lot of weed, you still have to think about and have a thought process of like how how clean you have to inhale it. You you inhaling you inhaling this shit into your lungs, yep. bro. Respect and, your lungs. And and at the end of the day, I I, I, I understand people who smoke blunts, and I you know I get it, but. You gotta think about it. You inhaling that tobacco, all that shit down into your lungs is making scar tissue and all kind of shit like that. Mm. So if you can be as clean as you can, at least, Try. Uh, of, of stopping some of all that shit going on. You know, but like I said, I, I'm, giving, I'm giving you the fat woods, the surgery of the fat woods, but I don't even smoke blunts. So I'm, I'm working on that. That goes into the future. I'm explaining a little bit, but that goes into the future. But I'm, I'm never saying I can't. <coughs> If I can't stop people from smoking blunts, you gotta join them. I got I got, but I'm gonna come up with it something that's gonna make it to where we can make money from a black-owned company mm-hmm. and and have a black vision instead of the white man actually come in and selling us poison mm-hmm. and then we just fucking you know tucking it back and back, back and back, back and back, and then at the end of the day we ain't making no money off of it. Fact. So it's like shout out Fatwoods, bro. Um, yeah, Royal Blunts, Royal Blunts. T- t- they've been in the game for minutes. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, they've been in the game for a long time. They're yeah, black-owned company. Okay. They've been around for like I think you said thirty years. They've been around thirty years. Got to shine some light on that, yeah, man. Make sure to pick those up, y'all. Royal yeah. Blunts, if Fatwoods. You see them, make sure to make sure to pick those up. They, they, they. I mean, that's. 
I'm gonna explain the reason why those are sitting on the table as I get to that. But I'm still. But I love back how you to, give people another option too. And again, another product by you. These papers. Look, it has a nice little metal tip, so it closes like, like, like you know the bitches persons do. And then look, it open up, and when it open right here, you got your little rolling tray, and then you got the tips, and you got the paper. Culture. Uh, you can't okay. teach this, man. Right. I'm sorry, you can't teach it. Right. You can't, bro. That's a fact. This is epic, bro. Uh, so I still got you can tell us a little more how you got the name Shaggy, again. Yeah? Okay, yeah, so 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 going back to that, so I was hooking I I wanted to hook um um a DMX up with this company Fox Racing that I was working with because I was like, yo, he had the biggest song, stop drops to sell a little bit shop, so I was like, damn, that's big. And he had a, 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 a momentum because of the biker gangs, too. The Rough Riders, they really it. They they, yeah. they hard. Shout out to them. I so, do videos for them. They're fucking epic. They still doing it. Shout out Black Widow, all that. So when when he hit, the whole world was going crazy over the bikes, and so I knew I knew the people from the, from the Fox Racing because I was helping them with marketing and promotions. Yeah. So he was like I, was like, I was like, man, you need to do something with DMX, dog. He was like, it was the owner. I was like, I was like, yo, you need to do something with DMX. He was like, and, I, and, I, and it was like, this is, I didn't mean, see my first big deal in, in, in doing, in doing deals. Like, like putting I didn't say deals, deals. yeah, deal, doing deals and making deals happen and shit. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. You were just thinking that they shit. Told me, they told me to put together a proposal. I ain't know about no putting a proposal <laughs> together. I was just writing my idea on a piece of paper. And this is my ideas. And I said, Mom, can you fucking proof it? Will it make sense? And then, and then I sent it, to, sent it to him and he liked the idea. But it was just written out, you know what I mean? It wasn't a computer or nothing like that, it wasn't typed right. out like that. Like a but, proper proposal. Yeah, like a proper proposal. I but the idea him, was good. The idea was good. So I told him I wanted to get you with, with DMX. He said, if you can make it happen, I'll, I'll, I'll support all your ideas to go behind it. Okay. So um, I, told him I, right I told him I wanted to make, I wanted to sponsor DMX. I wanted to uh, make, a, make, a, make a, ra- a racing jersey that for DMX, because like, you know they made the racing jersey for their motor yeah. guys. Yeah. So I wanted to do the same thing, so we crossed the cultures. This was the first, like, honestly, this is the mm-hmm. first collaboration and, 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 and of collaborations. It's like, right. of, of, of like taking a, 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 a an urban brand and what? crossing it with a white brand. What year, what year was this? Uh, this was in 2001. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. This is 2001. That is crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 we, and we did the collaboration. So three years ago. Well, they, they sponsored the um, they sponsored the tour. We, 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 we. So I told him, yeah, get with X. Send me out there. I'm going to represent for y'all. I'm going to wear all the Fox Racing gear. I'm going to give gear to everybody. So I met all the Rough Riders. I met, I met Eve. I, like Eve was still new in her whole life. Um, I was giving her clothing for her dancers, giving her clothing from Fox Racing. Because it was all into the motorcycle suit. Yeah. The whole crew was into it. So, yeah, you get the goggles, uh, the pants. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I had, I had I was crazy, I remember. I had Swiss Beats in these in these, in these, in these um, snowmobile pants. Yeah. Uh, but it was like racing snowmobile. Nobody, come on, nobody was thinking about nah. snowmobile yeah. pants back then. Like That's He hard. was in snowmobile pants on stage that I gave him that from, from Fox Racing. So these are the kind of things that we was like, Culture, like doing shit, like like moving the culture. Yeah. But we was taking brands and we was crossing the culture and and, 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 and making a hit. So I had I had I had Little Wayne and his crew wearing. I mean, think about 23 years ago, Little Wayne was a kid. Right. Like you know what I mean. So I had, I had Little Wayne coming to my room smoking weed. That's you know crazy. I mean? And he's still a kid. Like you know what I mean. But I'm here with X, so he gave me respect because I'm here. With, I'm on tour with X. You were a legend. You know what I mean? So you were a go. Yeah, yeah, so I'm on tour with X every night. We, we, two and a half years I ran with X. Um, wait, 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 wait. Rest of, I was just about to say yeah, Rest yeah. in Peace X, but bro, wait, how do we go for Okay, no, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. You, going, you, was, you went on tour with bro? Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's how, how I got the Fox. That's how I got that's the Fox. That's what he said, yeah. That's, that's I, I, I sponsored, hard. I sponsored the Rough Rider Cash Money Tour with, with, with Fox Racing. So I, I had them put up. Put up like two hundred fifty thousand to for X. the tour too. Yeah, for the tour. We we we, we sponsored the tour, but we wrapped the tour bus. Like this, I'm telling you, this is before niggas was doing shit like yeah. that, bro. That's we doing crazy. This shit. So I was the only California dude on the tour. Um, I wrapped the tour bus. I had my my bus. We was, I was with DJ DJ LS One and one of the security couple of security. We was on the tour, so I was going the whole tour with that crew. Uh, only dude from Cali, so I used to have to get weed <laughs> sent in to me right. to my hotel. I knew that hotel was going to send weed to the hotel so I could get it. Right. But then everybody, nobody had no good weed, so I was the weed man on tour, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, na- quite naturally. But <laughs> um, but um, 
Yeah, but but I was really on tour for Fox Racing. Right. So it was, uh, no, it was you was you had Being a job, a representative, but naturally but you needed smoke. Had, you needed smoke. I needed smoke. Yeah. So <laughs> before you know it, now you you're you a representative smoking. slash you know niggas, that niggas trick. <laughs> so so X, me and X got cool because Crazy. of that because uh, of the weed. Maybe we got even cooler because of the weed. Yo, yeah, but talk about having a friend, uh, like being able to go on tour and being able to like, for example, hey, I tell my boy, yo, bro, I just got a crazy opportunity. You know that shit we growing? Please, I need you to send it to me. Talk about that. Like, how was... Were so, you, so you everybody knew people? I was done with all these celebrities that was running around Hollywood. So they need to bless you if they, they wanted to they get they their grand popping. Right. They, they knew, bombs. like, a lot of, lot of, lot of growers... Because growers back in the days, them days, growers wasn't coming out to Woodworks. Was no. No, all these growers that got brands yeah, and all this type of shit, they was, they was, they was, yeah, they was quiet. It was quiet. I, I ain't going to say that it was corny, no, no, but no, they right. was just not in the mix. They was like, you know, like, none, none of these motherfuckers... Many they didn't really think about me. that. And, and originally, a, like if you think about a growers, they're 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 more introverts. They're not like yeah. us. They they, yeah. they like to be with the plant. I'm a, I could be a little bit of both that time, so I, I understand them. So I get you. Mm-hmm. So you had that you had that um had an edge, on had the edge on them, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so I was telling blessed. them. I was, I was, see, the, the the beauty of it, I was telling them like yo. Um, I'm about to go sell some weed, such and such, mm. whoever it was. They, so they're giving you the and best they, price. They give me the best price, and they throw me a little extra for, for my doing it. For doing it. So I'm going to go to Hollywood and go. Back hang before out with Instagram me. was really no social media. Yeah. No social. You really media. had to have, you, had, you, had, you had to be that that boy. Yeah. You, had you had to be that yeah. good boy. You, you know had what I mean? To be outside. You had the only way you even met me is by referral. It was like it was never even when I started selling weed in Hollywood. It was because it was more people, like someone had to know someone people, that people would say, "Yo, you gotta go see Shaggy. You gotta go see Shaggy because, like, you know, he got the shit." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "I was like, yeah, what's up? Pull up." And they pull up like, "Damn, this shit fire!" Blah blah blah. Now, I just did that. Bro. <laughs> I just did that. And well, it's two thousand. I've been doing this for twenty three years. And it's two thousand and twenty three. <laughs> we're going to two thousand twenty four, and now you still doing it, bro. Uh, uh, I'm. I was like, huh, uh, huh, nigga. I. You can ask DJ, bro. I, I, bro, shout out to DJ. This is how we even got this podcast too. Shout out to DJ on the motherfucking label, nigga. Yo, DJ, bro, DJ. I, I'm a weed connoisseur, brother, and I like the cheesy shit from London. I'm, I just, I love how weed travels the world because it didn't travel goody goodies. Good, good boys didn't travel, didn't make weed travel, bro. Mm-hmm. It was the surfers sneaking the in streets. and they fucking yeah. boys. It was, it was in the, the streets. streets. It was it's the culture. Yeah. It's it's fighting against fucking. Rebellious and, and 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 regularness, like man, shout out to fucking weed, man, and, and that even these stories them. and how you were able to do this and advance your life, bro. To today, you got a fucking company with Chris Brown. Like, hold up, my nigga, I'm not letting nothing slide, nigga. <laughs> greatness is greatness, bro, and it has to be applauded, bro. Nah, it has sure, to be. Bro. This Richard, shit is Richard. crazy, bro. And we still tasting and smoking shit from the past. You can't do that yeah. with nothing else, bro. Yeah, you nah. can't be like, oh, back in the day we was eating these wagus. Like, nah, those cows was already 23 years old. That genetic watered down, bro. You got genetics. You talking about OGs. You was pulling up on people that you pulling up on me. Like, I've never I, seen this I, one. I, 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 this, oh, I'm sure you know. This, this is a... Um, this is a this yeah. is a Cushpitz and Triangle. Oh, triangle this is that cross. Cushman, cross. Smell it from here. But it's, bro, it's, grown, it's grown living soil too. So this, this is, is living jazz, soil. Bro. That's living soil. This is grown in cocoa. We can roll this one up too. We can roll all of it. Hey, can, we see, can, can we go this, this one? This one, hey, this one is stupid. Bro, they all been stupid. I'm going, dog, dog. <laughs> I'm like, you got the Oakland in me, bro. This is something like it. good shit. This is a striker? Right. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, man. We got DJ in the building. You know, yeah. you gotta try this shit. Did you see this, DJ? DJ, no. When I start acting like this, it's because the weed's good. If you see me like this, just asking questions, <laughs> it, it ain't it. <laughs> that OG. So, so going back, going name. back, going back to how I got my name Shaggy. So we on tour with X for the whole tour, and I'm with him every day. And he's and we and we I find out we both love Scooby Doo cartoon. Mm. I, 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 and I was like, I love Scooby Doo. He's like, I, he loves Scooby Doo. And then we was just kicking one day. He was like, Man, I'm gonna call you Shaggy because you know you fuck with the dog. Oh, that's hard. So, what dog? You yeah, had a dog. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. So that, that's where the name came from. He was like, Yo, you got the weed. We, we always solve, solve mysteries. Let, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Yo, yo, bro, that was so cool. Yo, he he named you fucking Shaggy because Shaggy was always with fucking the dog. And you was with DMX, the dog. Fuck 
Fuck you, DMX. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's hard. Yo, he's that's epic. Hard. Shaq, yeah. DMX gave you your name. Yeah, yeah. DMX. That's what I'm saying. Damn. Damn. Because of DMX. The world knows me because of DMX. I saw, it brings me into a tear when he's uh, he's gone because I I don't get a, I, I don't get a chance to talk to him or see him because it's like he's Man. he's somebody who's like like a big brother to me like. And it wasn't like always talking like about music and shit. It was just life. And yeah. sometimes like, we just have conversations about, you know, just just weed. And sometimes we have conversations about fucking TV and just sit around and just smoke weed. And you know, I met a lot of people through him. I met a lot of lot of lot of actors. I met Aaliyah through him. Rest in peace. Man. You know, I you know met a lot of a lot of. Uh, 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 Jet Lees and a lot of people, but I, I wasn't really caring about trying to meet everybody at that time because I was, it was with just the happening. Dog. It was, was just happening. I, mean, I was with the dog. Yeah, it was just happening. Like, like, yeah, like you, these are big stars or whatever. But I mean, come on, he, it, he was this the is my coolest. brother. Yeah, and this, yeah, you know to I mean? me, yeah. You said that perfect. It's one thing to be with a celebrity that has something going for themselves. That's always a good position. But man, when you with your nigga and he got something going on, yeah, bro, that was special. That's how I feel with Chris. It's limitless. Yeah, exactly. It's limitless. Mm-hmm. See, that's what's up, bro. Yo, have you always been this cool? Like, as far as like, like, where like DMX, I, I feel could talk to you about like psychedelics and, and like, uh, like stuff well, like that because you wasn't doing it at the time. But was you still on this like alien shit and on this? I didn't get into the aliens and shit until <laughs> maybe like 40, 40, like forty, like forty, like thirty. Not when, I, when I had a kid. Because a lot of information has been released. Thirty-eight. I started thinking about it. I started getting deeper into it when I hit forty. And I started understanding it more was when I started doing psychedelics. And it starts like, you know, I, I get downloads, I get messages, mm-hmm. I get, I don't get visuals really no more unless I do DMT. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and these messages I get actually take me back to the memory like I'm talking about for the past. Mm-hmm. The past is, is always there. And then, and like, DMT shows you all the past, the present, and the future at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it's, a, it's that's the visuals you actually can get. So, once I got into. Like you talk about, you talk about almost twenty years later. Then I start thinking about psychedelics. Right. Like you know what I mean. So it's like I travel the world, travel Hollywood, did all this shit, and didn't even understand my purpose at the time. Mm. Didn't even understand what, what what I was here for at the time. I was just like happy to be here because I was smoking weed and having fun with all the people who I looked up to. Right. So, mm. like, but not just that, healing them, bro. These people will go yeah. do perform in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> that boom sits right down yeah, with Shaggy it. and bro DMX. He was a high frequency energy person, bro. I, I can only imagine when it's time yeah, for him to deep. chill. He yeah, needs to, he need to chill. Like he really need to get away. So weak ass weed is not gonna let him escape. And that's why when I met him, when I met him, he actually loved me so much because my weed was so strong mm. that it actually was really like you said, medicine. It was yeah. medicine. Medicine. And, and 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 then see, he had he went through some some that that whole propaganda shit where he tried to make him up to be a bad person for a long time. Then when I tried to get back around him to smoking weed, he couldn't do it because he was so far gone on other shit. Oh no, yeah, I know. I so know it, was like, it was like it was like when I, I tried to bring him the weed and stuff like that. He was like, nah, I it's can't not even hitting no the same, bro. Yeah, he's, like, a, he's at a different. He, he was, was dealing with different stuff at the time. Right, right. I could. I, that's around the time of slipping, falling. No, that was yeah, before. Yeah, I, that was when we was tight. Like, that, Damn. Like, like, Slip, I was around when he did Slip. That's, that's my, one of my, my favorite, favorite songs. Yeah, that's, my, that's, my, that's my favorite song. To, too. to this day, to this day, that's my like. It brings almost brings stop dropping it rolls. Me too, it's bro. Stop it, it put me there. It because because it. it's just like the story he's talking about is real shit that he really went through, mm-hmm. and it's real shit that a lot of motherfuckers go through daily around here, Mike. Mm-hmm. Like, and they're and they're not even. I can't say they're afraid to admit it. They just don't know how to understand it. They, they don't know yeah. how to be vulnerable. You said it perfectly. When DMX was vulnerable, he, and he and he said it in such a way where other niggas that had they wall up the minute that song come on. You feel, you feel vulnerable. You you can relate to him. like the way an actor. The minute you see him on the big screen, get slapped up something. You feel it because that actor lets you feel it. Like he, he lets you feel it. Like character. He, the, yeah, well, a character you can relate with. So so X really got it to his character of the devil. Mm. Like like the like the devil was his friend. Like it's the only person he had to talk to because he got no love from his mom, dad, people like that. So the only person he could turn to him was the devil. And, and what I tell people now is when I understand it about the, the, the gods and, and devils, and because and I, I feel I'm a god. And that's the only reason why I feel I'm a god is because I'm, I, uh, of, of me doing psychedelics and understanding enlightenment um, and understanding my history of who I am. It's not just because I feel like I'm some cool person, I'm a god. No, I feel like I know my history has god, god levels in it. Yes, and, and, and I just have to tap into those god levels. I mean, 
How the fuck you think I did this brand with Chris Brown? Right. It's it's not just you wake up and say, hey, I'm gonna go fucking hot call Chris Brown. It don't work like that. Happen. It don't work it's, like it's that. It's a frequency. You gotta. We have to get on the same page of understanding. And we gotta get the same page of, of of not even have to talk, but still understand each other. Mm. And and it's a time. It's like this dude took me two and a half years to get to putting it, putting it out. Wow. It's out now, but it took me two and a half years because we're going back and forth for the megastar, not going back and forth for it. With, with a regular star. I, know, I don't take nothing away from nobody, but my vision of doing this is I needed the people to understand that this is this is culture. Mm. This is not just this is not just a weed business. It's not just air, air, everybody just can't jump in this shit and do yeah. it right. Mm. There's been so many people complaining about celebrity weed bands failing. And I just told everybody, it's because they didn't have me. And, 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 <laughs> no, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying that in no cocky way or no nigga, I'm that nigga, but I am that nigga. But I really care about this shit. Yeah. So it's a difference. It's not like me just saying, oh, here, go, let me find you some weed and put it in the jar and let's go. Right. No, I'm going to find people that the I've best. been fucking with for the last 20 some years that know what they're doing. So the, the, the price is going to all be the same regardless of what it is, mm -hmm. unless it's just some stuff that's super, super exclusive and it's a hard batch and, you know, it's, it's a small batch and hard to find, mm -hmm. then that might be a little bit more expensive. But most all weed is around the same prices. Like I say, that price is between fourteen hundred and three thousand a pound. Mm -hmm. and you'll find really good shit in that range, and then from there, it depends on who grew it mm -hmm. and and the love they put into it. Mm -hmm. You can either go higher. Mm -hmm. Right now, I, I, I even say it. My my most expensive ounce I've, I've sold so far is twelve hundred a zip. Wow. And it was some of this some of this type of shit. Some of this type of shit was twelve hundred a zip. This one right here. Well, no, it was actually a. Um, uh, gelato, it was a gelato 41, but it was grown the same way. Living soil? It was, yeah, living soil. Was the whole living soil. But this living soil is something... It's organic. It's really... They're growing weed how it was supposed to be grown 30, 30 40 years ago. Yeah, back in the... They're growing it now how it was grown 30, 40 years they ago. They got like worms mm. in that shit. Yeah, so it's grown... Yeah, yeah exactly. You said it right there. They got worms. They got cast seeds. They got, got eggshells. All that good all shit. People don't know about that. That's that back in the day. That, that's bro. what kind of makes the weed sticky. And yeah, I mean, yeah, we ain't, we don't get a lot of sticky weed no more because exactly. everybody's using weed. Look good, but Athena, no, all this oh, well, everybody's using like, like back in the day, shit. it wasn't that easy to make a formula with feeding food, bro. You had to make a formula, nigga. Bro, it ain't it ain't the same. It's it crazy. Same. So it's, you saying that that's the soil the soil base of it's the formula? Yeah, yeah. that's no, that's, that's, the, that's the formula. That's the formula. Which is, you just leave it there. Nothing. You, put, yeah. nothing nothing grow, you never take the nature. soil out. The soil, yeah. the soil keeps regenerating. Every every crop actually, and the, and the longer it goes, the better it gets. Right. It's it's like wine. The the, the richer that dirt. My guy, he used to, he used to grow living soil. He knows all. But he's a he's a he's a he's a he call him a, a what what you call it? soil amendments or something. He does soil amendments where it's actually they they go and test soil to find out what's the best soil for you to use to grow. Damn. Or whatever. So him and him, him, him and his people, him and his, him and his team, they do that up north, and they actually, you know, they actually be selling people soil. So if you got a whole grow, they'll sell you soil that's really, really high quality soil Fire. for you to grow your really. And good that's quality. beautiful because without that type of plug, bro, there's no that, way to get that. Like shit, if bro. you're in an area the that's best desert, soil, just think about what he just said. The best that's soil, what I'm bro. Saying, this shit goes you. more than the genetic at that point. No, no, it's, you it's feel a, me? It's about like the, the best soil, bro. You can, yeah. If you got the best soil, you can grow anything. You can go Blue Dream, you can go fucking grow fucking anything. The, the, the bullshit strains, they'll fuck come around. out still good. Yeah, yeah you can fuck will. around. Because you know yeah, what I mean? You, you, won't, you won't have no, 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 no pesticides and no bullshit in it and to make it to where it's like, ah, man, this is like... No, I understand what you're talking about. Hurt, you know, hurting shit like yeah. that. Even if you grow some fire-ass weed in cocoa, you grow some fire-ass weed in living soil, the properties are 100% different. It's because all these little things that we're talking about. So these are the things I've learned over the years. Just my, me, me, me having all these friends that grow weed and me sitting down we'll with you. Put you on on that. Sh they, they, they tell me about it. They, I talk to them about it. Ask them questions because you, you love know, the I, I really love it and I want to know. I want to know what's up because, like, like that's another reason why I don't smoke tobacco is because I want to taste everything in the weed. And, 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 and I feel like I can't taste it if I'm I feel like the only time I tobacco. smoke a like, weed. How did you meet the original? Huh? How did you meet the original? Okay, so yeah, I'm, okay, back to that story. How? I, how it got to the originals. Um, so, um, Rohan Marley is one of my really good friends. That's Bob Rohan, Marley's son. My guy. Um, uh, uh, he, Lauren Hills, um, um, I could say baby daddy, because that's so, that's so kind of, that's so kind of cheesy, but they, they have four kids together. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, and these are like my nephews, 
man. I've, I've known Rohan for like 20, 20, 22 years. Um, I met Rohan in like 2001, two, yeah, 2001, 2000, time. But me and him, we became good friends. And over the years, we just got tighter and tighter. And then when I had my son, um, uh, he kind of gave me the, the blessing to have to, to be with my baby mama. Mm-hmm. And, and he's like, yo, uh, 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 he's like, oh, man, she's a good one. She's a good one. I said, yeah. I said, okay, all right, let's, let's figure it out. So <laughs> we rocked, we rocked, we rocked, we rocked, and then next thing you know, we had a kid. And I was like, damn, you know what? Since you said it, you got to be the, the godfather. <laughs> so, so Rohan Marty is my son's godfather. That's so, awesome. yeah. so every time he comes to town, I get him weed. And we, you know, I've been selling him weed, getting for all of his brothers and his family. Anytime they come to town, um, for like almost twenty years, so of course, bro. so it's like you know that that whole Marley that more whole Marley royalty is my fam, my friends and family. That's amazing. So from all the kids, uh, you know, that's hard. All, 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 all the all the kids, the nephews, and, you know, like I, I met them all: Ziggy, Stephen, uh, Damian, Julian, uh, Kimani, um, uh, uh, Robert, um, uh, Sadella. Uh, I, I like all of them. They're all like family to me. Hundred like, percent. So. Um, so shout, out, shout out to Shatas too. That movie's oh. epic, man. Oh, so you know about Shatas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sasavera, so Kimani Marley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shatas is the best movie. Oh, yeah, that's bro. That, that, that. So crazy Top thing shots. is, that's how I kind of shots. Is even DJ Khaled, Khaled. DJ Khaled in that yeah, movie. DJ too. Khaled in the two with White Cliff. Yeah, White Cliff. Extra shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was it, that's so that's kind of how that's crazy you said it because that's kind of that's kind of how I met Kimani. Oh, what? From we so he was doing music for the soundtrack for that. And my and one of the people I was working with out here was 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 um, working with Seth Silvera, the director, and we went out to Miami to do some music with Kamani, and that's how I met Ro at, 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 at Kamani House when we went to do some music. But it was for Top Shots. It was for that that that, that 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 they were doing a soundtrack or something like that. That's so, epic, bro. so these these like these, like I got so many fucking connections and people I've met over the years just because of the weed. Like Man. honestly, cool, cool, like Chris Robinson is a good friend of mine. Like Jesse Terrell is a good friend of mine. What's that dude name? Fucking from Miami. Fucking something Gill. What's the guy's name? Said direct. Um, not John Bots and Johnny Gill. Um, Gil Green. Gil Green. I mean, I mean, a lot, a lot of these big directors, I met them all because they, like, you want to think about it. They come out here, shoot their videos. I get called to the set. Right. They so smell it in the air. Smell, I mean, them, if they smoke, some of these directors, some of these fucking producers, oh, well, can I get a little bit of that? Of course. They get a little bit of that. Try, wow, this is some of the best weed I've ever smoked. Fast. And then... These people just work on sets and, you know, I mean, working movies and shit like that. They're just like, you know, oh, come back, come back. I, I buy some, I buy some. And so That's just amazing, like I, I, de- I developed these relationships on, you know, the sets. Shout out, to, with, shout out to the weed, brother. The weed, not weed. The weed is it. The weed, weed is amazing. I, I tell everybody, honestly, without the weed, I, promisely, I, pro- I promise you, I probably would definitely wouldn't be here right now. And without the weed, I, I definitely would have never graduated high school. <laughs> because it, it, it was just, it was just like I have, I have ADD, I have ADD, ADHD, hyperactive, all this shit. But I'm just I'm diagnosed at like five years old. So they gave me all this Ritalin and shit like that, um, and it was like, yo, said, this is how you gonna graduate? This is how you gonna? This is how you gonna? You know? But but I but I was just became a zombie, more of a zombie, a zombie, a zombie. But then in, in the tenth grade, I found out about Ritalin. I mean, I found out about weed. And I said, <laughs> and I said fuck the Ritalin, because they was giving me Ritalin. So right. I was like. I was like, fuck the, the weed. Really changed your life right there. The, the, life, weed, the weed changed my life. Yeah. A thousand, a thousand, a hundred and a hundred and thousand percent it, it changed my life because I was taking it all my life because my mom had to go to work. She was I was a latchkey kid, she had to go to work and all that shit. So and while she's at work, I I got to be in school. So uh, um, I was I was I had ADD, I couldn't focus, I was all over the place. And so she's like, yo, I gotta do something. So she had me diagnosed and said, Yeah, you got ADD, all this type of shit. So we're gonna give you some Ritalin and just give it to him before he goes to school. He'll be sitting at school all day chilling. And, right. And but really, you, I was just uh, no, you're tapped out. You're not there. Yeah, I wasn't there. Uh, 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 Yo, there's a lot of people, especially from my generation, a lot of kids, bro. That that shit really fucked them up, bro. It really fucked them up, and they uh, couldn't they couldn't really 
like you know how the weed was able to save you and bring you back. A lot of kids weren't able to come back as cool, bro. They, see, they had to get stuff called like yeah. the stuff. The, the crazy shit, bro. What, bro, what, bro uh, listen, the crazy That's shit crazy. is the crazy shit is this. Let me tell you, the crazy shit with that all that shit. They was giving Ritalin to regular kids like, that, that didn't have ADD and shit right. because it was like speed for them. And not just that, the, the Ritalin, the company was paying all these doctors paying to sell it. Sell so it. it's just bullshit because none of that shit was even because they tried to prescribe to me, bro. And, and my mom, we came from Dominican Republic. My mom was like, "Oh hell no, fuck so, that." I know this nigga got a lot of energy, but right. it ain't that. Right. So right. See, thank God, it. thank God, my, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't Dive into that, but I could have been a victim of it too. I mean, it was just a time. It was a time. It was. A, it was I came up in a crazy time in the seventies and the eighties. I came up in a crazy time. The drug, the drugs was. Uh, uh, the drug era was heavy. You know, uh, alcohol was heavy. You know, it's all kind of crazy shit going around. So people was just trying to find ways to escape and mm-hmm. like, trying to ways just to live. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I don't, I'm not mad at my mom for for getting me on that. No, I understand. We she didn't know. She didn't know. Yeah. So, but nobody knew. Once I found out that there was other like options, because see, like you don't know, but what your your parents tell you, or your family tell you. Oh, so yeah. when oh, you well. find out from your friends, and they said, "Man, you gotta try this. You gotta try this." I'm thinking it's bad the whole time. I'm thinking. Weed? Oh hell no! I can do no weed. Right. And, and there was so much that, taboo. They make it seem about to be a bad thing. You right. know what I mean? So I was like, no, nah, no, they, uh, yeah. I don't want to do no weed. So, so by the time I first did it in tenth grade, oh, this one's smoking. That shit <laughs> changed my life, bro. I, I, I was like, damn. I started <laughs> relaxing, thinking about more shit. Like I was thinking about, like you know, you felt I, comfortable. I felt comfortable with, with who I with with with, 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 with just going to school. And then I was like, you know what? Let's keep this up. So my boy, I, I, let's do it. They do that lunch. They do that lunch. I said, right, tomorrow lunch, let's do it again. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna do it again. So they said I wasn't gonna graduate high school, bro. But when I got to the tenth grade and started smoking weed, I graduated with extra credits because the weed. Hey, he was tapped in with the weed. And hey, said, bro, it tap bro. you in, bro. Yeah, it tap you in. Tap you in. I, I'll hit it sometime, bro, and it put me in that zone. But look bro. what I found out. It wasn't about the learning. It was about just showing up. Right. It Shout wasn't about learning. Right it wasn't about learning. Bro, back in the day, if you, you show up, up, you got to see, boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured that out. <laughs> so let me just show up and just hang out and hang out with the kids. And hang out and and every smoke. day, every day. Then I got put in these little... Uh, class the you, program so no, it was the classes I was actually um, like taking the attendance and shit like that. So I went to pick up the attendance from the class. So I was I would be half days. I was yeah. doing attendance. <laughs> I work in the front office. I would just so like, you're like doing, senior year was like barely even, nothing. You were yeah, yeah. you were out before twelve. And well, shit. One thing would say electives. You yeah. Know, my senior year, my whole my all my classes was electives. Niggas yeah. was like, nigga, all well, you got is electives. But, like, but, yeah, but, 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 but the reason why I'm telling you is because by the 10th grade, they said I wasn't going to graduate. Yeah, yeah. you still, you, and we I graduated because of the weed, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm, 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 I'm going all the weed. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. If we talking about weed, I'm just, this weed's where I'm here. I built my businesses. I Like, I don't got no college degrees. I don't got, like, you know, I don't yeah. got no, uh, you know, degrees in fucking business and fucking trying to do that and shit. I just got vision. Mm. And the vision comes from me. Thinking a lot, having that ADD, but knowing how to channel it, yeah. not just like, like, not just put it to the side and say, "Hey, we don't want you to even think. Right. We want you to just do." Right. No, think, but think higher. Think with a higher frequency. Think mm-hmm. with a higher consciousness. Think mm-hmm. with, think with, think with purpose. Yes, sir. People don't do that no more. And, and, and one thing I, one thing I've learned with a lot of life is people, 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 people don't think at all. Think it's a luxury. Facts, you know, they want everything laid out for them. They want everything. Oh, let me just go there and just do it. Let me call Uber Eats and he gonna pick up everything. That, like, get in your car and go get your shit. Why you gotta go call Uber Eats to get your food? Right. It's the it's that it's the iPhone. If you think about it, Adam bit the Apple. Right. Look at the back of your phone. That's Hold crazy, on. right? Relax. <laughs> That's oh, going no, on, right? No, no, I, th- no, I tried to throw no, a wobble. No, no, no. Rewind. That Apple is not an Apple. What is that? It's a mushroom. What? That's a whole other conversation. That's why I said, let me let me stop. You. Yeah, hold on, you stop me right so here. So it's the it's the it's the it's the it's the, it's the Garden of Eden. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the forbidden fruit. They never said an apple. That apple came later. They put it as the apple later, but it was always the forbidden fruit. So everything in that every everything in that secret garden, that sacred garden, was mushrooms, DMT, ayahuasca. 
different kind of vines or shit that you had to figure out how to put together to make you fucking different psychedelics. Weed. Right. Uh, shit like that. It was all, all in the Garden of Eden, the secret garden. That's But it wasn't crazy. apple. Think about it. Where and anywhere in the world right now is an apple, you're going to eat an apple it's going to give you knowledge. It's going to eat an <laughs> apple it's going to tell you anything. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. Never had an apple like that. He said uh, maybe apple one time too. the little chocolate was at the, at the, at the, at the fair. <laughs> Nah, so You're right, bro. It's, it's, the, it's the mushroom. I mean, me, me doing so much mushrooms, like at this age, I start having, you know, downloads and understanding. And two things, two stories that I'm gonna say it out here. People can chastise me, whatever. I don't care, but whatever. Those two stories I say is that. Oh, um, this is nice. Uh, uh, right there, though. This is nice. Fire, Yo, yeah. Oh, and everything that we smoke, we usually rate them after we smoke them. Everything's been a fucking ten. <laughs> everything's Fact. been a ten. That bussin was good. Delicious. I really, I, I, and this one, just the Bussin's inhale. Bussin's in stores now at Originals uh, LA and Original San Diego. Go check it out. Bussin's in stores. But uh, what was I talking about before? I, 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 I jumped. Anybody remember? No. The, was it the mushroom of the garden? Yeah, oh, the, the mushroom of the yeah. garden. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. one story that people, 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 people kind of like hidden, um, hidden, hidden to make it, make it seem like they don't want people searching around for mushrooms because everybody's going to be looking for mushrooms and trying to go fucking be, be smart. They don't exactly. want you to be smart. I want you to work. Right. See, th this world, uh, humanity was built on workers, not thinkers. Yes, sir. And uh, when people started coming up with these thinkers, uh, you know, you got these philosophers and stuff like that. They started to get rid of all. They tried to get rid of all these philosophers because they made people think. They made people actually think about what they were doing wrong in life, mm -hmm. or what they was how, how they had to do things right. Mm -hmm. They don't want that. They want you to just be like, okay, what do you need me to do, sir? Nine to five. They what do you want me to go? What do you want me to go? Fucking uh, flip a burger? You want me to go fucking push a, mm -hmm. a, a, a cart or something? Right. Not you know, go sit there and spend hours how to create how the future is going to look, or how to create how your future. Uh, opportunity is going to be for yourself Perhaps. or build a future for your kid or whatever. Because they're, they're, they're not allowing you to think. And, and if you understand the brain and how this whole, all of this works, if you think it, you're going to attract it. It could be good or bad thoughts. Whatever you think is going to come forth. So if somebody just working nine to five every day, they're not thinking, like he's saying. That's what I say. Thinking is a luxury. It's yes, not sir. for. It's not for. That be on shirts. It's not for. Thinking uh, is a luxury. I mean, I mean, but but but, but it could be on shirts, but then it, but it but see, it's, it's gotta be it's gotta be it's gotta be understood mm. on shirts. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. like 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 mm. it's not just a, a quote. Yes, sir. Thinking is really a luxury. Like you got like you gotta you gotta, you gotta tap into that. You, you gotta really understand. You gotta really like really got spend some money to actually think. Because yeah, you, but then in, in, in the thing, thinking is a luxury. Yeah, in the you know, you know, you know, know what I mean? That's just hard. But you gotta you gotta spend money to think. Yeah. And, and it's not even always currency. It's it's time. Yes, sir. It's it's it's, it's relationships. Mm, it's like shit. you know. It's like you know thinking about how to develop things and put things into another perspective. That's thinking. Yes, sir. You gotta have probabilities and stuff like this. Because what if it goes wrong? What if it goes right? Uh, you know, these are all thinking. Facts. And you know, sometimes we, when you get into creating companies and stuff, you gotta be able to think fast. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to adapt fast. You gotta be able to like, oh, okay, that's it. You know what I mean? Right. Not like, not yeah, like, yeah, um, yeah, 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 back and forth. You gotta be able to, you know what? Let me look this up. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Now we and go, and, and you know it. Then we get to you or the next person. They gonna you know, gonna know it. it because wow. I, because I, because like I already gave it that quick thought of knowing. Because like, and that I'm quick thought my, comes with years of experience. Right, right. Well, 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 that's what I'm saying. Where I'm at with my consciousness. Yes, sir. My consciousness is at the level of. Um, I, 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 we always talk about it all the time. We're going from we're transitioning consciousness from three D to five D. And understand the consciousness of 3D to 5D, I'll explain this, I'll break it, I'll break it down to you real quick. I, I, I just told this to my boy the other day, he was, he, and he, every time he see me, he break it down back to me. So, the, the, the breakdown of consciousness is this, you get, you, we, we start out at, at 1D, one dimension. One dimension is just being able, to, being able to open your eyes and see. And you're seeing what's going on, this is when you're born, okay? You open your eyes and see, be able to see. Right, as you're developing and your 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 consciousness is developing, right? You 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 get into the second dimension. The second dimension is I can I may I can see and maybe I can smell or maybe I can see maybe I can hear something. I can hear I can hear something going on and I can see something going on, but I don't know what it is, right? 
Third dimension is, is that I can see, I can hear, I can smell, but now I can actually put a name to that, or I can put an actual, what, what am I smelling? Mm. What am I hearing? Mm. What am I seeing? That's like one year old. That's, that's, that, but that's, yeah, that's your third, well that's when you're developed as a human. Mm. You're in your third, third, third dimension. Gotcha. Uh, uh, um, and then you grow more as in life grow, or you can stay in the third, third dimension all your life. Some people yeah. stay in the third dimension all your life. They're, all they can do is understand how to see, hear, smell, and then recognize. And that's it. You're and that's right. it. So um, we're, we're in the third dimension right now, but we're in a transition from the third to the fifth. And the, and the transition from the third to the fifth is like, okay, so I can see, I can hear, I can smell, and I can recognize the, I can recognize the, the whatever it is, right? Yeah. So now the fourth dimension is I can actually, I can see it and know what it is without having to, 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 to touch it or smell. I can look at it from across the room and know that's a, a, a mirror with a star, the star running and it's like, on, and you can see the light switching. Like you can look at stuff from a distance. I can, know look, at, what it is. I can look at his his drink and know that's an orange orange drink or whatever. Or something. Like that's fourth dimension. Right. So fifth dimension is 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 if I can see it, I can feel it, and and I can touch it. I can attain it. I can everything. Yeah, it's it's, it's right there. It's 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 nothing happening. It's not, like when you're in fifth dimension. If you if you're supposed to have it, it's gonna it's gonna happen. You don't have to even force it. Force it or figure out how to make it happen. Like it's this podcast, happen. like you said, you wanted to do this right when you launched the brand. You just had the launch party. This DJ hits you up. Yo, uh, it just fifth well, dimension and, 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 and like I said, I, I was looking at I've been looking at a lot of people's podcasts and shit like that. It's like and I and, I, and, and you know, I I'm not judgmental, but I am because I feel I'm a god. Uh, uh, but it's not like a god I'm better than somebody. It's just a god I feel like I think about in greatness. I, I, I think in abundance. Right. I think like how how can we all be great? So if I have to create my stuff to be able to cr cr create a platform so people around me can be great too, mm -hmm. that's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to put. I don't want to just. I'm, it's not about me. Right. Yeah. This is about we. Exactly. But I have to create about me for for we can really thrive off of and, it and work off and work with each other because yeah, like you just said, yeah, yeah you had you had to be. We enough, big enough, so now you could give and help and that. help this well, well, yeah. other orbits happen that. around you. Another thing I I, I, I say is like I another thing I say is you have to fill your cup up to help anybody else. Yes, sir. I can't I can't I can't I can't fill my cup up halfway and just say okay now I got a little bit of my shit so let me pour you some and then I got to go back and try to figure out how to get my shit back yeah. into half. Exactly. So let me fill let me get my shit where it's like abundant into the top where it's falling over. Oh, you coming up? Come on, pour you some over here. here. Go. You over here, brother? Pour here you go. some over here. And you I got, still coming. You it's still coming. working crazy. It's coming. Yes, that's what sir. I said. It's coming. That's fifth dimension. That's that's fifth dimension. One hundred percent. That's knowing what you have to do to really be able to. And so um, a lot of people are afraid of that. A lot of a lot of people in the third dimension is afraid of that because they're like, what are they talking about, bud? You can't do all that type of shit. You know, whatever, you gotta go to school. You gotta go do all this type of shit. And do all this shit. That's that like low frequency. That's that low frequency. That's that low vibration. That's a person not really understanding their purpose in life. Yeah. They think they're just here just to be here, and then when they when it, and when it's over, uh, uh, they just gotta uh, retire and, and and wait and wait till right. it's over. Right, and expect that return, the whole what you, system what, they what, believe what, in. What were you fucking here for if that's all your life was about? That sucks, yeah. You, you worked 60 years, you retired, you, you, you oh, I'm gonna gotta buy, buy a little boat or something, or whatever, fishing boat or whatever, I'm doing my little boat. And now I'm chilling, I ain't doing nothing, my kids is going to school, they doing this, they follow my same path to do what I did. That's, and then that's, that, that's, that's, that's creating. That's no legacy. That's not great. No legacy. You're, you're actually killing. You're killing off your 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 ancestor, like your ancestor line. In my opinion, I feel like we all come from greatness. Even all our spirits and the fact that we're all here today, it comes from a, li a lineage, a family. You know, mm -hmm. to act and just work nine to five, like you're kind of just like giving up. So, so I, and, you, and you're saying that I quit. I quit working a job 23 years ago. Like I said to myself, I'll never work for somebody ever again. Twenty three years ago, I've never like I got to all this shit not working to, for nobody, and, I, and, 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 and it's just because I believed in myself, and, and it took it took me a, a a while to actually believe in myself because I was believing everybody else. I was putting everybody else on. I was like, you know, are you are you seeing you rap? Okay, I know somebody I can put you on. And that's or the healer in you again. 
just being a healer naturally. Like you're putting other people in front of you. You're you're facilitating that. Well, because I didn't know who I was. I was I I, I, I didn't understand my purpose. You were still finding your purpose. Let me give you another story, okay? Um, when I when I really really define who I am, okay? Let's do this. Let's do this too. I, I, I you talked about the you talked about earlier about the TV show I want to I'm creating. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm creating a TV show uh, about uh, um, like the, like the Anthony Bourdain of psychedelics. So where I'm gonna travel the world um, and and basically to indigenous places and with with, with, with with you know tribes and stuff like that. And I'm gonna do psychedelics with the way the, way the ancestor did them. Um, um, you know, sit down and have your whole ceremony. Sit down, you know, cleanse, you know, fast or whatever the way they did it. And I'm gonna I want to really understand. This, this, uh, the whole planet, the whole truth of this planet, mm. because I, I feel it's deeper than what people tell me. Mm. It was deeper than what you can read in the book, mm. and I found out it's it's way deeper than what you can read in the book or somebody can tell you. You can't tell me about my history. You can tell you, man. You can tell me about your history, mm -hmm. but you can't tell me about myself. Fact. So when somebody says I'm gonna go to a psychiatrist or a doctor to say find out what's wrong with you. How you gonna go to yeah. a doctor to find out what's wrong you with you? You need to talk to yourself. You need to look inside. And that's what these up. drugs are. The only way do. to really get to them, the only way to get to the inside is I, I, ayahuasca, uh, a combo, uh, 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 bless you, hape, uh, uh, um, um, uh, bufo. Uh, bless oh, you. the frog? Yeah, well, that's the toad. Bufo's the toad. The frog is the combo. Combo is the, uh, I, did, I did the combo too. Uh, it was where you, they, 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 they take, they scrape the back of the toe, they drink the back of the frog, and um, uh, uh, they burn it, they burn it in little sec sec secretions or whatever, and then, and then it's, on a, it's on a piece of wood, I think it's, I think it's a palo santo, it's a palo santo piece of wood? That's crazy. Oh, palo santo. that wood that has that nice little smell? Yeah, I think they burn that and put that on there, and then you stick, stick it, the dots in your arm, I did six I dots, I oh, did really? six dots. You know, how many did you do? Seven. 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 Damn. I six dots, for seven. How was that experience? I'm gonna do two. Um, I mean, <laughs> like I said, I, I I feel I'm a god, mm -hmm. so I feel I just have to understand these things. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. They don't. They don't. They don't hurt me because I'm not living in a in a, in a, in a, in the mindset of I'm I'm in fear. I'm living in the mindset of I'm supposed to be here. Of course. So uh, other whatever, people whatever. live and be great because you live. Type by. Okay, I, I like that. Because you're a God. Uh, I like that. And like that's it. what gods do. Gods give other people belief and hope. Well, if I can give people belief and hope, yes, I'm going to give people belief and hope. There's, there's belief to smoke better weed, <laughs> eat better mushrooms. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, Travel drink, your, drink, drink, drink more water. Fucking <laughs> eat, 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 drink, get your sea moss, take your herbs. Mm. You know, health is wealth. I don't, want, I don't really care about seeing people with big old chains and, and big cars and Watch this one. They don't got no a good health regimen, right. and that's why I feel like these these times we're 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 focused on the wrong thing. That's what goes back to that three D. Mm -hmm. You see a person with a chain on, and you think they oh they're the star, right? But, but if you're at five D, you know he ain't got nobody. Yeah, he probably got because the dude with the most money ain't got no chains or nothing on. Facts. And he he he, 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 he can't move so low. He, he's low key. He ain't got no homies around him. He ain't got no, he by himself. The dude with the money for most the most. And nobody knows who he is. Yeah. Uh, you know, so that's why I started learning being around a lot of different people and start understanding how people move and think. It's like, you know, when you get to a different level of wealth, it's not about money, it's about the way you think, it's your mindset. Mm. Uh, it's not about how much money you got in the bank, you know, no, how much like 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 I, I was telling my guy the other night, he's like, where the where the change is because of where we come from. We come from the PTSD, PTSE, mm. post traumatic stress environments of 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 having to ha having to to figure out how to be accepted, mm. or having to figure out how to be you know loved, or having to figure out how to be you know man uh, you know um, liked liked. So you know, hey, I wear this chain, and I, we don't gotta talk because you know I'm, I'm that dude. You know, I'm cool. I'm that dude. I'm gonna sit back. Yeah. You know, blah blah blah. I know what you say. I'm cool. You ain't gotta talk. Yeah. So that, I mean, that's just a, a hood mentality. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. It just exists. But as you get older. We gotta figure out another way mm. because it don't have to be that. I don't. You don't need to show everybody that you got your wealth. 
You show that you're, you, you can create opportunities, that's more powerful than that. Mm. With this stuff, I can create wealth for future. Mm. Not just be no chain, I can keep, keep create wealth for, for my son, my grandson, nice. your son, his son, whoever, you know what I mean? There's opportunities at that level. Yeah. So that to me, that's more powerful than saying, I would bought me a Rolex. 100%. Or bought me a, let me go buy another grow. Let me go buy another fucking license. Another genetic. Let me go give me some more genetics in another country. Yes, sir. Let me do it like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm gone, it can keep going. It can keep going. And it's beautiful because a lot of people don't know that those are riches, you know? Like how you just broke it down. My family's going to eat off this. That's wealth. So, that's wealth. So when they it's say. not rich. Rich is your mentality of saying, like, you know, rich is a state of mind. Right. Wealth is, a, is forever. Is, is it's forever. an abundance of it. It's forever. It's for your kids. So the wealth that you're saying, like when you go buy a genetic, when you go right. build and start another grow. Oh, uh, oh, I got you. Let me get another battery right quick. Good luck at you, do that. Oh yeah. Anytime you hear that little squeaky, let me know. That's my, that's my ancestors talking. <laughs> hey, I hear them. <laughs> I got you. I, got I hear you. them tap in when I'm like, yo. I got you, man. We good. And the camera's still uh, rolling, that's so that's still good. white noise right there. How's that? That sounds better? Yeah. Nice and loud? Oh, there oh, we go. Ooh, it's it's like, real loud. Chicka, 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 chicka. Oh. It's back on. Never left. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, like, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of this shit, people don't really get a chance to really think deeper about it. And I have. I, I, I spent a lot of time by myself. I spent a lot of time, you know, doing mushrooms and doing... You know, smoking my weed. Make you just want to do some of these right here, bro. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle them. They hit like that. Nigmas. <laughs> That's gonna you smile. You gonna be like that homie, not no. knowing where you at. Like, I, <laughs> hey, so say if I where just right ate. Well, if I just ate like a little thing like this, what's that doing? <coughs> I mean, let me let me explain something to you. Mushrooms is like this. This is how, how it was explained to me. This how this why I'm doing the show. This why I'm creating the show so people can understand. It's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, like if you do it in the right setting, you do it with the right, with, 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 have the right intentions. Uh, you, 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 you get a you get a scale, or if you weigh it out, so you know you're doing the right amount. Uh, it's nothing to be afraid of. The problem is people be doing these mushroom chocolates and doing all this shit and mix it with alcohol. Ooh, be doing this mushroom up. shit and mix it with fucking other drugs like cocaine or whatever the hell else. Yeah. So you gotta understand, mushrooms is 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 tapped into your 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 penis we tap tap into your 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 psyche. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're doing this mixing it with cocaine, mixing it with alcohol, alcohol's poison, cocaine's poison. So you're actually poisoning the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So that's what's happening in your head when you're having a bad trip. Yeah. Like I've been doing, I haven't had one bad trip. Yeah, I've done mushrooms. I love that was mushrooms. Beautiful. Yeah, that was I just one time I think I did it a little. I bit always tell people I said if you gonna drink, don't do, don't eat no mushrooms. Uh, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna eat your mushrooms, like you know, have your attention set. Know what you're gonna do with it. Yeah. Um, you know, not even say okay now. I'm ready. That, that's what I was gonna get to about the microdose. The whole thing of microdosing and macrodosing. Mi microdosing is how I explain it. So how I explain it to people so they understand it a little more more cleaner. Microdose is like going to Woodstock. Mm -hmm. We'll stop the party and have a good time, blah, blah, blah. Hey, yeah, I love you. Everybody That's the microdose. That's the microdose. Macrodose is 3.5 grams or more. You're not the jungle. You're out in the woods. Oh, no, you you're going to Wakanda. Yeah, in your so head. So think about it. Think That's about Wakanda. What's Wakanda? You get to Wakanda, you learn about all this technology that, 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 that the, rest of the, the rest of the world don't understand. You learn about all this knowledge that the rest of the That's world don't understand. You learn about all this, all this, the, whole like, ether. the way, way to do so much other shit that the rest of the world don't understand. Yeah. So that all comes from a higher dosages. Yeah. And that's why people are afraid to do that because they don't want to know all that shit. Yeah, they don't want to tap They don't want to think. They want to think. They don't want to think. You got me thinking, oh man, shit. I'm, I, I'm not going <laughs> to my head. I, I, I love you. Know, you shit. make me want to do a whole fucking four grams by the end of the night. I'm but I say, you know, you just get, you just just know where you get your shrooms from because you know some people can have fucking some weak shrooms and you eat a whole bunch of shrooms and you, you know you don't get the right thing. you don't you don't get the, you don't you, it don't tap yeah. in. Yeah. And so the whole thing is when you get that's why I, I said I or ate these it, 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 enigmas enigmas these are these are like really like I said I that, never heard of these I, I you know love like Google it yep. I have to tell you like that Google enigma mushrooms and then I'll tell you to, to tell you about no hundred percent E N I G M A. What was it called? Um, 
I think it's called like Country Boy. Uh, no, which one? The it's another type of mushroom. Everybody, hillbilly. Yeah, hillbilly. Yeah, hillbilly. There's a hillbilly. There's, there's, there's gold cats. Gold cats. Penis cats. Penis 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 penis. I've always I've always heard of those, but yeah. I've never heard of these. But it's good because this is a, on, again on another level. You so, so the yeah. same way the weed is that's, on another that's my level. Point selling, yeah. To the, to, to the mushrooms, like that's why I told my boy when you come and say, yo, bring the big diggers, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something so I can really have the conversation let them know about so much different shit. Mm -hmm. But the mushrooms let me be able to Tap unlock it. unlock the different different uh, uh, hard drives in my brain. And experiences that's that you've had. Because you've had so many dope things on a dope was. level, it would be because unfair. You have to ask me. That's yeah. why I, like, I, can't just, I can't just tell you everything. It's so much shit. That I've done, because it's and so much that I mean, I'm, I'm connected to. It's just like it's, it's hard to just say it all out in one quick no, fucking. So you gotta ask me questions. You gotta ask me thoughts and stuff. So Yo, so like, but back to how you met the. Oh, see, yeah, see, 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 <laughs> see how I jumped off the tent. So okay, you know, so they've been good though. They've been so, good. so so, uh, uh, Rohan, Rohan, he took. He said he came to town one day and he was like, "Yo, uh, we're gonna go down and go. We're gonna go down and go meet these guys, the Richards. You heard of them?" I said, I heard of them, but not really, right? And um, um, he said, they, he said they grew the marathon. They grew the marathon. They grew, Ooh. they grew the marathon OG um, uh, for uh, for Vernifsky. They did, they did. Yeah. yeah. So, and so I was like, okay, cool. I, I, hey, I, I think I spoke. That was good. So he's like, let's, let's go down there and check him out. I think they're gonna do my do my brand. They're gonna do my strain. His his strain is called Lion Order. His brand's called Lion Order. Uh, he, he just wow. he launched it in Michigan, but we're gonna bring it back here. I'm gonna bring it back here and do it with 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 oh, a was that a, it was like the OG. Well, his whole brand, his whole brand called Lion Order. Um, he has like four different strains. Uh, 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 it's called King Clementine, Roadblock. Damn, I forgot the other two. You gonna be mad, but <laughs> the other two. But yeah, it's, all got, right. it's all right. No, no, he, that's my brother. I love him to death. It's like I love all his kids, his family. You gonna be like you don't remember that one? Yeah. But, uh, but 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 what but what he did was he took me over to there with him, and he was like, "Yo, you gotta meet these guys. If you really like, if, we, if, if you if you fuck with them, I'm gonna fuck with them and figure Makes it all sense. out." So I was like, "All right, let's go out here." So something didn't happen because of like business didn't go right. Mm -hmm. So they just like they just like kind of like not did nothing, but they just they just kind of like like it was just like floating around. So I was like, you know what, let me go down there and start getting some packs, go fucking around with them, checking their shit, fuck with them, see how, you know, just build with them. Right. Because if he introduced me to them, like, this is my extraterrestrial brother. Mm. Like, this, we, we do shrooms, we do all kinds, of, like, different levels of shrooms and we just tap in. And um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, he took me over there for a reason. The universe brought me over there for a reason. You felt, you felt, you felt, you felt that higher situation. I felt it was a reason That's why true. I met these guys, and I got over there. That weed was amazing. Mm. It was a full family vibe. Mm. It was a full family vibe. I loved the whole everybody at originals. Everybody I meet at originals. Everybody that worked from from the trimmers to the to the people that work at the dispensary, from the people that work at the gro and in the groves. They all. They all been showing me nothing but love from day one. That's fine. And so to me, that, that comes from family type of a vibe. Yeah. Not really just like employees. Mm -hmm. So, and, that, and when I met the owner, he, he was like, yeah, everybody's like friends and family for like, you know, 20 plus years. Dang. So he's been oh, growing an OG. That? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. He, it's like friends of friends, cousins, yeah. of, you know what I mean? All yeah, that type yeah. of shit. And it's just like, yeah. he, he put people on. So I was like, yeah, I really fuck with the way you really built this here. We're going we gonna to put something, I'm going to figure something out to Make, make happen with you, yeah. and you know I knew they was getting money. Man, come on, they, they, they was getting so much money from that marathon, and, mm -hmm. and they partnered with the Cure Company, um, and um, so the Cure Company has, has got big dispensaries and all this type of shit. So I was like, okay, you know what? Something can happen. I just don't know what it is. And I had to really dive into my brain to really understand who can I bring to the table if it wasn't. Rohan right now, what is going to get these guys to really move the needle and say, let's turn this shit up? Mm -hmm. And so I thought, I thought, long and hard. Yo, what were you, what <laughs> so, what were you, what were you just, saying? I, 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 I don't want you to lose that thought. What was that thought you was just so, on? I was talking about... Oh, um, Rohan and how this is natural. Yeah, there, yeah, I did. The and future. then you knew your boy told you to be there for a reason because you really fuck with this guy. Yeah. And this is like one of your boys. So yeah, God put you it. here for a reason. So you was like, how can I really make this happen? So that's when I was like, um, how can I really make this happen? But I was like, 
um, who can I bring to the table yep. that really can move the needle with these guys? So I thought about a couple people. I was thinking about Lil Wayne. Um, I was thinking about. Um, I was thinking about. Can we touch one more? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna we're gonna tap into this. Oh yes, let's roll that. Yes. I got excited. <laughs> nah, bro, that's the the minute you brought that shit, that shit had me lit. Uh, so he's twenty seven. And not just that, the 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 what you said, bro. Where, how we're in that special moment in time right now, and it, it happened on that date. It and on that date. So it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like it's like it's like you don't even receive weed like that. Like, no, you don't. So it's like and that's why I had to call smell. it different. Like, Yo, I love how the conversation keeps shifting, but we go back to the story. So everybody that wants to know the story, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Shit. Hey, but well, it is what it is. We do it in organic. Hey, organic. this tree. <laughs> hey, this tree just changed the conversation. Like, no, whoa. yo, and that's what good tree does, bro. And and. It's so cool that we have an abundance of it right in front of us, bro. And I'm so grateful for the story, for the weed. But see, so, but see, and that, it goes you, say that, you say the abundance, but like it's not abundance. This is quality. No quality. Because I, I've seen, I've been on shows. It's got big old bags of weed, and I can look at the weed and know it's not good weed. Yeah. Like it's okay weed. It's, it's good know. weed. Yes, sir. But you shit, I put you of my personal stash. I didn't even get a chance to bring none of my. My weed from the grow. This is great, like, This is my this personal is top, stash. And your personal stash is top. And I, something I this pay attention smoking. to, anybody that's really high in the weed game, I could just tell for this, example, like I Berger, could just tell by the structure. They always walk around with a couple things, like they personal little things, because when you're in this game, you're not in it for nobody else, bro. Like, you're in it for just the weed and the experience, bro. And I can relate to what you said. You're like, bro, I really got into this because I really just wanted to smoke fire weed. Because yeah. we're not about to pay that shit. So we gotta figure out how so to grow so it. Now, 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 now we're growing it. Now we growing it. Yeah. And now, you know, we're growing the level of the shit I need to smoke to keep me sane and keep me, you know, where I need to be at in life. And I can sell it to everybody else. Baby. Now I got it to where I got the same level of shit I smoke is in stores now. So I'm, I'm even more happy about that because no, it's there's, like, good, there's good brands out there now. Like, shout out to Doja, shout out to uh, 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 Life Is Not Great. I like their lanes. Wizard Trees. Wizard Trees. Shout out to uh, Ted Buzz. He be sourcing cool things. He's not a grower, but his work matters, man. And everything that everybody's doing, I, I, I applaud this it. You man. we checked out 2020. Really 2020. 2020. Yeah, we they sent us a, a zip. It was. I ain't gonna lie, they they brought some heat. Oh yo, do you know that brand twenty twenty? Oh, really good. So I, I I know I know a lot of these. I know Doja, um, I know Sherbitsky, I know um, Sherbitsky. I know I know Burner. I know. I know, I know you gotta understand. Like you've been doing I was selling time, weed. Bro. I was selling bro, weed. You said DMX. You couldn't even get into. It. Bro, you said yeah. DMX. You yeah, said DMX. Yeah. DJ, no. Like, I, like, I was, I was, I was, I was in. Like, I was in clubs that there was, I was probably the only black person in the club back in the days. Like it was like it was a club called Fourteen, uh, where it was like everybody and, wore white. Everybody wore white. And then yeah, yeah. They used to I, do I used to go there, but I, but I was the only black. Only, if it was black people in there, it was athletes or right. celebrities. Top of the like top. That. I, I only so, got in there because I, I, I was living with a celebrity at the time. Right. So so, so I, I would get like going even going to front door trying to get in. It was always like who are you here for? Blah blah blah. So I had to know somebody to have that in. And he always I text him like yo come grab me. Let, uh, come grab me in and. I'm walking in, it's a whole other world, and I don't see no other urban people in here. And I'm in here smoking my weed, comfortable. I'm, these motherfuckers is popping bottles, living their life, whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, this, like, I, honestly, in the last 20 years, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen and done That's so it. much shit, I can't even keep up with it. He said, went to another fucking Yo, something I was thinking about the other day, I was like, man, I. <laughs> Thank God for all the moments I had at the Playboy Mansion because that's just not I've been there too. Yeah, I've been there too. Yeah, yeah. So like you know the moments we had there, like man, like, like I've been in it. I've been. I've been. That's some shit I would pop mushrooms for. There's and a secret. Tap into. There's a secret path that goes from the Playboy Mansion to the to the to the to the, to the, to the not playmates but the play the, like no, the, it, the new girls. Yeah, yeah, but those new girls live. Yeah, girls that, but it goes from the mansion to the. It's like a tunnel. Yeah, yeah. I actually been in that tunnel. Yeah, like, bro. All the time, like I was with one of these fucking rapper or, or so actor I people, and they was hanging out with the little chicks that was living at the house, and so they let the Playboy mansion. Was he going to the house? Come on, Shaq, bring the weed. Oh, that's my like, game. Okay, where is this at? And you're yeah. in a tunnel going under the Playboy mansion from the play from the party at the mansion. The right. party's lit. To where the bitches on, live, and then the back to the, the party. Yeah, yeah. 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 bro. 
That's we've we've had some of the same experiences. Yeah, there's a lot of that type of shit. Like, there's so much shit I've seen in, in, in Hollywood and Beverly Hills and Bel Air that like you can you can't even really like I can tell you about it, but you wouldn't really understand that she was there. there. Yeah, man, the like, Playboy Mansion party was crazy. Like, it, it was is, crazy. The yeah. Gardo and then like how you said it, all the celebrities and then to be able to just get a library, cut a room, and now you dipping off to the fucking other playmates crib. The reason I know all this is because my boy King Sanders III was fucking off the, the Shaggy Who? Twins. Who? King Sanders III. Uh, okay. You know that's the nigga you was in there? You know? I know the Shannon Twins before they met King Sam Jones III. So, okay. So King Sam Jones is my boy. I, I, my, my really good friend from, from that football. He was a player yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. Shiloh. Shiloh, and then he was Superman's best friend on Smallville. Right. Yeah, so, I, yeah. Look, I, I look, that's my boy, Sam. So that's my, my, my mentor. boy, Sam. And at the end of the day, yes, I met Sam because he was that he started he started dating the Shannon Twins. But Shannon so Twins, you know we ain't capping about listen, the Playboy shit. Listen, the Shannon Twins was seventeen when I met them, coming from Florida. No, yeah, and, and the I mom was, is I sick. was selling them weed. So I was selling them weed when they were seventeen. Crazy. Because they they couldn't leave the mansion. They couldn't right. do anything. So I put them to the mansion. That's how I know about this house because of the Shannon Twins. Um, that's how I know about that house. <laughs> yeah, I'm, talking, I'm talking about this this, this under this, this pathway. Yeah, yeah, the, the story of it. I know because Sam would tell me all this cool yeah, shit. When we were going to the Playboy Mansion, Sam be like, "Yo, come on, we about to cut over here," and I'm like, "What?" And we think good experience, just life. That's shit, crazy. that was amazing, man. Yeah, like yeah, good yeah. times. You feel me? And like you I'm said, I get it. Like you, it's hard to just explain everything because we we live Sam cool Jones, that's life. That's funny you said that. Of all people. Hey man, I ain't seen I ain't seen him fair, but that's my god. He yeah, like he 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 used to good, party man. heavy. He used to party heavy, and then oh, they still do. And then and then and then <laughs> and then well, I mean, everybody don't party as hard as they used to. No, true. I'm telling you, I, I when we went like like when we was in our twenties and our twenties. 2025s and shit like, like before 30. Yeah. We was private jets all over, all over going to fuck out. I went to e, I went to EDC for the I went to the first EDC. I went to the first Coachella, but the first, the second and third Coachella was weak. So we came back for the fourth Coachella with with with, with Jay Z and with Beyonce performed. Yeah. Um, I was I was I got video. I can't find a footage. I don't know where it's at, but I got video footage of me on stage with Jay Z, Beyonce right here. When they first was first we started a relationship, crazy. It was, it was the, the, the Beyonce right here, Maria Shriver was there, uh, 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 um, 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 Russell Simmons was there, um, and a few others. But it was like big dogs because Jay Z was performing. The first time Jay Z performed at uh, 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 Coachella, that's crazy. Uh, come on, and I was there on stage smoking, and I'm. I took a picture. It was like a picture. It was a sea of like fucking fifty thousand people. It's crazy. That's crazy. I had a picture like a. Like a, uh, uh, um, I remember my picture. I had a, a, a selfie before selfies were really selfies. Yeah. But it was like a, I took a selfie picture. It was a whole sea of people. The whole wave of people. But it was there for. Did Max perform there too? Later. Okay. But, 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 Not but that the, year. the worst part about that is I wish she would have performed there earlier because DMX performed there um, um, uh, um, after like his problems. Mm. So he wasn't. He never, he he never was performed the there when he was at X. his height. Right, and like, he used to have waves like man. man well, I when that rough rider shit used to drop, nigga, people used to go crazy, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Niggas used to lose their brain, bro. It was, it was movement, bro. Yeah, and, so, and I lived through it, watching it through like the internet, because you know I'm, I'm, I'm a lot younger. That's not my time age. That's your time age. Yeah, but it's yeah, cool so to just be sitting here again with you, bro. Right, right. Be yeah, listening that's a dope and hearing these cool ass moments to see DMX. And I, I mean, I, I, and, then, wow. and then from that time, I, I, I was with him every day for two and a half years. Like every time he come to LA, every time he, you know, come to town, I, I, I run around with him and you know, kick with him. And when he, when, I always had the weed. I met, I yeah. made sure he had the weed. And, when he you know, landed, he made sure, hey, you picking me up? I need some. So oh, he, he, he had, he had twenty cars on deck. When X <laughs> had his prime, bro, I'm telling you, X was so ill. When he was at his prime, when he was doing all those Jet Li movies, and he was doing all those. Fucking crazy movies and oh, shit yeah. and records. Yeah, and crazy movies and records at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that Jelly movie too was good. It wasn't no bullshit. Like DMX right, was he made like, so much money. I think he was getting thirty million a flip. Oh, he came. Yeah, yeah. Thirty million at that time Imagine, was crazy. That's what I'm saying. Twenty thirty million. His, his range was Belly. ten to thirty million a flip. Like, like, but at but at his height it was thirty million. That's when he started flipping. He started flipping. They tried. Then they tried to make him out to be the bad guy, and it just didn't work no more. So. 
Damn. It, it went down. But he was a man, he was getting 20, 30 million to flick, killing it, fucking going after uh, like he would he would go every time he come to town, he would he would go to the Mercedes. Like he, he was renting cars from the Mercedes Benz dealership. Like like you know how motherfuckers go to like a luxury car rental place and yeah, go get He was going to Mercedes. He was going to Mercedes to rent, cars. To rent his cars. <laughs> like when he come to town. And and rent like five of them. Like, like so he had his manager one, he gave him one, he had his crew have one, like a truck or something like that, Crazy. or whatever. But he'll go to the dealership to rent his car. I don't I, 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 to this day, I don't know any celebrities that do that. <laughs> yeah. They all go to a luxury car rental place, but he was doing it. There wasn't no luxury car rental place back when he was at the 2000. I mean, come on, there was no, no, yeah. no luxury car rental place like that. Like, yeah. like I remember when Enterprise first started doing a luxury d division. That was like 2002, 2004, something like that, in that range. But in 2000, he had to go to the dealership to rent his, to rent his fucking cars while he was in town. Shout out DMX once again. The so fucking dog. So like, tell us more about um, um, getting connected with the with the people that's growing your weed, bro. Yeah, how you had to pick somebody. You said you had to pick somebody for the what? For the brand, like, who are you gonna like? Join? We were just talking about considering Little Wayne. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A celebrity. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then we back, we back. Yeah, yeah. We, had to, we had to come back on that. I was even you like, see? you like how about that back? Nah, right? yeah. So I had to think of somebody who worked for, like, getting to the masses. Really, that's what my my main thought was getting to the masses. I need to get to the most people as we can because I need people to understand the quality of weed. Not just I can get you weed. Right. Yeah. Anybody can get weed, motherfuckers. You can get how smoking Reggie. Like, <laughs> if you, you smoke a lot of it, a lot of it. No problem. Go get you there with a so headache. Right. With a headache. <laughs> I roll like ten of them. Yeah, like, I got more. I got more. Yeah, with, with a headache, <laughs> like, seeds popping and shit. Like, you know I mean? So at the end of the day, I know that. So I said to myself, I want to get some good weed grown consistently, but I need to get it to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I need to have a lot of people even looking forward to it, looking forward to trying to. Trying, trying to say where, where, where do I get it from? How do I? Yeah, it's like, and that's and, I, and, and it's, it's the quality I want people to look for. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't want people to really care about. Like, I just want to get some weed because you can go get that from anybody, anywhere. I want people to actually see, like, you know what? I want to go get this weed because it's affiliated with some person and, it, and it's grown by some person. That was my first vision. Mm -hmm. So originals came into the picture because of Rohan. So I said, okay. I'm supposed to meet these guys for a reason. I don't know what it is. Let me figure it out. So I step. I had to go back and like you know step into my brain and really figure out what works. Um, and then I, I, I first talked to Lil Wayne and his people, but they wanted money, and I didn't have money, but I had the connections. Mm -hmm. So and we I got and the, the experience and the experience, but I had the people who actually want to want to spend money on creating the brand, mm -hmm. not give you money up front. No, right, they want to go I'm with gonna you. This, I'm going to say this on camera. A lot of these a lot of these celebrity brands have failed because they want money up front. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they just worry about building a good brand and stick to making sure the, the weed is good and making sure that people care about it before they get to them putting their post or they doing it. And if, I don't know if y'all seen, we did a commercial with Chris Brown. Yeah. Yes, that shit was amazing. Like, like he did it on his own. Nobody had to pay him or ask him. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna call my crew. We're gonna shoot a dope ass commercial for this. That's fire, bro. And it was organic and it was realistic and it, it goes with the culture. That's None true. of these motherfuckers have done that. None of the motherfuckers have tried that. Motherfuckers can't even pull that off. Yeah. He pulled it off, and I was like, yo, you, you ready? I said, I, was, I said, let's, let, let's, let's go. So. I so I jumped forward and I go back. So I said, I, I, I said I need to pick somebody who really works. Wayne didn't work. Wayne didn't work because he wanted money. Chris was like, I'm not tripping off the money. Let's make the money. And I'm, I'm a businessman. I want to be thought of as a businessman. Mm. And I don't want people to just look at me as no, you know, no, just no, like just a, a singer. You know, I want them to think of me as a real businessman. So Respect. I was like, okay, well, I got the per perfect people for it. Mm. I, I got the guys that's, that grow the weed. They got money, so they, they can build the brand out. They can do everything we need to do. Um, let's just be partners on it and, and blow it together. Mm. So, I, so, I, so I, cause Chris was like, he, he was wanting to be more of a businessman. And, and he didn't want to be just known as, like, like every brand has came to him. I'm going to keep it 100. And I mean, he said Cookie came to him, fucking uh, uh, um, 
couple other friends, I forgot all their names, yeah. but the biggest one was Cookies. So he said, but they just wanted him to do a strain. Mm. And he was like, well, I want to be a little bit more deeper than that. He doesn't know the business, but he wanted to learn the business. Mm. So I was like, well, let's learn. I, I, teach, I, teach, I teach you what you need to know, what, what you want to know, but don't worry about it. I'm going to put this with all the right people. I'm going to build it because of this is me. I, 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 my name on it is just, just as well as you at. Mm -hmm. so, so he was like, okay, cool. So he said, look, you put it together. I'm going to have my lawyer go and, and, put, and figure it out. So I'm a partner. He's a partner and Originals is a partner. Yes. And um, uh, um, we own the whole brand. And we're going to, we built it out. But like I said, we, we, we built it out. So I wanted to really, uh, make it to where it actually has some, some legacy um, life behind it. So I said, we're going to come with, we was going to first come with um, two different names. We had a name called uh, Cowabunga we was going to go with. We did the bus and then we had Cowabunga. But Cowabunga was... That's was, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it was too close to Ninja Turtles. We had these Ninja Turtles, these, 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 these Ninja Buds characters that was crazy. That but, sounds mad. But, but, but we but well, we got so much flack from the, from the BBC and our lawyers. So it was like, you know what, let's let's just X that and use that for like character, use that for like figurine, use that for like some kind of like, so like, just like, some, like, like, um, like, um, promotional, um, promotional materials. Yeah. So we focused on this busing and um, I came up with the name OHB Farms because I wanted this, something to be based around him for his, for his friends, his family, his fans mm -hmm. can actually be like they feel like they're a part of something. That's what I told him. I said, I want your people to feel like they're a part of something. I want you to feel like, you know, you it, it's not just this Chris Brown weed, man, who's always smoking. Nah, it's something I'm smoking with my people to smoke. I'm smoking with my homies to smoke. I'm smoking with my fans to smoke. It. We all smoking together. That's yeah. lit. That's very important. And so that's what the OHB Farms came for, because see, it's an acronym. Um, um, they call it that, that, that him and his crew, they call it um, only well, I mean, 100 billion, mm. one, 100 billion, 100 billion is what their crew is, mm. and um, but it's also an acronym. It can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, you know, we call it only heavy blunts. Uh, you know, uh, only only you could get only creative. high only high bitches. Uh, you know what I mean? Only high broads. You, 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 you get creative. You get creative. That's what we, that, that we did that for the fans. We did that for like we, I thought about that for everybody. I could do, actually will love the brand. One hundred billion is hard though. Yeah, yeah. So that's the crew. That's his crew. Uh, yeah, yeah, OHB. That's what you ever seen uh, OHB? That's what it means. One hundred billion. That's his. That's his vision of being to one hundred billion in, in, in life. So that's why he wants to be a businessman. Yeah. And so he wants to create opportunities for himself, for people around him, blah blah blah. And then hey, maybe one day he'll get a hundred billion. Yeah. So exactly. that's what his vision was for OHB. So I said, yeah, that on there. And then. Um, Come up with the names. Come, then you get the you get you get your, your. He's a creative person anyway, so you come up with the the, the, the creative of the design of the back the, the logo. I mean the, the logo, and we'll, shit, we'll build it from here. So he came up with the whole the logo, the OHB logo with the with the truck, and the OHB farms. He came up with that. I just gave the name. That's hard. And then you also told me that the person that designed this actual bag is the person that designed Chris Brown's shoes. Or, yeah, that's a, they, they sat down together and just, you know, brainstormed and then high. And, and, and and yeah, high and they just This is so busted. cool. It says busted and it's like a, a, a like that's a gun name. and they're shooting out nugs. Did you peep that? Busted. So that's Dang. where the whole that's where the whole cowabunga was going into. Oh, that's the hard. That's where the whole cowabunga was going into the, the tree. Nugs. That's that's tree. Strange, <laughs> be that. The next trip is going to be the the butt, the, the, the buds, the ninja buds. Yeah. So that's what I was coming from. But hey, keep you know, working, bro. It's, it's, it's like oh, that. Oh, you got us and shooting I've always been a fan of Chris hey, Brown. Hey, that is I'm a fan of his art. And when I get this, I feel I feel essence of Chris. Like like, of, like like you said, I feel like I'm part of the crew. I feel like I, I can smoke. Like and, and when I'm smoking it, I feel happy that if a nigga ever try to tell me, like, yo, what you smoking on? I'm like, nigga, that shit Breezy smoking on. And look at him. We we on that one hundred billion mindset, my nigga. Like exactly. living this potential. Fuck with me. Exactly. Yeah, I like that you, you guys. Are, I like that you guys are putting OG and like some gelato. Oh no! Well, we start with that. We, we start. So we started with the we started with that mix because I I want to keep it legacy. So I said let's start with an exotic, and then let's start with an OG, and then we're gonna come with a sativa. 
So we'll have three three strains to start with from under busting. Yeah. Mm. And then the next level I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do genetic collaboration. So I'm only gonna do collaboration with breeders. Mm. I'm not doing collaboration with just people because just because they have a brand. Yeah. Mm. I'm doing collaborate because they have they have it's like exclusive genetic. So like this is from a, one of our breeders. So our our next our next strain after busting, I'm we're gonna go sit down with the guy that created that 10 2017. And we're gonna we're gonna sit down with him and pick from his genetic locker mm. for our next train, which we probably I don't know what we're gonna call it, but we're gonna sit down. Is it gonna be grown in like living soil? Yeah, we're gonna, cause we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be doing small batches with Chris, um, but, we're, but when we do these breeder collabs, we're gonna be we're doing real small batches. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, and not just that—that's for the culture. Those yeah, collabs yeah, are for the yeah. culture. All, that's that's my vision with this. Because, all, because all, you're, you're teaming up, and, and like you said, that. you 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 told Chris, "Yo, bro, I'm gonna teach you the game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what it is, and we're gonna build this together." So while Chris is working hard bringing in the fans because they already fuck with him, you doing this little stuff, like you saying these little small collabs—that's for the culture. I see it that way, which is fine. I think it's doing it again. Oh, it's doing it again? I got you, baby. Don't worry. You know me. I got unlimited batteries. Yeah, we going through batteries. Hey, we working, we though. We fuck. working. Memory cards. Memory cards. We out here, baby. I'm already, like, I'm tapped in with my ancestors. Yeah, yeah. We're talking to We can't talk to you no more. We, 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 lose, we lose our frequency. We lose our frequency. Yo, I like that. I, 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 I like that. Anytime these go out, I'm going to say that. That's that white noise. And we lose our frequency. Ancestors. And then we're back. You see, like, I think it's back. See, damn. We're back clear. We're back clear. I don't play. I don't play. We're back clear. Hey, that'll be our thing from now on. And Hey, I was stripping. Because of Shaggy. Hey, he was like, hey, watch when you replay this. He was like, kind of telling me, but I was like, I was kind of like listening to this shit, bro. It was like, he was going down. It wasn't as loud as it was earlier. Ah. Yeah, right, right. But yeah, now nah, so you know this whole oh, thing with shit. this whole thing with the with with the, with the two strains was I wanted to really, you know, me and me and me and one of my partners at Originals was like, yeah, so we're not gonna use Calabunga. Yeah, it's we, we, we all loved it. He yeah, loved it's it. a good name, bro. But we but but they was giving us a problem, so we was like, you know what? Let's just split busting up in two strains. Yeah, and I was like, huh? But but the tr crazy part about it is that's how I smoke my weed. Yeah. So I was always get an OG and put some exotic and mix it and roll up. That's why. So, I, that's why. That's a good idea because not that many brands are doing that. Bringing out. I mean, OG I mean, I, I mean, I, I, exotic. I only do that because I, I like I like to, I like to taste different. Shit. I love my OGs. But I love my OGs too. I, all my homies be having fucking all these exotics, so I want to taste it sometimes. But I was like, I gotta get some power out of it because it don't get me high enough. Yeah, exactly. The OG. And, even the blend. Both dead? Yeah, both dead. Damn. No, right here. This oh, one's this good. One? This one busted. This one. This one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that one's busted. Both dead. Yeah, get rid of them. Um, but yeah, my my whole thing was is like, get is, rid of them, huh? Is is, is 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 to get is to get this shit out there to where people can understand what a real exotic is, mm -hmm. what a real OG is first. Yeah. Then we gonna do what a real sativa is. Cause I'm, I'm I'm thinking about um I'm thinking about doing a sativa to be. Jack Hare, uh, just because it's a staple. It's, it's a traditional, bro. Jack yeah, is a really good one. And, and I'm good friends with his son, Dan. Dan what? Yeah, it's yeah. one of my good friends, Dan Hare. Shout out you, Dan Hare. She was in the game, bro. Nah, Jack yeah. is a, a real, I love that situation. Time, bro. Nah, Especially sure grown, that. right, you know? So, so yeah, that's what I say. So, so we, 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 I like we, Strong Anna. We will, we will grow it. We will it's grow it at Originals. But, I, but, I, but if I did that, I would bring in and Dan to, like, stamp it. So we would have the whole world saying that, like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want no, nobody to like question anything we do, mm. because it's not. Don't put it on Chris. It's on me. Exactly. And, and, and if you got to question me, that means you've questioned me before, and nobody's ever questioned me when it comes to weed in the 23 years I've been doing with this. Yeah. So the way I take this to the next level, I want people to understand that I know what good weed is. I know what good genetics are. I know who doesn't. So I don't have to go around looking for trying to go outsource trying to find it because we already grow the weed we need. Yeah. And and I have and I'm not, and I and I even got some legacy genetics coming from Humboldt County. My guy's gonna bring us this this orange cream. He been growing for over forty years and he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a veteran went to to uh what was that Vietnam veteran Crazy. And and he he came back from Orange Vietnam. Orange King probably crazy, bro. Damn. Bro, I'm telling you this, 
And it's, oh, this is what it is your next way out. Just spell it. This is called a, a blue blue Kush. It's, it's like a blue Kush. Don't like tell me that. There's, and this, then, and there's this genetic I've been looking for. It's called Blue Nose OG. Smell that. That you ain't smelling genetics like that. You ain't smelling weed. What is this right here? What am That's I? The blue Kush. Blue Kush. Damn. It's different. It's yeah. something that you not really smell all the time. And, and the crazy part about it, he has a, he has an outdoor. He growing outdoor. Damn. And it's crazy, bro. It's this shit smells crazy. But he growing it. outdoor. Look at it on the camera, on, on the light yeah, too. Let me see it. But smell it. Smell it. Go ahead. Oh wow! It's something different you ain't smell it's, before. Is it a sativa? It's a hybrid. Okay. It's a hybrid, but yes, it has to be so sativa dominant or indica. I think it's, a, it's not, <laughs> definitely not an indica dominant, but it's but it's most hey, cushy. No, but hey, but it's oh, crazy because it's like it a. That's amazing though. It's dude. probably like a good heavy high too. Oh yeah, that's a, yeah, that's gonna be a way. That's a different way. Bro, the way so, it smells is so, crazy. But, 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 but what I'm gonna do is bring his genetics and grow them in our facility indoor. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh. And grow them with, with, with my guys grow and find out what works. Do it like that. Yo, because you love this so much, and I know another person that really loved this, and I was just with him, and we were popping seeds, my boy Grant from Space Facts. Yeah. Bro, you should get with him, because what you doing, and huh? what well, he got going on. That's my guy. Bro, bro. trust me, bro. He Right now, this little bit, at his crib, bro, we did some shit, bro. We did some shit with like, tea time and some other shit. I, I, I'd rather him talk to you about it. You know? Yeah, we, we, talk, we, talk, we talk a few times. This is this is the thing. I I I'm, 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 I got a vision right now that I'm trying to accomplish, mm -hmm. and once I accomplish this, and I can get back into to kicking in with my peoples and hanging out and you know connecting and, and trying to build make and make us all where we all can make value off of it. Yes, sir. I I don't. It's nothing personal, but I gotta do what I gotta do right now. Well, you're tapped in. You got to finish your mission. Yes, exactly. I'm on a mission. Yeah. Once I get this mission uh, accomplished, like you said, they just all little small batches. I, I, I want to I help uh, um, 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 DJ with his 1873. It's like, you know, because he got a story behind it. He right. told me the whole story behind it. It's like not, my boy Luigi, shout out to Luigi OG. Um, it's, 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 it's a few, my, my boy Bambino. Uh, we got uh, Bat. Uh, Buddha Bino, uh, Bino Buddha, Bino's Buddha. Yeah. You know he's he's in Hollywood. These are the guys that, that like when I, I retired to build my brands. Yeah, these are the guys that took over and they big brother shit. Yeah, and, shout and, out to Luigi. That's something. You know what I mean? I just had some the other day. Come on, Luigi been doing this. So a long my, time. These and these are my guys. Like at the end of the day, I, like I try to I try to every time I'm around all of them, I try to give them game. I try to give them knowledge of how can you know um, you should you should. Figure out how we can take this mainstream. Mm -hmm. Like, you no, know, I'll help you. Whatever you need. If I can, you know, if I can connect you with some of my peoples or whatever, get you some of my in our licenses, work out a deal or something like that. Because I want to see us all being able to create uh, legacies. It's not about just selling weed and making money. It's not like I, when I have my son, I was like, then what am I gonna do? Teach my son how to sell weed? No. I can't yeah. teach my son how to sell weed. Yeah, I feel that. But I gotta I teach him how to be how, how to how to run a business. Okay. And, and and if I can build my businesses up to where they making money, but he, he if you want to play video games all fucking day, fuck you, go for it. You got you good. You you my prince. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a king in this shit. I'm a god in this shit. So it's like I gotta really be able to set it up to where That's everybody feel, around me. I feel, I feel the same. Everybody way, around me is, is is good. Everybody oh, that fuck with me, fuck that. with me, this is what I'm building for us. Oh man. You know what I mean? My, 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 my boys, my team, my homies, girls, homies. Like, like, I want everybody around me to be, like, like straight. straight. Exactly. I don't want everybody. I don't want nobody to be like, Shaggy's up, man. We going out to eat with Shaggy tonight. Nah, call me and tell me where y'all at. I'll pull up. Exactly. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to have, have a good time. But don't be just dependent on me. Right. I might not show up. No, 100%. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that dude. Facts. I I want to I want to create opportunities so we can all be that dudes or girls yeah. or whatever. What Jay Z say? Um, um, some some me and my bros we leave each other crutches. Some some what was it? I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking but about? he he that's what I think I think like that. Yeah. I think like how did you, you got some water by any chance? Oh uh, yes sir I got you. Um, I think like that. I think like 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 how how Jay Z oh, thinks. Gosh. Like I want he wants everybody around you to be good. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want to be like sitting around 
you know, and everybody got to wait for you to smoke. Everybody got to wait for you to fucking get, you know, get, you know, eat some good food. Exactly. You want to come, you want to come link up with your people and, and, and be like, oh, I got this one. What you got? What you got? You don't want to pull up and everybody just smoking your shit. That take, that take right. away from it, man. That take, it, it's a... I like to smoke my shit. Right. I like to smoke all my shit. So if right. we all got one one thing to smoke on, damn, we never gonna be able to enjoy nothing. Exactly. And that's and that's and that's like me coming up around everybody I've been coming up around. I always look at the crews and always look at the people I'm around and how and that's how I developed my thoughts of how I want to build my empire. Mm-hmm. It's based on who who I see do it right and who I see do it wrong. Mm. And you know, you've been around a lot of people. A that lot, a lot. I've, I've been around a lot of people that I, I can tell you. I, I was around Drake when he was just um, um, the fucking the dude on Degrassi yeah. before he even fucking put any record out. I was, I, we was, we, I was around him in in his circle, giving make sure he had weed. And I, I went to the first show he did in L.A. Um, it was at it was at Cal State L.A. It was a Cal, a Cal, yeah, Cal State L.A. Was you want to that? Me, we, 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 it was at Cal State LA, Drake performed, Big Sean wasn't even signed, Big Sean was there. Um, we had me and, like they wouldn't even let, it was so, Big Sean was so nobody, they wouldn't even let him on the backstage. We had to go and say, yo, he's with us, because we was with Drake and, and, and his, his guys, and we make sure Drake had all the weed or whatever, and his guys was were smoking, but. Like yeah, to this day, if Drake see me, he know yeah, that's Shaggy. What's up, Shaggy? You good? Blah blah blah. It's like it's it's, it's it's really it's really that for the last 23 years. So now 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 I had to really create something to be able to take what my mentality of smoking. Now the world can actually smoke like that. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like like we 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 first launched this in California. Um, then we gonna go to Nevada. Then we gonna go to Massachusetts. Then we're gonna go to um, we have we have opportunity to go into um, international. We are coming in going to going to, going to Germany. Ooh, uh, going yeah. to Germany. Uh, they they just allow Germany to be able to do um, growing. So so everywhere we go, I'm ta- I, 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 we have to grow the weed. Mm-hmm. Original originals have to grow the weed to, for me to bring OHB farms. Because I'm not I'm not gonna go there and try to look. Because that's what you're backing. Right. No, that's not just that. It's, that's your SOP. It's your system of operation. Right. They need to follow right. that. Right. Because I, 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 I don't want I don't want to take this shit out to anywhere else, and they just put anything in those bags. No, it matters. And 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 then, and then I'm like fucking. Uh, my customers are like, damn, you just gave me some trash, or they put some motherfucking depths in there. Not yet. Because or they put some motherfucking. You know. Some you know what's so crazy? You say that though. Like half these strings. Like say this OG, and that a lot of these people are not educated. On how weed, real weed is. You so get they, me? Like if you just told them like living soil, they're like, "What? Like, what do you mean?" A lot it's of people not, don't know what it is. And, 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 that, and that's what I'm. I always tell people, I'm like, bro, like, it just goes down to like being more engaged with your plant. Like, you know, like people don't get that. Like, the more you love, your I, love plants, exactly. I love this. Exactly. I love. I love. And the there's ground, people that are tapping in in different levels of growing. There's people that are just watering this shit, mm-hmm. and then there's people that are like doing the fucking most. With, like how he said. Looking for the best soil, bro. 100%. So, yes. Yo, Ed, 100%, and, and to touch up uh, on what you said, like, the SOP is so important because now when people in Germany open this and smoke this, you want them to feel, bro, like they're part of this, right? Right. You want exactly. them to feel like, they're, like you want them to feel like they're part of OHB. And the only way they're going to feel that is when they take that first hit and smoke it and go like this. Oh, yeah. No, nah, it's crazy. I'm part, of, I'm part of OHB. And the only way to feel that way is to have good weed, because good weed makes you feel that way. Nah, and if the frequency is right, the SOP is right, the frequency yeah. and the weed is going to be right. No, nah, it's crazy, because that's that, what we're that doing translates. right now. That's what we're doing right now. I'm just trying to we're, I'm trying to tap in and just find some good genetic where I'm happy growing it and, you know, just rock with it and brand it myself. So hopefully, yeah, you know, in the future, we just do that, too. Y'all doing it, y'all doing it right with this, with this the podcast because it's like it's really at the end of the day it's about unlock. But I tell every every everybody who I really kind of build with it's about who who you know, not what you know. Yeah. And then when you know the right people and they know you, then what you know makes sense because mm. you know you you can't be the one that says, "Oh, I know all this, I know all this, I know all this," and then nobody really knows you yeah. or nobody really really cares to know. And you. that's game right there. And you know once you get to a point where you got the people. 
knows you or cares to know you or calls you and says, hey, what's up, and cares to hear what you got to say, mm. then you better, you better be able to have something good to say after that. Mm. And it's not just, hey, who's playing on the football game or <laughs> who's playing the basketball game. At least have something to back it, you know? Like I don't shit. even watch sport. I don't even watch sports, so I got so much to talk about. We're so into this. That, you know what I mean? I, and, and this is just... This, like, I'm into psychedelics, I'm into mm -hmm. uh, aliens, I'm into nah, you you know, mean, extraterrestrials, bro, I'm into we can so talk much about, shit. We could talk about aliens for a whole hour here. I'm, uh, that's how it's uh, like, it's like, crazy bro, that you say that though, because I'm the same way. Just me, like how you said, some people don't know how to tap into that level yet. Uh -huh. That's why I ask, and you gotta, some people, like you said, are scared. You know? They are. True. They don't even want to ask. They're just like, what? Nah, but like, <laughs> they hear you. Thinking it's a luxury, like, bro. Thinking it's a luxury. I have one of my boys, he used to always say, cool. They cool staying on that 3D. Nah, and I like that you say thinking because I'm already, I think a lot, bro. Shit, and, I think. And you know what I love about this, bro? You, you, you making it okay for me, bro. Because I, 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 I've never, like I said, when I was younger, they tried to diagnose me with the ADD shit. My personality, I probably got a little bit of that shit in me. But I'm so glad, bro, that. My whole life, I've always had the weed approach on it, like limitless, open. Like this isn't a, this isn't something I should be afraid of. This is something I need to understand, harness, and use. This is my gift, yeah. and I like that you older than me, bro. And what you're into, I'm into. You feel me? Like I, I got, I got to It's conscious. It's not about an age. It's conscious, bro. It's it's you said it perfect. Age. Some people they go life to stay in three D. Yeah, some people their whole life to stay in three D. You're right. And, and it's and just that it's, five it's, it, that it five D shit was real though. Like that five D you know? shit, like when, like to me, would you like? I must say, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but it's like almost like manifesting shit, or like how you say, like grabbing, like yeah. you're thinking it, and uh, you're you really think, gonna you do it. it. You can do it. Yeah. yeah. If you think it, it, it can actually happen. It's like it's not thinking of it. Like damn, damn, I want to. I want. Not, see, I see. I tell people right now, I don't dream. I have visions. Yeah. And so when I say I don't dream, it's like uh, people when you, when you characterize a dream. That, you characterize, you said, characterize a dream. You're like, man, I wish I could do this yeah. one day. Man, damn, I, oh, this beach looks nice one day. We're living no, here. Yeah. Vision. I, 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 I need this vision. Here. If I see this, I mean, I gotta figure out how to get to there. Because yeah. I already seen it, and if I there. seen it, that means I'm supposed to be there. It's there. Yep. It's not. A, it's not. A, I'm not getting those visions for just a. a, a it's, it's not a dream. No such thing as dreams. Right. And when when people say I've seen some crazy shit because it's actually happened in your timeline. No. I see, I see some devils or some. I've I've seen all them too. <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've seen the demons, the devils, right in Hollywood. What do you mean? Hanging out in Hollywood. Exactly. They're there. They're, 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 right it's, there. It's, it's, it's your soul. It's your energy. It's what you represent. Mm -hmm. And people, some people represent darkness. Some people love the darkness, but they, you know, they, 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 they shine the light. Some people just walk around shine a light. So you, it's like, once you understand who you are, then you understand how to tap in with different people and connect with different people. And, nice. and I've gotten to a level where I can connect with anybody that I choose to connect with. If I don't choose to connect with you, I can turn you all the way off. Yeah, and we don't even have to have, ever have a conversation. Mm -hmm. But if I want to connect with anybody and everybody, I walk up to them and say, hey, what's up? Turn it and up. I tell them exactly what I want to talk to them about. But if I don't got nothing to talk to them about, what's there's no point? reason for me to walk up to them. Yeah. So that's that, that, the way I... Like I'm mad at my, my next big manifestation. I'm gonna tell y'all here. I don't know how many people you got out there, so it might it might it might be a a, a leak or it might just be a hearing. So hey, I'm going to uh, uh, do uh, um, I'm manifesting uh, to do a collab with Baby Nate for the merch for for, for go fire. get that. I promise you go yeah, get that. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I've been talking to it. You go do that, bro. I've been just putting you, it like, because I, I feel like with Chris. It's, it's a done deal. It's, it's already like, a signature. It's yeah. already done. Yeah. And Chris is such a big fan of Baby Nate. Growing up, watching Chris all, my whole life. All, all day. He's I'll the reason it. I'm on Baby Nate. Like, so I've seen that, and I, I know that. So you I was go, like, that's a vision like, that's going to happen, bro. Yeah, so I, I, had, I had that vision. I said, like, yo, if I, I, I need to give him somebody big that can actually be a vehicle to help us really push this into another lane other than just weed. I, I, I'm not trying to be just known as just a weed brand and I'm doing nothing but secret sessions. And I don't do, I don't go to no secret sessions. I'll tell you right here, I don't do secret sessions. I don't do, I don't do none of those, those, those weed cups. I'll go to the Hall of Flowers. I'll go to MJ BizCon. Hall of Flowers is up there, huh? North? They have one, they have one up, up north and they have one, uh, I'm going to be, it's got they went in Ventura County this year. Uh, Mark, stuff. I'm trying to, I'm I'm trying to work with. We talking back and forth to to do something with them, 
uh, to, to launch um, OHB Farms amongst the Hall of Flowers crowd. Oh, that's what's up. So we're gonna do we're gonna do we like get that session. Sure. We got some that. big things coming, bro. Super excited for you, bro. And again, like like I said, it, it just makes me so happy because I look at you right now like a, a, a 10, 20 years in front of me, you know, because a lot of the same stuff you're into, I'm into, and it, mm -hmm. it, it, you're giving me hope, bro. Nice. You're giving me hope, bro. Yeah. And, and what I love, bro, the same nigga you are today, just like me, people that met me 10 years ago, 20, they'd be like, that's the same nigga. And your approach and your business way of thinking from the day you was doing shit with DMX to even fucking today with Chris Brown, bro, you're the same nigga, bro. And, I, and, and you're not just a healer. People didn't just hit you for weed. They hit you because he was a cool motherfucker, too, bro. Exactly. Shaggy, I mean, Shaggy, 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 Shaggy yeah. was, is a cool nigga, bro. Like, you probably gave everybody the real Cali Genuine experience. shit. It was hey, like you genuine, genuine shit. Genuine dude, bro. Uh, uh, genuine 100%. shit. 100%. Meeting appreciate you today, it. smoking your yeah. weed, and, and just really getting to know your story and, and just yeah, what it nobody is. Nobody really lets you in. You know, the... the, the like you said, bro, when you gave DMX that joint, that was genuine. Like he probably like, damn, bro. Fuck he, a bro, photo. He probably he probably even thought like, damn, that was probably bro's last joint. Anything, yeah, nah. whatever. But no, he, whatever. No, even D, when he took, he must have known. Let just give give me a joint. Hey, yeah, yeah, but woo, woo, right, right. And he yeah, let, that's you, where it was. You let the that's where it was. That's but where you, it hit him. You believe in magic, though. Yeah. Like, and, and that's what I love. The, the, you're, where you're at today, you believe in magic, and I feel like something we gotta push is always let people know, like. Don't be quick to be that nine to five robot. Believe in your magic. Believe in your dream works. Like believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, man. And, right, and, yeah. and, and your everything you've done, even everything you've done. I'm still tripping about, out on that. It's he about here, get, here's a joint. That's crazy how the power of a plant. Bro, bro, his whole look where he's at today off of a joint. Hey, and it's funny because And it's funny you say that because I was coming from the skating community, like, and that's how I got to know a couple people as well. It's just I feel like weed brings everything. Everybody it's our together. magic. If you let the magic do its thing, you know? people go genuinely lock in. Mm -hmm. And, and so the plan, it. even if you're an awkward motherfucker, just hit the weed, man. It's going to teach you what you don't he's know. Saying, yeah, it's going to make, make it's, <laughs> yeah, honestly, see, if people don't understand about weed, it's, it unlocks receptors in your brain, in your body, to like help you like maneuver. Like, 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 um, you know the smartest man in the world that, that died, rest in peace, is Stephen Hawking. Oh, yeah, the right? dude on the thing, right? Right, he had ALS. Mm -hmm. um, but see, where he lived at, cannabis was outlawed completely. Oxford, England. It was outlawed completely, and he, and he never got a chance to study cannabis, so he couldn't even understand that it helped his ALS. Yeah, it would have helped him. So... Fast forward in California, they did studies on it, and it helped people who had ALS actually walk again. Oh my God! And the smartest dude in the world, because he because we was outlawed by the government around him. He was in England, you said. He was in Oxford, England. And he, and he couldn't travel. Himself. He couldn't travel here to come. Like he couldn't travel here to come. Just like what? I'm gonna go to California. Oh, I'm gonna move to California to go. Actually, try try cannabis, but he didn't know. He didn't know. He never had a chance to study it. And of course, it's outlawed where he's at. So why would he even take a liking towards it? Because it's outlawed. Why why study something that's illegal? There's no future. That is crazy. So, so, so Damn. The, so the smartest man in the world died. 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 But he didn't die because of that. He, but he couldn't heal. Him. He couldn't heal his ALS. Yeah. Because that that had him in a wheelchair. He couldn't talk. And it, you know. And what they said. What I was watching some documentary yeah. about it. But they said what it what it does is is it's like the ALS, is, you, you got receptors in your brain that, that, that tells your hands and your body, makes your walk, everything, everything move, yeah. right? So if they're not, they're not connected and firing right, the weed can everything help it don't reach. work. The weed, it, exactly. Could help it get there. Help, help it reach. It, it, it makes the receptors stretch or it makes the interweave and connect to where you can actually, oh, I can move now. And, feel and then it. it stretches and then, oh, then, oh okay, I can do this. That's nice. how they were doing that challenge, right? The ALS challenge or something like that. They say because you feel ice? Like, yeah, they, the ice over somebody? They remember wow, I challenge? didn't even know that's why it was that called was the that. ALS yeah, challenge. I, I did that challenge they... back in the day. It was like one of the big internet challenges where what? somebody stands, oh, I, I challenge, blah, 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 and it's like, 
uh, uh, a, yeah, like you said. But I guess it was like they, they, they said, like, oh, oh, ice oh, over yeah. the ice. Yeah, remember that? Like, one, remember that? Remember that? Was like, yeah. one of the but like, people. celebrities were doing it. That's it was like, a hot yeah. But the reason why the celebrities were like doing cold it, or something? yeah, no, because the celebrities were saying whoever posted it, the cel- they would uh, bring awareness. It would, yeah, awareness, and they would get donated or like it was donation of five thousand or a thousand to the. So oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But, but they yeah, said like, yeah, when you dump an ice, that's something that people didn't really realize. Like, it helps with a lot of a lot of. Like man-made illnesses, human humanity illnesses that we create because we 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 create all these fucking like uh, diseases and and viruses and, and and all these different things. But so it actually goes on to the next person, to the next person. And then you know you got a whole bloodline that has polio or ALS or all these different shits, but because. Motherfuckers fucking with the, 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 the food, fucking with the air, fucking with, with like, where, where, I, I ain't, I ain't always say it, but I tell people all the time, we're in a, we, this is the last humanity. This is the last, this is the last, not humanity, this is the last civilization in humanity. Um, it's going to be all transferred into robots, consciousness is be transferred to robots, um, uh, computers, um, Everything like 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 these bodies we live in, they're yeah. they're 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 called earth suits. Mm. Um, you're, you're the, the the thing that makes this whole thing click is the brain. Mm. So if the brain is not firing right, the brain is not working right to connect to the receptors, the rest of the body, the body is just stuck. Right. You can be the smartest dude. Here's the brain. All you can do is think. Right. You can't move. Nothing. You right. Can't do nothing. So you know. Uh, 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 at, at the levels where we at now, I feel like it just needs to be a lot more people thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to get back to more thinking. We need to, we need to think deeper. We need mm-hmm. to question more things. We need to get bored. Remember back in the day when you got bored? I'm bored every day, bro. I'm, I'm not, I, don't, I don't like bored. I boredom, <laughs> like boredom is bad for me. Yeah. It it, it well, it. the reason why I say bored is when you get bored, you go and think of an idea. You go and get busy. You go and get, go and true. think. You think. True. true. Nowadays, people don't think because they don't get bored. True to an extent. Busy being entertained. True to an extent, but see, that's the entertained part you need to get rid of. Yeah. yeah. That is what I'm, that that is more of what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying. We, like you said we they watch this football. They want there's too much entertainment. It's too much entertainment. A lot of They're things could much. distract you. No, a lot of things could distract you in this. Day so you later. don't get bored. Exactly. You can go right. put on a fucking Oculus. Uh, you can go play video games. They got so much shit to distract you from creating and being thinking. Exactly. And, and being and, and, and even though these, these kids can make a lot of money from playing video games, but are they creating anything? No. Like, are, they're they're just, just playing, playing video they're games. Playing, they're playing around in somebody else's creation. It's somebody else's creation. I tell my son all the time. He got, I, he got, I, he's a video game like fanatic. How old so is your son? He's eight. Hey, oh, I got see. I have a seven and a nine year old, so oh, we're, right gonna, we're we're on right the same here. boat, bro. Yeah, so I know right what you here. mean. They're like they don't want to get off the game. I'm just like, bro. Game at all. But so, I, like, see, but at that age, we didn't get off the game. I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I feel you. Trust me, because sometimes I'm like, all right, I'll let you play. But then it's like <laughs> at this point, it's like hell, nah, bro. You've been playing for like two hours. Long. Three, three, yeah. No, shit, he be eight hours. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, eight nah, hours. And I'm just saying two, just to say, but it, yeah, it'd be like, bro, I be you going to sleep? Yeah, I'm going to sleep. And I recently put the play. I had to take the PlayStation out of the, the, put the, it in room. the living room. Yeah, bro, cause do I, I would like you know I would leave after or do whatever I had to do. They come back. Then I come play. back. It'll be like one, two in the morning. I could hear the game, bro, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's right there, bro. I'm like I'm like hell no. Nah. <laughs> These fools are crazy. It's, it's just, it's we used fun. to do it, bro. Yeah, we that's used to do it. Got, that's all I gotta say. We used to do it, so it's gonna be hard to kind of. Nah, it's crazy how like if these kids too. You try to get them off, but the, but that's why I try to use. You know what I do? I try to keep them in sports, bro. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, but see, oh, see, but see, that's not crazy. Okay, I didn't want to put my son to sports. I wanted him to do stick to like karate, hapkido. I want to do that too. Yeah, that's. Dope. I just didn't want to get him to sports. But see, I'm, I'm I've been down that rabbit hole too deep. And you know, I don't want them to do no entertainment. Yeah. It, 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 whether it's music, film, t- television, not sports. even learning. How about learning like playing like the guitar and stuff like that? Yes, playing an instrument, a hundred percent. Yeah. But trying to go be an, an entertainer. Yeah. Like you want to be on stage and rapper and all the dancer and stuff. No, no, it's no. a it's a trap. It's a mind trap. And the more successful you get. You're, you're stuck in this trap. I gotta be successful. I gotta keep doing this. I gotta live yeah. this life. Mm. I gotta 
create this image for people to always like you know look at me a certain way. Yeah. It's, it's a trap. Yeah. You, you're never happy. Yeah. You, you think they're happy. They get money, but they're really not happy because they they can't go out to the store by themselves. Trust me, I know. You, you, you gotta you, so. Hey, security, man, come call me to the store. Especially that's the store. That's not happening. That's not freedom. That's, that's not, not freedom. freedom. That's not freedom. But, yeah. but, it's, but it's, thank you. But it's, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's you chasing that money because you come from nothing. But you chasing that money, but you're not, you're not creating. You're not thinking. You're just doing, doing what everybody else is doing. Everybody else is rapping. Then, look at most of these rappers going to going to um, booth for the same anything anyway. They ain't a booth just say anything. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna rock this, that, that, and, 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 and they said, oh, that shit was dope. That shit was a hit. Because they know how to make it good, sound good with the new beats Listen, and everything. You know what it is, bro? It's nursery rhymes. Yeah, man. Why, 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 nobody, why did everybody nobody's love, rhyming like before, bro. Why did everybody love Cat in the Hat? He was saying, I'm that easy I'm shit. Simple it's, shit. It's, you don't gotta think. And that's what they're coming back to. The rappers like Cat in the Hat. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why so many people like it because it's it's teasy. It's rhyming, it's, it's, it's teasy. It's, it's for the kids. It, it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you it's gonna get you in a trance. And that's the trance they like to keep people in, that dumb trance. That dumb frequency. That dumb frequency. Man, Man I'm everything, glad, I'm everything glad, I'm you glad brought today though for show was smoking. I love that OG. I don't know who grew that, but they grew it amazing. Which one? The one in the red, Man, that's uh, the Russian assassin boy. Russian, Russian assassin. assassin. Shout assassin out boy. to them. You got something going. That OG is something else. Yeah, this is that cool. orange jar, the one that says power. That's uh, that's some something else too. That's um that was and that's definitely that. Soil. Which one? That's living soil, but it's um Cushman's and Triangle Mints. Cush- Cushman's that one, and then your. The, the ten, keeper, the, the ten, ten twenty seventeen. Yeah, that's my, that's my. This is the that keeper was cut. Good smoke. That was good smoke. Yeah, this is all of them. They were also. I'm also, fucking fading. Also, the the busing, the busing was yeah. amazing. Yeah, we, we started like with six. the busing and we went with the crazy shit. We and we had no, we had the skittles too in the and beginning. The skittles. Oh yeah, we started with the skittles. The skittles we were the delicious. We 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 got the crazy. Shit. I did. I think the crazy shit kind of set us. Set us out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It set it out. But it set us out in a good way, man. I love this shit. I gotta get a video of this shit. The conversations were exactly Woo. where they need to. You got any uh, last shout outs or any any last things you wanna mention? Uh, get your boy in. You wanna come in real quick? La- shout any last out. Things you wanna look out for? Get up in here, bro. Striker, say what up. Say what up. Come say on. what up to the camera. Striker, yeah. man. Striker, see Striker. What up, people don't know Striker. Come on, Striker. But they, but all my friends and everybody in Australia love Striker. Yo, come but on, Striker. Let's roll one up with Striker, man. Striker, get up, Striker. Let's, let's, let's roll it up with Striker right now. Who's rolling it up? Get up I'll in there. I'm rolling it up, man. What was one of my favorite ones? We did a shot. Hey, get Striker in there. I'm not going to lie, man. The, 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 the stuff out the bus, it was delicious. I was fucking with it, dog. That so, where you from, so where you from, Striker? Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. We know you're <laughs> a good golfer. Striker right here. Look, here we go. Yes, Strike sir. City. Let's get Strike it. City. Right Shout out right now. Nah, he don't have to be shy. It's just us. Hey, right hey, it's now. just us right here, bro. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an empath of energy, and I feel everybody's energy, even if they don't even want me to feel it. So. No, 100%. That's I, I know gift. when he was just feeling, like, oh, I don't want to go on the camera. Hey, but he still did it, though. Shout out to that, bro. Hey, yeah, hey, shout out to Strike. He took that leap. He believed in magic, man. And oh, no, he believed in magic for sure. Hey, oh, yes. Oh, wait. Throw it out. Throw oh, this is trash? Okay. As a matter of fact, bro, I'm going to let you roll it. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna let you roll it. So where you from, Striker? I was actually born in the Midwest. Midwest? Yeah, I was born in the Midwest. South Missouri. Missouri? That's gangster. How how you meet um Shaggy? Um a mutual circle of friends, like it's crazy like uh, you know they say birds of a feather flock together. together. And they say you choose your, your, your destiny when you're born, you know, so it's like it's only right and you make it up. That's crazy. We, so we share the same kind of like like Jedi shit. It's <laughs> like you know, with being weed in the music industry. I've been a DJ my whole life. Oh wow. shit! I used to be on a radio show called The Blind Forces Radio. They spawned off from the Wake Up Show with Sway and Ted. Fire! I used to be on KPFK ninety point seven. It was like a people's show. Like so, you have to like, you know, we weren't like commercially funded. We were, like so the people. For us to be on the radio. So, so you were for the people by the people? Yeah, yeah, sure. People's church. And that was back in Missouri where you were from? No, that was here in LA. Oh, that's the gangster. The biggest radio station in, in, in West, West Coast. 
Coast at the time, and eventually in San Diego, Santa Barbara. Well, you're what? This? Yeah, this is like 99 to like oh, 2010. Shit. Fire. Oh, shit. Fire. Yeah, so shit, bro. We put, out, we put out like a mortal technique and all that. Oh, oh we did shit. We did the People Festival. See, this is some gay right That's here. some legend, bro. Yeah, you a legend, bro. I've been growing since like the late 90s. Oh, you, Fire. you grow too? Yeah. You grow in the living, uh, yeah. living soil? No, big time. Yeah, my, my cousin, uh, Justin B, he, he has a company called Seven Generation Farms. And uh, he, he linked me back in like the late 2000s with a, a company called Soil Secrets and mm. with uh, Michael Martin Melindres. And Melindres like, kind of basically put us up on game on everything. So like, I hear a lot of talk and a lot of stuff out there, you know, about like, you know, for a long time. And I used to try to tell people, and people were like, oh, you know what you're talking about. Because I grow hydro too. Facts. You know what I mean? But because um, I like, I like, I like. I like the science of it, like yeah. the tinkering and the salt, but, but then I learned how bad it's for you. It's kind of like food. You like to be the chef, but then you realize the food that you're eating is bad. It's killing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you see a lot of like fat chefs, right? and they die of like heart attacks or some shit. Because but it's not that they, they, they couldn't cook good. It's just they just didn't know the ingredients in the food. So learning what was in the plant science, just as much as I was learning in food, it went hand in hand. So I was trying to teach like weed farmers how to grow food. So I was like, yo, this weed, this soil science is lit. Like, fuck, you're just weed. Like, we could grow food, we could do it, just add water. You don't have to do no fertilizer. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's how Mother, mother Nature doesn't squirt fertilizer all over the world. Yeah. No, that's true, bro. It's water. That's and, crazy and, you and said that. It's six, yeah. uh, so the water you're putting in, is that a 6.0? It's oh, it's doing that tweaky tweak? I got you. I got you. You know, I got the batteries. What, 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 like, as he means by the water, like, what would you just throw any type of water? Where you don't want to put um, that's for sure. There's been a lot of contamination in the world. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. So this being said, it's like, a, is there any way, like, is there different, like, you get, like, a RO or some type you, of... You don't really want to even have to do RO. You can do that if you're in, like, a commercial environment where you have to, like, you have to kick out the jam. You know what I'm saying? But low-key, like, just like food, you can grow in your backyard just like people water their lawn. With water. It's like, um, yeah, it's like Mother Nature has a way above things on its own. Yeah. And, when, and that's the fertilizer doing its work, right? Yeah, when Mother Nature bu bu um, buffers things on its own, it's like you don't have to really worry too much. But like I said, you do want to worry about the, the water source. You don't want to be putting contaminated water out your water faucet. It's got like arsenic and stuff to treating the pipes and stuff. Yeah. It's not good for you. Like a lot of grows low key, like, like it. it they're great when they first start, no matter what you do, soil or whatever, because it's brand new. But but because of the the nature, if you're not doing like organic and letting Mother Nature do its thing in like real soil, it's like these pipes and like the even the PVC and all this stuff they use. It starts breaking down and leaching like soil and all, I mean not soil um all these um like uh like plastic particles essentially like you know how people don't drink bottled water because it of the plastic leaks? you don't think it's doing that with all the lines and this stuff and it's like leaking into the plant and exactly. you're smoking literally like plastic, plastic. plant exactly you know I mean? and that's uh, why it tastes like cardboard that's why you wonder why some stuff don't burn white ash mm. and some stuff does or so you know saying you a just never ass, know you know what I mean? big ass there's so much contamination whatever automated automated just running through pipes no not being hand fed yeah. that's why i like small batteries Batches, bro, like us, we grow because we like our small batches. We hand feed, we talk to the plants. We listen to Bob Marley right now as we speak. Like <laughs> right. all that extra shit, we believe in in trying Whatever to. Whatever you that. gotta do like, to take care I, of that. We, I feel like this plant, and all, like he was saying, like I, it was a mushroom, it wasn't an apple, and, and it, that makes a lot of sense because that garden with all these different ayahuasca weed and. All these different traits, like that's it, that's it, cool it, it, names. it had no name. And, uh, yeah, it was just it a bit no garden in a sense, yeah. but it, it's crazy. It has no name to everything. It helps that's true, though. Like, You're like right. anybody, even even also um, uh, 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 Moses, he saw the burning bush. Yeah, he saw the burning bush. That was so weed. Yeah. Burning weed. I've heard that before too. Okay, yeah. see, uh, they, you know, it, 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 uh, uh, Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad went up in a cave. Muhammad couldn't read or write, right? Muhammad went up in the cave and was like, was like isolating himself from everybody. He was like in the cave for months or like long t periods of time. But it, now in my life, I've learned about mushrooms. And if you're not into mushrooms, you will never even understand this. But if you get into the higher depths of, higher depths of mushrooms, the best mushrooms in the world are grown in, in caves, mm -hmm. in Damn. dark caves. 
and and they're growing in like you know when you can't get, get you can't get to them. You don't even know how to get to them because they're in deep dark caves. Mm. You get no light, no sunlight, no nothing. It's just you got you got bat shit in the ground and it's all that kind of shit. Just creating the strongest and best mushrooms. So that's called guano. I put bat shit in my weed. So 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 so, it, so yes. Weed loves that. It's, it's a blooming hand. Uh, uh, so so yes. Yeah, so so. Uh, uh, I mean, mushrooms grow on shit. He's saying mushrooms grow on, 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 on horse shit or so or bat shit or whatever. Mm. But in, in, in a cave, this dude cannot read or write. But he went up in the cave <laughs> multiple times, came out and wrote the whole Quran. Whoa! So you got to understand. Think about that. Oh yeah, you're talking about the story of Muhammad. Yeah, that's yes. a beautiful story. Think about and, Muhammad. Wow, you're right. And you got to think deeper. Yeah, because he had the visions while he was in there, he and, the and, and and how could he how could he have have had the visions if he didn't take a substance that allowed him to tap he in? He couldn't read or write. He always come down and tell his homies, "Hey, I got some more information." Yeah, tell you and I'll God came and spoke to him in that cave. I, uh, this story actually. And when you go on a higher dose in Africa, when you go on a higher dose, just people always say they have the God. They, 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 they actually, it's not a God, you, we are God. It, it's, yeah. So it's really, you, you're going to a higher dose of consciousness, you and, actually start talking to yourself. And, and, it, and before God appeared, he was talking to somebody within his, an whoa, that's crazy. He was talking to an ancestor, remember? It was like an ancestor that he talked to, and then the last person that popped up was God. And then that's when he knew, like, oh shit, wow, whoa, whoa. Moments, you know, like so these, are, these are these are my these are my psychedelic moments that I've looked into to the whole uh, to the whole history of man, and there's a lot of flaws, a lot of flaws, a lot of hidden 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 secrets, mm -hmm. a lot of hidden stories that they don't want they want to keep people like focused and doing working and doing this. So they're like, I'm not gonna tell you that you know you can go in a cave and get mushrooms and start thinking about like Muhammad and come with your own religion. You might have everybody something to come with it. They, they right. try to keep it down to one religion, right. so you got one control. Exactly. Like we don't, need to, have control. A we don't we need to have a bunch of different religions. What, and stuff one like thing that. I like about traveling, I know you got a sense of it because you traveled with a lot of like celebrities and superstars that just wanted you around because of weed and knew your value as a person too. But one thing I've liked and I got to see from traveling everywhere I go, I just notice how. New forms of government control the people, and, and and it's crazy. You go, you come to America, the United States. You're like, okay, we have a way that we get controlled here. Then you go to Dubai. Okay, we see how you're getting controlled here. Then I go to Africa. Okay, I see how your eyes. So I get it. It's all of, so. Once you see all these different things, you start asking yourself, why? What's the deeper thing? And I like that you're about what you what you're about because it makes me feel like I ain't fucking crazy, you know? Because <laughs> like. Oh, but see, that's the thing. They try to make us think that we're crazy. That's yeah, like, that's bro. like that's like the the propaganda thing. It's like even we back in the days they had the whole shit uh, reefer madness, right? To, to make people think like like you know they're crazy. Well, you you smoke weed, you're gonna go, you're gonna Same. just eat the devil's lettuce or whatever. It gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all propaganda. At the end of the day, it's it's, it's just because they're trying to get make more money. Mm -hmm. if they can't make money. Why, why would they allow us to fucking smoke and be for conscious? I don't want you to be conscious. Yeah, they want to keep you not going to want to come to work. Fact. Hell yeah. You're not going to want to work for me. You're going to realize the joke's up. You're going to be like, fuck, the joke's up. It's lifting the veil. That's what we call it. Mm -hmm. We lift the veil with mushrooms. That's why I tell all my people that anybody who I fuck with, I'll say, yo, try a higher doses, man. If you're doing your, your, your one, one gram, two gram, try three. Then once you do three, go to six. <laughs> and once you do six, go to nine. And you just gotta do it in, uh, in in increments that actually feel safe for you. But then you also gotta do it with people that can actually, you know, help you if you start tripping out and going out. Oh yeah, she just needs to get put up. Just give him a, a blanket, let him rest. He's gonna be all right. But he's just going through his thoughts. Right. And your thoughts can't hurt you. Right. You gotta, but you, but 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 if you actually got shit around you, it can hurt you. That's that's. That's your body reacting to your thoughts going on a higher frequency. Mm -hmm. Your high, your your thoughts may go on a higher frequency, and your body just might just do dumb shit. You might you right. might pick up a thing and just ah, you know. What I mean? <laughs> yeah. See, a lot, yeah. of, a lot of times people don't have um, we don't have elders in you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? so we don't have a lot of guidance. So and it's like I've learned that from a lot of like you know elders. I've been very very fortunate to come across it in my in my timeline here. And this being said, it's like, I, I, that's the gap. So they want to create chaos, you know, so they can, it's like a controlled chaos. Because that way everybody's scrambling, trying to figure out, I want to be me, 
there's just no order within the, the, the order of Mother Nature. It's always like some synthetic man-made order, you know what I mean? It has like some kind of material motive. It really isn't like, it's, it's godly, like, like Mother Nature. You know, like the sense why soil, going back to the, soil, the weed shit, so it would make soil so beautiful, it's like, there's so much things that we still don't even understand, but it has so many buffering capabilities and magical capabilities. Like you said, it regenerates over time. You just let it go. The moment you add fertilizer, the moment you dig, done. And this could be millions and millions of years of our existence that has been doing that, and we're fucking it up. So That's great. fortunately, the scientists, you know, said he figured out a way to recreate millions of years of compost and like you know, vibe bam, like you know, you awesome. can revitalize things. So. That goes back to the psychedelics. When you tap into these mushrooms, that's why God left them. It's like the video game. It's like you eat these, boom, you level up. Right. Because when shit goes wrong, if there's some catastrophe, ice fucking age or whatever shit comes around that we've the, always been through this since the beginning of time. The God, was smart, down. God was smart enough to think about that too. Like, uh-oh, okay, if this happens, I mean, if you, they can clone you off just uh, scraping a little piece of your arm off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just clone. So you don't think God was was hip to that too? Mm -hmm. Like it's we're just recreating who we are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where we come from. And it, when you tap yeah. into those things, it's like downloading, unlocking the hard drive. Yeah. Like you know, all these things. And, that, and you're smoking. That, you're, like, you're, it's within you. You're, you're getting the mean? knowledge from Mother Nature. Mother Nature's been here for years. You're tapping it into the Earth's crust. We're created for it. One. It's, it's our it's mother. crazy because that's <laughs> our, hey, it's that, our mother. And we, it's like yeah. Melendra says, it's the soil food web. It's like we come from. The, you, you take care of the soil, trying to which take is that rich away from in, us like mushrooms shit. or whatever type of, you know, these nurturing things. It's like, godly, we come from that, we grow, we, we eat the, the, the things that the sun charges, and we eat these things, and then we, we, we die and go back into the soil when they bury us. It's the soil it's food the web. Thing. Healthy food, soil, healthy food, healthy humans, healthy thoughts, Everything. all that. And the yeah. mushrooms, when we eat it, we're eating God's, like downloaded Mother Earth, like the, the microchip. No patch. You know, just like in Mario Bros. People are scared yes. of it. People are scared of it. Hey, people are scared of it. Like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said again, Muhammad created the whole Quran, and now it's the world's fastest growing religion. Mm -hmm. Because people were saying there's so much truth in it. Yeah. So the at, the, at, the, at the end of the day, they got the information from the truth, but people were actually saying, that man, I sat down and this is what told me. I, you know, I, I got the knowledge from the, from, from, from God or whatever, whatever it is in your head. But it's in your head. It's in you. Exactly. It's not going in there. He wouldn't. He, he didn't go in no cave and talk to some dude in the cave. No facts. He went in the cave and talked talk to himself. And, and 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 connected. Got to the higher frequency and connected. They had to hide that. You, That's you, too much you, power. Can you, imagine how, can you imagine how powerful our DNA is, though, to, to store so many, like, Memories. petabytes or ter whatever they call it? Yeah. Like, it's like, so we're not even tapped in. It's, it's like having a Ferrari you don't really know how to drive. So it's like you think you're going fast, but then somebody else who knows how to drive gets like, what are you talking about? Like, right. he just starts going beast with it. You flip right. the donuts and shit. You're like, oh, my God, God. who knew? Who That's knew? what this car does. You know what I mean? That's what humans are, in my opinion. No, and that's why aliens are looking. They're scared. They're like, dude, you, do you know who you are? Like, right. like, shit, I don't even know. I'm scared of you, really, like, because you might go crazy. But it's like, God. if we knew, we would just be, like, on another level, like the Lumerians or whatever. Wow, whatever. bro. Bro, I did, I did, uh, crazy, when bro. I did the ayahuasca and tapped into the aliens, bro, I came down and I was like, I asked my, sh my shaman, I'm like, yo, what are reptilians? He's like, oh, you went into a good one. And then it was funny because out of everyone that did the ritual, the shaman, he knows what everybody's trip was without even talking to you. They see, they read your order, right? They, they read it, and guess Shout what? Shout out to my shaman. He, 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 looked at, they, he looked at me, and he said, out of everybody, I need to talk to everybody in here. He said, you, like, he pointed at me, and he said, you could go outside and eat, you're good. And because and, it's true, I was, my trip, my high, I was just so free. It's my, yeah. like, my charismatic energy, my positive personality, I, I, my, my ego-like, Eagle eye view of everything. I'm a director, videographer. Everything tapped in perfect, bro. Like you're my spirit animal. Your destiny. You know? Yeah, bro. So you tap it in. I, it I all works out. Everything. God's in control of everything. That's yeah. why you're tapping into that. You and, and I'm going crazy because it's, it's so much information, you know. But it's it's so cool to be down here and and, and come across other human beings that are going through this journey too, because it's so beautiful, bro. And True story. I wish I wish other people really just you know just take the fucking leap. 
because it's, 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 we're downloading epic information that, that allows us to come back and heal other people. I drive around all day not to sell weed, no, because I, I, I like putting niggas on flavors they ain't tasted. I like being able to give them yeah. something they can't find out of the And it goes back to like what he just I like said, giving you know, niggas an experience. To be honest, like, like you hit it on a good note, just not to change the subject crazy, but like that's why I kind of got into it. Being a DJ um, growing up, like I, I used to grow weed even, like secretly because it was illegal. They didn't have no hydro shops. I used to lie and like tell people things like whatever. And then what you what you would call it? A, once I met like the weed man, I was like, oh, you're my best friend, you know, because you're the, you know as a musician you need to have that kind of shit. It goes hand in hand. That's why you meet other musicians like in the industry, and yeah. they they have the same like taste in weed. You know what I'm saying? Because they need that creativity. Mm-hmm. And then um, and. Um, and f- it's funny, like, shout out to, to, to Wu, because when they had the Billy Kimber back in the day, like, I, I was around, like, like, uh, uh, like the underground scene, heard it, I heard, I heard when that, that Westside got the Billy Kimber, and he's like, yo, I'm gonna make a whole mixtape off this weed, son, like, it, but that's, like, what weed does for you, like, yeah, imagine exactly. Bob Marley, and, like, you know, we really made the greatest music ever, like, if you really think about it, Marvin Gaye, like, all the people, when it was like, oh, how dare you, exactly. but behind the and scenes, jazz, yeah, remember like, jazz? Point being, jazz, like, jazz was, like, remember back in the day, the jazz spots, yeah. jazz spots is where you go buy weed at, right. yep. I think right. about that, think ridicule about that. might have made him go to heroin, because they're, they're like, oh, my God, but, you know, feeling right. guilty over that, so it just puts you in depression, so you go have you need something more. If you just let let them smoke weed and chill, would we would have had greater music and people living a lot longer. You know what I'm saying? Nobody in jail, all this shit. You know what I'm and saying? And proper no, legacies, right. bro. Proper legacies. It seems like every time good people get a good run, they just try to find ways to fucking kill them and, and just fucking fuck it up. Right. Like like right. it sucks, bro. Like man, yeah, yeah, like I said, and bro, that fucking uh, CIA agent that killed Bob Marley right before he died on his deathbed. Right. He's like, oh yeah. By the way, yeah. so, I, I did so, kill so that. It's funny, it's funny when that when that when that story came out, uh, like we was we was all talking about that, and none of the kids knew. None of the, oh, none of the kids, they didn't knew they didn't know, that none of his kids knew that story. That story came out. Oh my God! The whole so, world knew that. So yeah, so they was they was pissed. They were so pissed. Yeah. They had to accept it. Yeah, you know it is what it is. Yeah. He's gone already. Times back in those days. I went yeah. to jail. Believe it or not, a counterman of all people. Like I'm like, damn, I found myself in jail. Like, what's going on? Yeah, that's that's when you realize how fake it is. You realize yeah. how like it's all a scam. Even the people are like, yeah, I don't know. Like people are like, oh yeah, I heard of you. You're just like, no damn. It's like when other people they just walk away with it. It's like you can if you got enough money. And nobody really knows about you can kill people and get away with it. That's uh, what that's what you no, that like, mean, We've that, been I oppressing mean, people it's like it's for the, decades. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you right. said, the CIA agent, <laughs> like you gotta think about the way they did it. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. The way they did it, it was the easy, it was the easiest way for them to do it. They gave him a pair of shoes, they had a needle in the shoe, and they put it on the, like you know that like they knew he liked to play soccer, he right. was like kick the ball, it was right. like, it was easy. That was like damn. But it's like like it's crazy when you think about the CIA, man. The CIA, they, they, they're so they're so cover covert and secretive of how they be they be putting plants in the in the entertainment industry, the athlete world, um, you know, every different thing they want they want every different industry. And when they find out, they'll find a way to put somebody in there. They probably got uh, plants in, in the weed industry because they, they want to understand how we how we work how we do this shit how we you know how we make it happen back in the day i dj like a war on drugs event somewhere downtown and literally we were they were starting an event and some old lady stands up like hi just want to let you know I'm from the fbi and blah 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 we were like i was like what? uh <laughs> what's going on here she said she was look nice too i was like yo you not a bad. threat but she's probably there just logging everything not giving a fuck just like keeping it cool oh, so she and can be legally, legal, legal she has to pronounce say, Yourself. Oh, feel what shit. I'm saying? And You're this is like when they were passing the laws for shit to get passed. Like in, they were trying to understand it yeah, still it on a legal shit. level. Yeah, it's like real shit changes. So level. they're way ahead of the game. They're like taking notes, even shit like they we're doing now. Right. So when it goes legal, it's they a could kind of they could kind of copy the golden it. era. Think about what they went through during prohibition. Like alcohol Alcatraz, was lit and it was Alcatraz going crazy, and, and, and then they figured it out. Like, oh, let's make that illegal. Then they. Nabbed everything up, Seekers Gym bought up all the entertainment businesses and all this kind of stuff off all that era of nabbing it up. And there's, it, and there's no more like gangsters like Al Capone. People no. lived out that era. Think about all this shit now. It's like, it's not as savage it was back yeah. then. I'm just right. saying, like, well, maybe it is. Who knows? 
Well, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, yeah, you know, if you really think about it, because they're just letting it happen. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's like, you know, it's like, it's just crazy how, like, when it goes federally legal, bro, it's over. It's now we're going to be subjected to smoking, like, the trashiest weed probably ever, because we just, nobody can ever grow without having the highest level of hurdles and shit. And the, you know, yeah, the bullshit. That's and, what I'm saying. It's a yeah. beautiful time to be alive and smoking. Right, right now. And that's why, bro, this podcast even came about, because me and my boy got high and started talking crazy, and we're like, bro... We're wow, living in fucking, like we're living in special times, like Renaissance times. I was telling them like these times will never happen again, bro. This Seek is moment, special. Man. And I was like, bro, I I don't want to be old and tell my fucking kids, oh yeah, back in my day, I want to be like, nah, back in my day, we made a podcast, we told everybody's Not story, that, but make and a change we, in the community, not just to change, but we got everybody's story out, everybody's That's voice smoking counts. Fire. I tell people, I'm down to interview the biggest CEOs to the fucking regular niggas smoking because their fucking experience counts, yeah, and that's culture. I, I mean, that's real life because that, that's how it was back in like you go back to like the Dogon people. It's like they didn't write shit down. It was all about saying things and practice. You know, passing things down from the words. You exactly. Because so, that's where we have a mouth. <laughs> yeah, know, and you know, some of the biggest feelings, changed, and you know, the, yeah. the biggest frequencies is, is off, like verbal recording. It's different when you hear somebody say something that they write something. Yeah. You feel me? They like, give me a voice, no fuck a text. More, you know, tell you some shit. You know, you know what I yeah. mean? Sometimes a text can get so misconfused, but if I send the voice note, you go like, oh, no, that nigga's happy that day. And you're on a right, good, I say all the time, yeah. You're on a good point, though, because, text because I, I always say, look at, like, if you look at society, like especially right now, people are going ham still and shit. It's and wild. Go, so you might as well just go after your dream. Exactly. <laughs> That's mean, what, what you that. have to lose. Like, I mean, yeah. People are risking to not giving a fuck. So yeah. Get away with it. You might as well go after and not care if you fuck up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's exactly. like there's no, there's no losing. Really. I, I, I always, t- I always and, tell and, people that too. And, and that's might as well just fucking do whatever you want, bro. Yeah, just don't don't do you have courage shit. to see the yeah, light. Not, they're not even giving a fuck. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You, well, you might. It's like they're giving away money, it seems like, on YouTube and all this <laughs> other stuff. Seems like Mr. Beast. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, doing, they're showing the you the game. They didn't have the game for us in our world like back in the day. Going back to the We were lucky just to be around. Going back to building brands and building opportunities. When it comes to... Like one thing most most ninety percent of people are afraid of is just starting something new. Yeah. And one and, 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 and I feel like one oh, thing yeah, one thing, one thing I can like if I could give somebody who's like looking at this and like, damn, what am I gonna learn from these guys or you know, what what can I figure out from these guys? Out of everything we said in all the conversations, I'm gonna tell you this, just do it. Whatever it is, whatever you're thinking about Whatever the ideas, whatever the the the, 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 I want to create this new brand. I want to create this new opportunity. I know this person, and but I got an idea, like you know, me trying to connect this person and that person. But you gotta, you know, map it out. But do it. Like that's why I'm here. That's why I'm even 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 breaking this shit down. That's why I'm even telling you because you know, it, 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 like everybody can can just go out and be a hustler, right? Everybody can be a hustler, but she's taking it from, and my story is from a hustler in Hollywood to creating a brand, and I'd be having boardroom meetings and corporate meetings with people, and you know, I don't, I tell them I'm not corporate, so I don't even know how to talk to you. <laughs> so it's like, at the end of the day, you can talk to my partners, my partners understand all that, but this is, this is my, this is my vision. This is something that I feel, I've seen it successful already, I just had to figure out how, who I'm going to work with and how I'm going to work this project or whatever I'm doing to be able to make it successful. And, you know, that's why I said, just want to shout, you know, whoever t- tapping in, just do what it. do you get from, uh, you know, hearing me, hearing me talk this conversation <coughs> with, 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 my, with my guys, with, 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 with Strike, with what, what can you really catch from this? Just do it. And, I, and that's, this is something that Chris says, even says, everything Chris does, he says, like, I jump off, I jump off, jump off the cliff, and I don't even know if I have a parachute, but by the time I get to the ground, we're going to have a parachute. <laughs> so, yes, so if you, if you think how that, that, that analogy of it is, it's like, the more you trying to hold back, trying to figure out, damn, we got no parachute, or we don't know how to make a parachute, it's like that. You gotta, you got you gotta walk. Strike. You gotta walk in faith. <laughs> you gotta walk in faith, not by sight. Yes, sir.
tell you, you know what I mean? You know, you, you know you may, hey, you may not even need a parachute because you're going to land in the water, not on the, not on the rocks. Exactly. What your story is meant for, you have to jump for it to actually understand what your story is meant on the way down. And, and, and like you said, you got to know. That you don't you don't got you you don't gotta feel, you don't gotta think, you gotta know. You have to know. You gotta live in that state of mind of knowing. And it's and it's, you gotta and, 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 it's and it's scary. I can tell you hundred percent hundred percent I'd have been through depression, I'd have been through PTSD, I'd have been through so much fucking mental blocks trying to fucking even get to where I'm at today. I'd have been through multiple companies, I didn't have multiple companies I'd have tried to put together just to be able to learn how to do it myself. I done, you know, created clothing, clothing, merch, stuff, just to learn how to do it myself. So when I get to the time to when I do it, I know what the process took already. I spent my whole money to do all this shit just to be able to learn how to do it. Not to be able to say, I want to create a brand just to sell to everybody. I want to create, a, create these brands and create the merch just to know I know how to do it. Okay? So now, I've created a brand with the biggest fucking, you know, entertainer in the world right now. Mm -hmm. So when I know, I, that's why I said I manifested earlier this, this, this bathing ape thing. I'm going to give a bathing ape to, to, to do the merch. Like, you know, imagine, imagine dope bathing ape grinders. Imagine dope bathing ape fucking that's rolling trays. That's going to kill it. Rolling trays, bathing ape, rolling trays. And, and, and like, official bathing ape. Bathing, bathing, official bathing, bathing ape. lighter. Like, bathing ape, a bathing ape leather lighter or some shit. Or a, Bathing ape smoking jackets it's or hot, some shit. It's hot. You don't yeah, find it. Truth. You know what I mean? This is what I'm thinking yeah, because at the end of the day, they're going to promote it too at the same time. Of course. So it's going to be crazy. Of, yeah, that's why. So it don't have For to be weed. It don't have to be weed at that. That's just the merch. And that's the brand. That's oh, what the brand is. That's, that's different. Shout out to Bernie. You know, he made more money off of the fucking Christmas merch than he did yeah. off the weed. 100%. That's what I always Because of the brand. And the culture. Because of the people. 100%. The people. So you think, so, okay. So you you see what Bernie did with his people? Yes, sir. Imagine what Chris Brown about to do. Crazy. I ain't gotta say nothing. No, I already know, and that's trust I ain't me. gotta say nothing. I know. I see that's the vision. vision. That's I see the vision. vision. <laughs> that's, that's a good ass vision. Yeah. Hey, it's man. You need time. That's not even a dream. Hey, everything, a everything vision. takes time, man. Everything takes time. A baby takes nine months to come out. Everything takes time. Don't rush. No process. Everything takes time, man. But you got But see, the thing I love, but I like the jumping off the cliff without a parachute. I love that. I love that. That was perfect. At, that, that's how Chris makes his music. That's how Chris, Chris, Chris. He says he programs one time. We just kick his smoke. He was like, yo. Just, it's just how we, it's how I create is, is, is I take risks at everything. When I go in there and make music, it's a, it's a risk. I don't know what I'm going to work. I'm not like sitting there like, you know, yeah, what, what, what should I say? How should I do it? He just goes there and says, I'm just going to do it. I'm feeling it right now. So we're going to go, hey, he had the studio in his house. So it's like, he can just went in the middle of the night, like, <coughs> I'm going to the, get me of some fucking water. And I got an idea. Uh, I just hit the, hit the, hit record. Give me a couple seconds to run in there and get by the mic. There it is. Lay, lay that idea out. When his boy, his engineer, whoever, come back the next day, he's going to freak it up. Or he can come back and record it because he got the idea, idea out. So he can just yeah. listen to it and tap back into it. The uh, same way you can, like when you take a mushroom and tap into an old memory. Uh, it's a gift. Uh, it's uh, talent. Uh, uh, so, you know, man, and I, got, I say it's, 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 it's a God. It's a God gift. It's not even a God gift. It's more of a God's. You're unlocking God's knowledge, mm. and and the Perfect. knowledge comes from within. Mm. You like you gotta go, and the only way to get to God's knowledge, <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. The only way to get to God's knowledge is a high dose of mushrooms or really, really, really deep meditations. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about monk style meditations. You gotta get the only way you get to God's knowledge yeah, is just you have to really dig deep into your own soul, and the only you got you gotta either force it or you gotta. Like meditate and sit there for hours. You know how sometimes you, the, the, the monks be going into the to the thing that they don't talk. They don't talk for, years. for all. I was gonna say some monks don't talk for years because they need to find that. I so it's like I don't, need, I don't need, I I can't talk to you because I'm still trying to understand. And it's like you go into vow of silence or yeah, some shit. So it's like silence. it's like it is the same way with the, with, with 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 mushrooms. But mushrooms, you don't. You're, it's not gonna take you a long time. You're gonna go straight to. That's why I say. I, I, I recommend people to go higher. Mm -hmm. Don't do the higher doses because then you don't have to do the micro dose every day. That's and what you, I like about the ayahuasca. In a sense, you know, it's just right to it. It's that force because mm -hmm. it's, it's if you do it right, you gotta throw up. You gotta 
exhale. You gotta get it out. Here. So purge. You gotta purge was, to go up. So I was telling him. Once you day, purge and you get comfy and you go down. I was telling him the other day, like you know, one, one, yeah. one one level of Glass one level of coach. one level of you, 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 you do the combo. The combo is like an MRI. It's gonna tell you what's what's wrong with you. It's gonna tell your body internally what's wrong with you. This is how I was told. I, it may be other ways of this, but this is what I was told by a shaman. You know, he told me it, it was um, it, your body. Your body's gonna actually tell tell your tell yourself what's wrong with you, whether you got uh, 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 addiction to some kind of alcohol or addiction to drugs or you got some fucking you know family trauma or you got some you know you got a pedophile problem or anything you got problems with, it's gonna check you. The, the, and that's the combo. Mm. Then you turn around and hit it with the ayahuasca. That's gonna fix you. Mm. So that's why you purge. That's why you throw up, or throw up, or you, you you snot, or you go to shit, or you pee. You gotta get it out. And you got you getting everything out of you that's negative. Mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 then that's your fixing. That's the heat. That's the fix. That's the fix. Mm. Then once you finish everything, then another thing to do is the hape. Is that when they blow the stuff into well, the your nose? Yeah, nose. and then they open up your third eye. I yeah, did that the, too. The hape is done. After they, after they do that, they, they do the hape, and that's what it did. The hape does the open up the open up your passage to your third eye, mm -hmm. so you so your penile gland is open. So from there, then you can start doing other things like mushrooms to 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 to, to, to keep it open, or the DMT, or mm -hmm. or certain stuff like that. But once that is open, then you're on a clear path to understanding. Or understanding, uh, uh, you're on a clear path to understanding. So I, that's why I say, you know, once you get to that level of, of, of understanding, uh, what is a microdose? Right. Like, you know, what I mean? <laughs> yeah, well, like why, why are you even thinking about it. a microdose? Stop playing with it. Yeah, you, you need because I mean? you're trying to do it to tap in. So why you why are you trying to tap in on? Why are you trying to half step and tap in? I'm gonna be real with you. Like back, in, I've been like, this is not on the record. Like that. I allegedly used to do sell so mushrooms back in the day. Allegedly. Like, like, and, uh, and I like still do. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. It was allegedly. in the early 2000s. Like, Legally. In, in the early 2000s, there was no microdose. You did mushrooms. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you didn't, like, I right right had to feel it. It's like, I, cause I used to sell the chocolates. And, like, you know, and they were, they were cheap, too, like, eight, ten bucks, depending on if I knew you or not. But, you know, then, the, and then regular ones were, were just, like, you, you, I used to put like a whole bunch on a DiGiorno or whatever. Yeah. It was like turn up, you know what I mean? Like, That's good. For the whole night. Like, sandwich, and you had, like he says, you're tapping in, you're doing the work. Right. You're I not just eight. like, you're not going to get anything just like, it's like putting like like a half a gallon in your tank. Like, right. you're just going to go somewhere. Like, I don't know what you even do. Like, 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 Oh, you come back into next week. Tank is nice. yeah, yeah, right. Right. Come back the, next, the week after or whatever. You know what I mean? But you don't think like that. You, but like, 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 you come up. That microdose is a five dollar fill up. You come up in an area where everybody was told about. Was like, uh, you, everybody was told about um, um, just no to get by. Like, hey, they were living just to get by. They wasn't thinking about. They had no hope for the future. They were trying to get their dreams. They were just trying to get by. And that was just to get high today. You know what I'm saying? Not enough to even try to do what we're doing on the level we are today on some shit. But that's what I was saying when I was talking about, like you know, we're taught or we're 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 programmed to just get by. We're not pro we're not taught and programmed to hope for the future, yeah. to to to, to think of a better day, to have yeah. visions. We're taught that oh, that's just a dream. Go back to sleep. Right. Oh, that's just a nightmare. Go back to sleep. <laughs> right. But that's a vision of some shit that's going down. The shit that happened. The shit that's you know that's gonna happen or whatever right. like that. How that's do a, you that's take a, it? It's, it's a vision. Yes, sir. Um, but it's connected to your acacia records, mm. and we all have them. Every every every. Every eight billion humans on this planet mm -hmm. has has knowledge stored in their acacia records. It has okay. to do with the the, 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 the the everything that happened on this planet. Mm -hmm. And if and, 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 and you know you know you ever hear the story if you want to hide the truth from a nigga put it in the book? Fact. You ever heard that? Yeah. So the real truth from a you hide the truth from a human, you put it in a human. That's crazy. Damn. Think on that. 
So in the back of your penile gland is the fucking full DNA of everything that happened on this planet is stored. It's because and that's of why when people tap into these things, they have the same type of like yo you, experiences, right? Because we're tapping into we're something that all of them are all connected. We're all connected, but some of them are different. Some of them are different. Some of them, some of them, some some connected different. Like, like like okay, I did nine grams of mushrooms on my birthday in twenty twenty one, in 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 in, in Miami, mm. um, but see. When you go h higher, they call you. You don't call them. So it, it, mushrooms told me we need to talk. So you got to get near a portal, mm. and these portals are different places on the planet. It, it's, you know, it's places that actually can tap into a, a a really, really, really higher frequency to understand the past, the present, or whatever you want to understand. So. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms telling me to get to get to get to a portal. So my birthday was was. I uh, understand my birthday is seven twenty seven nineteen seventy seven. Yeah. If you understand the sevens in that, so uh, that's, that's God's number. Um, but um, on my birthday in Miami, I went to my Rohan's house. He's had a house on the water. Uh, he has a house on water. Uh, uh, um, um, he has just around the back of water. He has a pool. Everything. So I was like, man, you know what? That might be the perfect place to do it, right? So <laughs> I said, I'm coming to, coming to Miami, bro. I don't know. The universe is telling me to come out there. I'm going to stay at my boy's house for a few. I'm going to maybe get a hotel, whatever. And I'm gonna, I need to come hang out. Man, just after you finish the boys, come stay in my crib. So I was like, all right, cool. So that's what kind of what I want to do anyway. Uh, 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 so again, the universe, like, says. Bring it to you. Saying, making it easier for you to do what you have to do. Um, that's you finding that parachute once you've already jumped. Right, there you go. There you go. That's exactly it. We find the parachute after I jump. So he said, stay there. And then my, my, my shaman that came in town, I had my own, I had some chocolates and some, this, this is about the time when I, I said, I'm not fucking on chocolates no more. <laughs> but I had some chocolates and some some limited tech capsules. Mm. Um, and, and you're your nine grams in, right? So I was trying to do nine grams, so I had a bunch of chocolates and a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of uh, limited tech capsules. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm gonna take all this, eat all this. And he's like, man, you playing with it. What the hell you talking about chocolates and limited techs and shit? He's like, I brought these, right? He brought these Tamarian blues. Um, they these the Tamarian blues uh, mushrooms, these are uh, um these are uh, 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 he's, he calls them they're the priesthood warrior priesthood warrior strain. They're, they're, they're a strain of mushrooms that they used to give to high priests that actually was warriors that went out to um, go explore areas back in the uh, different parts of Africa. But like these were these were like not the the, 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 the ones you just gave me to sit around the the, 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 um, the, the circle and just you know kumbaya. They're this, the fire ones. These are the ones that actually they gave to the warriors to, when they was going out hunting. Think about, it. Blue, think, but think about it. Think about it. Tamarian blues. Think Tamarian about blues. it. If you have this visions and this knowledge of understanding, you can ride through the dark. You can ride in terrain exactly. where you don't even know where you're going, exactly. but you know where you're going. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. they would give them to them before they go on their rides. They would give them to them they go on their hunts, mm -hmm. and they would be tapped in, and they'd be like, "Let's go. Mm -hmm. You know where to go." Mm -hmm. we, and, and so this. It's basically what this strain was. It's like a, it's like a strain from the, the ancestors. Um, it's from a guy named Baba Kalindi. Uh, Baba Kalindi actually found the strain, uh, create or, or create the strain, and, and and then he 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 actually got um, other people to get into. He started doing 10, 15, 20. Was he 20. like recording something? Or he was doing this with a. Well, he was doing this. He was doing this by himself. Yeah. Like, he was doing it by himself. Like he he actually grew these. But he found the strain for Africa. He was growing them, and he was selling them to people, giving them to people, and then they actually raised their consciousness. Because this is what we. In order for us to really get to 5D, like I was saying earlier, you have to raise your consciousness. And 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 so he was like finding certain people, and you know, hey. You know, you should try these out. So he got to my shaman. My shaman was like, you know, I'm gonna put you on the. I'm gonna, he said, he said, he looked at me. He said, I know you not know 
you, you not know. You, you you really are like a, a, a one of them ones, but I don't know yet. So that's why I brought these just in case. So you came with that, I was like, yeah, you really need these. So he gave me the Tenarian Blues, nine grams, dry mushrooms, and some water. And and this this is another story that's like crazy, but it was is is is. is it's based on your education record, so <clears throat> each one of us has our own story to this. That's crazy. It's very so, took the, took the nine grams, um, ate the mushrooms, took the nine grams, went on the bed, lay back, just laying back on the bed, <clears throat> looking up. But then like, it was a dark room, he turned the lights off, he's in the corner, uh, my shop is in the corner as, as my guide. Uh, he's in the corner chilling. Uh, just he has he has his laptop open. He's just taking notes. Blah blah blah. As, as like of, of whatever. Um, uh, but then I go into my uh, um, I guess I go into my DM, DMT trip. Was the first part of this journey. So when I go into this DMT DMT trip on the first part of this journey, um, I start to I start to see crazy colors. I start to see crazy shapes flying through the sky. I start to see um, uh, skeletons and and, and 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 different characters and stuff flying through the sky. But even when I open my eyes, I like close my eyes and I see them crazy things and I open them, I still see them. And I was like, damn, shit just really, and I, and I had to really tell myself, it's all in your mind. That things can't hurt you. Just go with it. It's okay. Like how I say, walk by faith, not by sight. And, and, and in a sense, submit, submission. Submission, okay. So I said, okay, cool, let's rock with it. So 15 minute DMT trip. DM, if you might have done DMT, DMT was like seven minutes. Yeah, 15 so, so, minutes, that's massive. So right, yeah. So I'm looking for a 15, 20 minute DMT trip. So that was my, that was my, that was my journey through the wormhole, through the wormhole of going into, you know, how you, we say I heard about, about space, you don't go to space. Mm -hmm. Really, space is in our mind. So it was my, that was my journey through the wormhole going into inner space. Mm -hmm. um, once I got through the wormhole, I was just like, okay, damn, that was, that was crazy. Is, is that it? So I had to sit down, I ain't gonna pee. So I had, I, 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 I'm like, you know, I'm deep in my journey. Right. But he says people don't really do this. They get up and they find their own way to the bathroom. Mm. So I found my own way to the bathroom. Um, nobody had to walk me. He didn't have to walk me. I found him. Oh, I was talking to myself on this journey. I was talking. To, I was like, I, I'm like, damn, what's going on? Okay, this is cool. Wow, it's like I'm just like I was seeing things and that just for the first time. Enjoying it for the first. I was just seeing things. And I went. I went pee straight to, to the thing. No problem. Like they said, people on that on that level, they, they missed the toilet. No, I yeah. want you did that at my house too. I thought that was funny. I was like, yeah, you did piss on you did piss. <laughs> yeah, hey, so, hey, I, I didn't piss. I didn't piss on the floor. I pissed straight in there, no problem. Um, and so, really, what they say is when you're at a higher dosage, you're having an out of body experience, but you're really controlling your body with your mind. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at your body, you're telling your body what to do and all that type of stuff, but you're really having a like a like a like a, a out of body experience, but it's an inner body experience if, if we want to really break it down. So I was walking that way. I walked to the bathroom, pee, looked in the mirror, and oh, they say don't look in the mirror. No. How about that, right? That's not, it depends. It depends because, like I said, like I told you, I'm 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 a guy, and I understand it now. Mm -hmm. But when I first did all this stuff, I wasn't I was I wasn't I wasn't I, I, I didn't see nothing that that tripped me out. Yeah. Like I, it wasn't it wasn't nothing like whoa what the heck no yeah. it, wasn't, it was like oh, it was hey okay cool is okay yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it that's like, that's awesome. that's awesome. I like that. that was cool so <laughs> I came back out of there out of the bathroom closed the door he said he said close the door and 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 went <laughs> and went and I was like I stood up I, I stood up and I was like I was like I was like talking talking to the to the to the window. I was talking to the window, and um, I was having a. I started having a full-on conversation with myself through the window, and that's when I started talking to um, my ancestors, my who were actually the creators of humanity, um, the, the Anunnaki gods. Anunnaki, I've heard of that before. 
the Anunnaki gods. Um, and, I, and I always had a, fan, a, a, a fascination with what, what is the Anunnaki. So um, I met Anu and I met Enlil, uh, which is Anu is, 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 the, is, the, is the mother, but it's, she's also the father. Uh, it's the, she's the mother, but also the father of all the Anunnaki gods. Um, um, and Enlil was the one, was the one that created humanity with his brother Inky. He was a sky god and was a was a god of the water. Atlantis. Atlantis. Yeah. Well. Look, yeah. Look, Atlantis. We'll see. Yeah. They. They. He. He did some some foul shit. So that's why Atlantis was wiped out. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 he he just had to stay in the water. Um, and that, that that's kind of where Porto's at too. Kind of like the Bermuda so, Triangle area. No, the portal in the water is, um, is, is it a permafrost. I was going to say, is it the Dominican Republic, bro? Because, bro, I, I feel like a big energy coming from over there. There's bro. portals all through the water. So, but the biggest portal in the water to get to to, to what we call um, inner space, not, not inside of you, but inner space, would be um, the Mariana Trench. Mm -hmm. Where the deepest part, the deep, deepest space in the ocean, once you go past this like, thing called the permafrost, it goes even deeper. You heard the movie The Meg? Yes. The movie Meg? Yeah, you're breaking they it down perfectly. They, they talk, I, right? Everything you're actually saying is crazy because I've, I've heard it like online somewhere and you're saying it like word for word the way I heard it online and it's so crazy because... Like, I've never read about it. No, I know, but because so, I'm getting it so organically, so it, it feels so like so, so bad. Yeah. So the water, that's crazy. So yeah, yeah, and, 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 and well, right well, where he said. Well, 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 the deepest, the deepest. Yeah, people right. don't know much about the water anyway, bro. Right. It's, 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 like it's, it's like outer space. space. It's like outer space. To get to outer space, you have to go through a perm. I mean, to the firmament. You, don't know shit you have to go through the firmament to get to outer space. Right. To get to inner space, deep inner space, you, you have to go through the, the permafrost. The crust. The, 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 the permafrost. At, at, at the, and that's where the Mariana Trench is. And going deeper in the Mariana Trench is where you find some animals. You find dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaur that's there. how that movie was, right? Yeah. When they got through there. And but all that's all that makes sense because let me tell you a story about it. 65 million years ago is when the dinosaurs went away. That meteor that hit the earth. It hit the water. It hit the, it hit the, it hit the, it hit the Gulf of Mexico. Uh -huh. So it, it that meteor hit the water and killed. It hit the water and killed everything on, on land. That's very So you gotta understand the, it, power the, the, the power, the force, the the, the amount of, of uh, 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 nuclear nuclear right. energy came out of that from hitting the water, not hitting land, True. and it killed everything. So and it was more. It was more than just that, but that was the biggest one that just took everything out. So 65 million years ago is when that happened. So you want to understand, humans hit the planet 600,000 years ago. Um, the Dark Ages was like a million to like 10 million, 10 million years ago. But what was going on for 30 million years? Maybe more, 40 million, whatever, 40 million, 30, 40 million years. Yeah. It was just nothing. And, and, and magically these pyramids pop up and all this no, 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 it's not, not magic. Yet. It's not magic. We're not even there yet. Mm -hmm. So those happened because um, the, the Anunnaki, they had to, they had to, okay, now let's get back into the story about the Anunnaki. I, I, I be jumping around because there's so much shit going in my head and it it's just sense. like, now I'm just trying to really kind of like give you guys some clarity of of, 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 of yeah, what mushrooms true. really bring? What, what what's the depths of mushrooms? The knowledge comes from it. So um, the story with the conversation with Anu, you can Google all the stuff about the An Anunnaki. They can tell you about the Anu. Anu is the god um, of, of all of all the Anunnaki's. Uh, uh, Enlil is, the, is I'm not I'm, I'm not 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 sure if he was the god of the sky or god of I think he was the god of sky. God is god is god of the sea. Enki they say he died. Uh, that's why he died when Atlantis got wiped out. Um, but it was a time when these guys were running all this shit. They, 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 they was mining this planet for all the gold, all the oil, all the silver, all the, all the copper, and all the, like, ore. Um, it was, um, it's, 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 it's oils. It was mining this planet for all this stuff so they could rebuild our planet. Uh, 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 and they told me, I'm, 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 you're one of us, you're one of us, but I was asleep for, my soul was asleep for a million years. 
I woke up 7-27-1977, and I was trying to figure out the last 40 years of my life, 47 years of my life trying to figure out what is this. And when I found out about this mushroom trip in 2021, it all made sense because they created humanity for that because they needed to actually mine this planet and humanity's gonna keep working and working and working and working until they die. Uh, it's just what they're gonna do. So we're all created as slaves, um, our, our, our natural programming. But it's up to us to raise the consciousness, consciousness to reprogram ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the consciousness comes in, you know, like I said, mushroom, high dose of mushroom, but done them in a ceremonial way, done them with it, with a shop shaman, done them with, you know, done them with, you know, uh, a person who's going to, you know, help, uh, elders. Uh, the elders, well, not the ancestors, but the elders, you're right, the elders that actually know what they're doing mm -hmm. and understand it. It's so, true. so, so, this is how you get into that level of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And so, they was telling me that they created celebrities, they created celebrities to keep the masses at bay, a lot of people won't hear that, but, they created celebrities to keep the masses, 8 billion people on this planet. So if you have a barrier for them wanting to be gods, a barrier for them wanting to be great, a barrier for them wanting to be like, um, you know, better than just normal and have hope for the future, you got to put some kind of a... a, a, a idols. Idols. That's it. False idols. False idols. They put false idols so... You say, man, I want to be this water. I want to be like this water. Mm -hmm. Instead of, like, this water is like God. You know what I mean? Kind of like Muhammad back when they were trying to, he was trying to tell people to stop idolizing all these little statues. Exactly. You, you know, so, so, yes. And that's why, I, see, that's why I said so many jumping stories. And like I said, I don't write no books and shit like that. So I know all this shit in my head. And it's like, when I, when I, when I, when I really start thinking about it, it comes, comes up when I have conversations with people about it. But I don't like... I'm not a professor, I'm not no teacher, I'm not no exactly. educator, so I'm you're very special. You're a leader, you're an elder. I, I, I'm you're very much not, it's I'm, knowledgeable I'm, for I'm, people I'm, that I'm, don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm very I'm very tapped in, but it's like I don't write books about this shit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just like something that we have it's a conversation like a book right here. It's like a chapter right here. Well, make sure y'all recorded it, you know what I mean? Yo, trust me. Y'all see me smoking today, is it? We went through uh is it shrooms? We went through batteries. We went through hey, Yo, but this message. I need to get some of them shrooms. This uh, message had to be recorded, man. Be somewhere it had to be. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so we came a lot of info. Even, even deeper, we finished about the, about the Anunnaki. Yeah, right, 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 so now, even deeper yeah. about the Anunnaki, it's like they, they needed to create the humanity. Um, and right now, um, we're at the end of humanity because they're done with it. They, they, don't need, they don't need no more gold. They don't need no more silver. They don't need no more nothing because they didn't use this planet up for all of its resources. resources. And if you think about it, just think deeply. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm spot on with what I just said. Yeah. We, 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 we've used this planet all the way up, so resources what else is there? Done, and yeah. now when you start getting to a higher frequency of consciousness, you start to really see the 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 effects of that being used up in this in the in the city and I can see it when I'm moving around you see the darkness you see the the the, uh, the the people who are living in this this this, this 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 darkness but they don't have no way out mm -hmm. because it's just it's, it's, it's lost so so I feel when I had this conversation with them they told me come home. They told me, told me we done here. We're, 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 co we're collecting all of our family. We're collecting all of our royal family. We're, we're going back to our planet because we're about to leave this solar system soon for another 3,600 years, and we won't. I won't see you because you're not going to live to be 3,600. You're not going to live to be. I mean, you probably don't live no more to be 100 years old, uh, if that. If you, even if you be the healthiest. Because the air is so fucked up right now, the water is so fucked up right now, the soil is so fucked up right now. So humanity's uh, uh, um, like like living scale has shrunk so much, and it's shrinking even more because they can put these viruses and put these organic no more. It's, 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 yeah, they put these viruses and they put all these fucking shit out there to make people sick even more. So 
you know, the leukemia is a man-made disease. Cancer is a man-made disease. And they have to cure for it. They won't put, fucking tell about it because it's fucking make some money. So they need to make money because they know at the end of the day, we have to provide all this gold for the fucking gods. And, and we have to provide all this minerals for the gods, but we need to make money somehow. So um, at this point, we're done. We're done. Like, like it, they're, they're done with us. Well, I should say we're done. Mm-hmm. So when I had this journey, when they, uh, they, they told me it's time to come home, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I called my son right now to tell you, but I actually cursed him out. <laughs> I cursed him out. I was mad, and I was yelling, and I couldn't believe it. And I was like, you, like, like I woke up to this. And this is what this is what has been going on for the last. 500 to 600,000 years, you should have been lying to these people just because you need to get the gold from everybody. You need everybody to go and work and work and work and work and work just to give all their shit to them. It's like how you watch them on, on the TV infomercials, maybe in the last 10, 20 years, uh, uh, trading your gold for cash. Mm-hmm. Trading your gold for cash. Because yeah, the cash ain't worth shit. Right. But the gold is worth something. Exactly. Take the gold off your neck and you know, give it, we'll give you some cash for that. You know, and, 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 and all the people who don't have higher consciousness, the lower conscious people, they're like, man, I'm going to the pawn shop, right? Fuck it, man, let me you some know, cash. I always keep this gold necklace on me. It's inside here, and I got this from Somalia and Africa. Hmm. And this, this is this gold is not normal gold. This gold has. Eighteen No, nah, this is twenty-four. Oh yeah, it, it, uh, it, it's it's a different type of gold. See, yeah, you get you get real gold coming out of um, Africa, India, and Asia. Mm-hmm. You Dubai. get real, real. Well, all the Indians take it to Dubai. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a special frequency, though. Yeah, like it, it, it comes from where it comes from, people. Yeah, and no, even no. back in, the, in Egypt, uh, that's why they, the, 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 the pharaohs would wear gold because it helped them vibrate at a higher frequency and connect and stay, you know? So it had it, it's it's all based on frequency. It's it's all all based on everything's based on frequency. So that's why when I, I had got into an argument with them and told them, like, oh, you guys fucked up. I can't believe you did this. I'm not letting it go out like this. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't just, like, I have a son now. And you know, um, I, I you know, and it, it'd be different if I just was was figuring this shit out by myself. But I have a son now, and I'm not gonna just let him just not have nobody to look up to, nobody to actually give him a legacy. Um, I, I, and 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 this is before I even thought of doing anything. This papers and all this shit I got going on. Um, so I was like, you know what? I have to I have to do something about this. Uh, and me personally, myself, I have to do something about this. And uh, from that day on, I made it my, I made it my, my point. I made it my, my, my mission, and, and, and my purpose is to create opportunities to raise the consciousness of the, as many masses as I can. And this is what goes into me saying that I had to create this brand with Chris because he has a, the most powerful influence of of all these entertainers. But he's also an extraterrestrial too. Yeah. He's also an Anunnaki too. Mm. Um, he's, you know, I can tell you, Bob Marley, he's an Anunnaki. Mm-hmm. It's all his kids are. Uh, Janet Jackson, and Michael the Jacksons, they're they're Anunnaki. Uh, uh, DMX is Anunnaki. Uh, 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 um, um, what's his name? J- Jam Master J. Um, he was Anunnaki. Um, Biz Marquee. Like every, you, you see, I can tell you the reason why you know the Anunnaki people. Because they can do anything. When they do it, they do it great. They really put their minds to it. They're really gonna do it great because they know they can't fail. Mm. Look at all. The, look at all the successful, great people that aren't really caught up into the reptilian um, code of control. Mm-hmm. Think about all of them. Whitney Houston. She's Jay-Z? one of them. Jay Z's not. No. Jay Z's not. Jay-Z's yeah. a guy. He's definitely a guy, but he's not an Anunnaki guy. Mm. And that's why he actually, you know, I, 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 I love, I he love Jay-Z. Too. I love Jay-Z because, like, the way he built his fucking shit. He built his shit like, you know, like, yo, I'm, I'm from nothing. We're going to hustle this shit up. We're going to do what we got to do. And we're going to go to these labels. We're going to tell them our vision. And they're going to fucking rock with us. And we're going to figure this shit out and make it happen. That's why I love Jay-Z. But... He actually got into situations with these people and these entertainment worlds that's like controlling music and it's just like uh, music sucks now. 
It's like no good music comes out, no music, no no, no good energy, no good love. Like 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 even Chris's album that just dropped, I love it because it's got good energy. It's got good sounding. The, the sound quad, the sound frequency. These people are putting, most of these people are putting out music on a frequency. See, and, 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 and I, I can't really give up that secret. <laughs> Cause it's just, it's just, it's just, it's like, it's like, it's all music is put out in certain frequencies. They got a lower frequency is that NBA young boy type shit mm -hmm. or that Chief Keith type mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. It's a low frequency, but it works. Mm -hmm. But if, if you ain't got no machine behind that low frequency, it doesn't go nowhere. It dies down. Yeah, it dies down. So um, if you got a machine behind that low frequency, then you get your Taylor Swift's. Then you get your fucking Little Nas X's. Then you get your fucking Doja Cats. Then you get your fucking, uh, 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 what's the dude fucking, I don't know, Tay Swims. Right, right. I, I get you. Yeah. I know what you're saying. You get these guys, but you, the weekend, but you get, you get these guys that, that, that 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 put music out that's low frequency. That's uh, not bad, not bad. damn. Yeah, we Raider, run it. We Raiders run it too. Raiders won. That's my team. Raiders. That's my team too. Yeah. You like Raiders, baby. So I, got, Raiders. I, got, I, got, I got Raiders placed in my car. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fine, fine. Oh, Raider fan, dog. You know it's a family yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah no, I say you know I'm, I'm I'm shit. I was raised in raised in Oakland, so you know we had the Raiders. It's but, crazy how they in Vegas now. Huh? Yeah, I love it. But it's all good. I love, I love, I love, again, Bowl. again. It, it, I just, we're, we're, we're I, I just, regardless. I just miss the old stadium, bro. Like stadium. you know, bro, I know. We got it was a footage. Which one? Damn. I ain't got no more memory cards. Wow. That's crazy. Well, we just finish it up then. Finish right it up on the mic. <laughs> We can I'll fit, just, we I'll can just finish it up on the mic. I, 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 I've been wanting to let end that it. out. No, yeah, end I know. Because I know we, we've been talking for a long just time. So good, just, I got so much to talk I, about. No, like, dog, I was on to. I was like, bro, it, it could have went on for hours, bro. It was it. This just, it was amazing, bro. And, and when I and when I said when I came here, because like I, I know like there's a lot of people do podcasts and you know and a lot of people, but like because because like, a DJ, I, I said I said I was gonna unlock a lot extra than I would do with any other podcast because this is my first real podcast since I dropped the brand. Yes, sir. Uh, it's the first real podcast since I dropped the papers. So, you know, it's, it's a long, long journey that got to this where we at right now. Yeah. No, Shaggy. Uh, you know, I, I, just, I just wanted to really be able to let people know that this ain't no, like, no Chad Brad thing. This ain't no fly by night thing. This ain't no, I can you know, this, 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 this ain't, this, to the game you know, this That's ain't just no, you know, oh man, I just want to create a brand. No, nah, I'm cre creating this shit off of a legacy. I, I, I want people to understand this legacy is real. This I love that you use rice papers on these, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I want everything he does it. is culture, bro. He, he, mm -hmm. He's one of us, bro. He's, he's one nah, of I our love leaders. these filters, he's too. one of our leaders in this shit, bro. <laughs> You should for, the cannabis, for, the, for the cannabis industry, this is my vision to be a, to be one of the leaders in cannabis that actually can help people of color understand how to really be able to create a brand, um, create a, you know opportunities, and do it because I, like you know we don't get we don't get people in our families that tell us how to go open a bank mm -hmm. or tell us to go how to go run our fucking checks and balances and shit like that. We we have to learn that shit from the streets. And, you know, learning from the streets, we learn it better, actually. But now we have to take it to another level of actually creating businesses and creating opportunities for other people to actually, you know, be able to thrive off of my, our, I, I say our, because it's not just all my visions. Like, because like, I get with people when we may talk and we may come up with shit and I'm like, yo, let's do this. Please. But I have a vision that I've seen that I'm always going to put out first mm. because it's like, why, why are we sitting here if there was, it would, it, there has to be a reason for that. So I'm going to tell you my vision first and then you can tell me your vision and then we can figure out how we can coincide or and not coincide. Facts. Uh, and, 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 and that's just where I'm at in life. I'm not trying to force any relationships. I'm not trying to force any opportunities. I'm not trying to force anything that is not supposed to be mine. Mm -hmm. 
And everything that's supposed to be mine will be mine. I don't have to fucking go out here and, and lie to nobody, cheat nobody, steal no from nobody, or, or or hate on anybody to get what I want for mine. Oh, that's man. why, I, and, and that's why I was telling you earlier. Uh, and no no offense, but I'm coming for Cookie's head. Mm. And it's not Burner. I love Burner. Burner's a dope person. I love everything he does. But Cookies didn't take care of him right, and 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 and, and they they, they kind of really not doing right by the industry. They're mm. not doing right by the co culture. Mm. And I need to be able to create something that can stand, withstand that test of time for some people who did not do right by the culture. Oh man. And you know that's what I'm coming for with OHB Farms. And you know, like I said, I wanted I wanted to close this out, so I wanted to kind of say that's my closing. Like, you know, with OHB Farms, I want people to understand this is a quality brand. It's legacy. It's, it's backed by legacy principles. It's backed by legacy operators. It's, it's, it's built on love. It's built on passion. Um, you know, and and my paper is the same way. Everything. And everything I touch, everything I do. It's like, you know how they say, everything everything you touch turns to gold. But I feel like that. Everything I'm going to touch turns, is going to turn to gold because there's passion behind it. Real love it's in love it. behind it. Real love. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to win. It's, it may not win that first week. Like, you know, somebody said, oh, man, why your shit ain't everywhere? Your shit should be everywhere. Nah, let it, when it goes, it's going to go. Don't yeah. fucking force my fucking vision no, no, because you want, it to, you want it to be want it to be fast on yours. <laughs> right? <laughs> my vision is for me. Believe it, and they're going to happen yeah, when they yeah. happen. Like these, pay, these tips... Everything, Everything is something I've visualized. You killed it, bro. You're you're amazing, and 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 I'm glad what you said, bro. Cookies in, take care of you, you. You, we need we need leaders like you leading the way, bro. Because you understand the vision and you got your post right on it. I was here before it. Cookies. Cookies didn't come out to what 2010. 100. percent I was I was rocking and rolling heavy before they even thought of Cookies, bro. 100. percent So come on, I I, I I'm I'm one of them. And and you know I'm from from the streets yeah. and from the from the Hollywood from the from the culture. Yeah. So it's like if I want us to win, I'm gonna have to step out like like Chris says. I'm gonna have to jump off that cliff, and you know I'm gonna figure out how to make a fucking parachute, parachute or make I'm gonna make some wings on my back something. or something. But we, but we ain't fly. crashing. And some of you will catch you. We're not <laughs> crashing. Yes, or we're gonna right. we're gonna dive into that water right. and be good. Exactly. But we're not we're not. We not it, it, <laughs> I, I, I have a lot of work to do, so there's not, nothing's gonna stop this right now. I mean, like I said, I could have transitioned. I can say, yo, it's over. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Let me go home. And, um, you know, and then my son would have been like, no, my daddy died, blah, 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 and all this type of shit. And, you know, this, I, I thought about all that shit. It's like, yo, I'm, I know humanity's coming to the end, but I have hope that we can raise the consciousness of a lot more people to really be able to get to the, to, to the, to, to the, to the, to the promised land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, hundred percent. Raising that conscious, one, one, one joint at a time, one, yeah, one butt at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On some real shit. So you know, I, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to keep. I can keep talking on it. Oh, mushrooms. Yo, uh, the mushrooms will keep me, keep me unlocking shit, and I keep keep talking. But yo, I'm over here posting hey, bro, up the shit. And, 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 and bro, the shit you talk about, I can sit here and listen to everything, bro. You see me out? I'm trying to pull a battery out the motherfucking TV to keep us where going. Where can people, right now. where can people buy Shaggy papers at? Shaggy's papers is not out yet, but it's supposed to be coming out. Like I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, um, I'm talking to um, uh, my partners to be able to try to get it out by the end of the year or first of the new year. Oh, for sure. So, but, but, but I, I'm, I'm fucking with these heavy, bro. Yeah, you, oh. you, you smoking them, yeah. yeah. yeah I like Keep them. them. Those for you. High frequency, bro. Real cool shit. Uh, King uh, size, slim. Uh, Shaggy uh, Paper just got the job, bro. Thanks for coming, bro, you know. He's just smoking everything he had. Smoking. Everything. Everything coming out of OHB Farms is smoking. Anything Shaggy puts his name on turns to fucking gold. Thank you, bro, for having us today. Man, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate yeah. you, bro. Oh, yeah. We out. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs>